is estimated to be a billion dollars a day. It's rather stunning the amount of business that these two ports do. These are the two largest container ports in North America. They are together uh, rough equivalent of the seventh busiest harbor in the world for container cargo. Los Angeles Times business reporter Ron White's been covering the strike. In Egypt, after the revolution that took down longtime ruler Hosni Mubarak, the country's new president says the country will vote on a new constitution later on this month. The constitution was drafted by an assembly stacked with Islamist allies of Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi. There's aspects of it that are engendering enormous opposition from secular forces. There's a great deal of unease about the lack of specificity on the rights of women, the rights of workers. There's ambiguity about the role of Sharia law, Islamic law, in the Constitution. That's Phyllis Bennis of the Institute for Policy Studies. We will get to sports in just over a minute. WCBS News Time 243. Well, either the lights went out all over in New Jersey or the fog has really rolled in across the Hudson River. Looking outside our windows here at Hudson Square Studios. Right now, 42 degrees over LaGuardia Airport. Cloudy, foggy. Uh, temperatures pretty much holding steady overnight, but the fog eventually will burn off. Then partly sunny with a high of 55 degrees. Five-day forecast in three minutes. At 880 on your AM dial and live on your computer and smartphone at cbsnewyork.com. When you need to know, we've got you covered. Morning. I'm Levon Putney coming up on WCBS. The chapel at West Point, steeped in tradition, hosted its first same-sex marriage Saturday. On Wall Street, Dow rallied in slightly up Friday. NASDAQ down a bit. S&P basically even. We'll see what's up next week with business news in 10 minutes. WCBS News Time 245. Time for sports. Here's Mark Mitchell. Leave on the Nets five game win streak comes to an end in Miami as they lose to the Heat 102 to 89. Brooklyn had as much as a 14 point lead, but Miami outscored the Nets 52 to 30 in the second half. Dwayne Wade led all scores with 34 points. LeBron James had 21 for the Nets. Andre Blatch with 20 points, eight rebounds, and Gerald Wallace 13 and nine boards. Well, it'll be number one Notre Dame against number two Alabama in the BCS national title game January 7th. Alabama rallied for a 32 28 win over Georgia in the SEC championship game. A.J. McCarron threw a 45-yard bomb that put the tide up for good. Play action, McCarron. Deep left side, got a man open. Got the touchdown, Amari Cooper. With 3.15 left, Vern Lundquist on CBS TV. Elsewhere, the ACC championship goes to Florida State, 21-15 over Georgia Tech. No doubt about it for the Big Ten championship. Wisconsin pounded Nebraska 70-31. to And locally, Cincinnati over UConn, 34-17. Still no motive known in the murder-suicide death of Kansas City linebacker Jovan Belcher. The 25-year-old West Babylon native shot and killed his girlfriend, then went to the Chiefs training center, spoke briefly to the staff, and shot himself. Despite the tragedy, the Chiefs will still host the Panthers today. As for the Jets, they have Tim Tebow listed as doubtful for this afternoon's home game with the Cardinals. Longtime college basketball coach Rick Majerus, who led Utah to the national championship game in 98, has died at the age of 64 due to heart failure. In college hoops locally, St. John's over New Jersey Tech, 57-49. Rutgers falls at Ole Miss, 80-67. It was Temple over Wagner, 70-62. SMU beat Hofstra, 73-47. And Fairfield topped Austin P 74-55. Sports sponsored by Cars.com. Cars.com is confident that the East Coast will bounce back better than before the storm. To all our customers and employees that have been affected, they'll be there when you need them. Cars.com. Confidence comes standard. Sports at 15 and 45. Mark Mitchell, WCBS 880 Sports. We'll get to traffic and weather together in one minute. Liz. Todd? I want you back. You're just saying that because I got a makeover to make me look hot, even though I was hot to begin with. No, no, no. I miss those nights instantly watching TV episodes and movies online with Netflix. We watched as much as we wanted. Whenever and wherever we wanted. So, you love me? Even if I put these glasses back on? Wow, those are thick. Instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on all kinds of devices for only 8 bucks a month with Netflix. Start your free trial today. See terms of use. 
Mercy College is the one to watch. Rated A by Standard & Poor's. Nationally recognized programs in some of the hottest professional fields around. Come to Mercy Mondays this fall and find out how easy it is to get your master's degree and re-energize your career. Mercy Mondays, more than 25 graduate degree programs, all designed for working people, nights, weekends, and online. Come to Mercy Mondays for graduate days at our campuses in Dobbs Ferry, the Bronx, and Manhattan. And find out about the quality, affordable graduate education at Mercy College, the one to watch at mercy.edu. Newsies is the Tony Award-winning hit Broadway musical that gets you out of your seat and on your feet. Bloomberg News calls it a triumph, and the New York Times says Newsies is a musical worth singing about. It's the hit show that's making headlines. The number one critic's pick in New York Magazine, Time Out New York, and in Entertainment Weekly, which cheers Catch Newsies Fever. One for all and all for one. So get your tickets today. Newsies on Broadway eight times a week. Visit NewsiesTheMusical.com. WCBS News Time 248. Traffic and weather together on the 8s every 10 minutes. Uh, those roads, Lou Adams. Still busy in New Jersey, westbound on 80, approaching exit 39. You have a serious accident that is under investigation. All lanes are subject to closure, and there is construction westbound from exit 45 to 39, so you want to go with Route 46. Also have an accident on the Garden State Parkway, southbound express lanes after exit 120 with an overturned vehicle, so try to stick with those local lanes. And there is construction on the Garden State Parkway, southbound on the ramp to exit 159. Moving up to the Hudson Valley, construction. Construction on the Tap and Z both ways with periodic full closures all night. In Connecticut, not too bad of a ride on 95. Looks good on the Merritt Parkway. On Long Island, you are good to go on the LIE, the northern and southern state. Quite foggy around the tri-state this morning, though, so use some extra caution. On the uh, westbound Cross Bronx, delays are finally easing, approaching the George Washington Bridge. We'll watch for construction underneath the apartments going to both the upper and lower levels. And don't forget, in a matter of minutes now at 3 a.m., tolls going up at the Lincoln Tunnel, the Holland, the George Washington Bridge, the Gothels, the Outer Bridge Crossing, and the Bayonne Bridge. And our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. And now we check the five-day forecast with Mike Lassini. Mostly cloudy early this morning with areas of fog. Temperatures will be nearly steady or even slowly rising. Low clouds and fog will break for some sunshine later today, high 55 degrees. A couple of showers around this evening, otherwise turning out partly cloudy late Sunday night, low 48 in Central Park. Monday, partly sunny and mild, high 60 degrees. Remaining mild on Tuesday with times of clouds and sunshine, high 62. Wednesday, a couple of morning showers are possible, otherwise breezy and cooler Wednesday with intervals of clouds and sunshine, high 52. Mostly sunny and chilly Thursday, high 45. I'm meteorologist Mike Lassini in the WCBS Weather Center. 40 degrees over at Newark Liberty Airport. Cloudy skies, but more than that, foggy out there. Watch out if you're driving. WCBS News Time 250. Okay, what's up with Wednesday? Wednesday's a bit odd. Just look how it's spelled. What's with that D? But Thursday, Thursday is awesome. Why? Well, because it's Boneless Thursdays at Buffalo Wild Wings. Every Thursday, you can get specially priced boneless wings spun fresh in your choice of any of their over 20 sauces and seasonings. So hurry up and get to your local Buffalo Wild Wings this Thursday. You'll know it's Thursday by how awesome it feels. Or you can just look at a calendar. Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings, beer, sports. Learn graphic design fast at Shillington School. Choose three months full-time or one year part-time because a world-class education needn't take forever. Visit Shillington for an info session to meet current graduates and learn more about graphic design. The info session will be held December 7th at 6 p.m. across from Grand Central at 315 Madison Avenue. More info is available online at shillingtonschool.com or by calling 212-682-6611. Starting with no prior experience, you will graduate with a professional portfolio and an in-depth knowledge of design theory and the Adobe Creative Suite. The course is taught by outstanding designers in an inspirational environment. Check out Shillington at the info session on December 7th or stop by anytime to find out more. Visit shillingtonschool.com or call 212-682-6611. That's shillingtonschool.com or 212-682-6611. At Shillington, make creativity your career. Business news is more than just numbers. Listen for reports on the markets and your wallet every half hour at 25 and 55 on WCBS 880. 
WCBS News Time 252, the landmark church at the Center of Spiritual Life at the U.S. Military Academy at West Point, hosting its first same sex wedding, hosted uh, brides Penelope Nesson and Brenda Sue Fulton, a West Point graduate, exchanged their vows in the Regal Church Saturday afternoon. About 250 guests showed up to for the ceremony. The couple have been together for 17 years, had a civil ceremony that didn't carry any legal force back in 1999. They had long hoped to formally tie the knot. There's just so much joy and so much positive energy about about how far we've come, but also about how we've lived up to the West Point values. That's Brenda Sue Fulton. Well, last weekend, two of Fulton's friends got married in another campus chapel. Senator Richard Blumenthal took an icy plunge to benefit the Special Olympics of Connecticut. When I go into that water, I think of the athletes who are giving every single bit of energy and mind and spirit as they compete, and it warms my heart. Warms his heart figuratively because he was cold, but the Democrat took part in the first of nine icy plunges across the state this winter for the Special Olympics. And as for next year? I'll definitely do it again, no question about it. The enthusiasm and excitement and warmth is really infectious. Warmth participants solicit donations from family, friends, and businesses, allowing them to run in the chilly waters, or at least into the chilly waters. WCBS News Time 253. Gardeners are constantly on the lookout for plants that offer bright color in the winter garden. This is Fran Soren for Digging Deep. A must for any winter garden is Cornus Alba. It's four to eight feet tall and wide, with a round shape and branching that's upright and spreading, and it looks best when planted in groupings. Gardeners are drawn to Cornus Alba because of its showy late fall through winter stems that turn a vivid blood red. Its leaves emerge as yellow green and then mature to medium to dark green. Some specimens produce showy red fall foliage. Cornus Alba blooms in late May to early June with small yellowish white flower clusters that are up to two inches in diameter. It does well in full sun or partial shade, tolerates poorly drained soil, and is easy to grow and transplant. For vivid winter bark, cut older stems to the ground at the end of winter before the leaves open. This is Fran Soren for WCBS 880. Business news in a minute. WCBS News Time 254. WCBS News Time 254. News. Even as employers remain cautious next year about every dollar spent on employees, they'll also want workers to show greater skills and results. For employees who want to get ahead, basic competency won't be enough. To win a promotion or a land a job next year, experts say there are several must-have job skills, starting with the ability to communicate clearly. For job seekers, clear communication can provide a snapshot of their work style to employers. As office conversations increasingly move online, some workers are losing or never developing the ability to give a presentation. Others may be unable to write coherently for longer than, say, 140 characters. Another important skill is personal branding. HR personnel scour blogs, Twitter, and professional networking sites such as LinkedIn when researching candidates, and it's important that they like what they find. Workers should make sure their personal brand is attractive and reflects well on employers. Flexibility is also key. The ability to quickly respond to an employer's changing needs will be important next year as organizations try to respond quickly to customers. I'm Jennifer Kashinka at the Wall Street Journal for WCBS News Radio 880. Business news at 25 and 55 every hour on WCBS 880. Traffic and weather together in a minute, and then Joe Avalar's back in here with the morning's top stories. WCBS News Time 256. I'm Donnie Wahlberg from the CBS drama Blue Bloods. I witnessed Superstorm Sandy slam into New York and have developed an admiration for the way New Yorkers look out for each other, but they can't do it alone. Visit nyc.gov to donate to the Mayor's Fund to advance New York City. CBS Cares. Getting gifts for the sports fan in your life has never been easier this holiday season thanks to CBS Locals Fan Shop. We've got the jerseys and gear for almost every team in any sport. And if you visit CBS Locals Fan Shop today through the end of the year and enter the promo code HOLIDAY10, you'll get an additional 10% off your purchase. Visit CBSLocalFanshop.com today and use the promo code HOLIDAY10 to save even more from CBS Locals Fan Shop. During these tough economic times, there is one thing you can count on, your education. Higher education will give you the chance at finding a better job and improve the quality of your life. 
further your education and advance your career today. If you're looking to go back to school in the next three months and already have your high school diploma, start your search with the National Education Online Center. You'll get free expert advice, school information, and a free financial aid guide. NEOC will help you get matched to your right school today. Call 877-516-0727. Health insurance is on everybody's mind right now. You either don't have it or you have it and you think it's too expensive. And you probably feel like you don't have any options. We can help. We are InSphere Insurance Solutions. We offer health insurance plans from major carriers nationwide and likely have a plan that can save you money. Whether you're self-employed, on a COBRA plan that's about to expire, or you simply don't have health insurance where you work and you need it, InSphere Insurance Solutions can help you. Our agents will help you find coverage you can afford. InSphere Insurance Solutions is an authorized agency in all 50 states, including the District of Columbia. Plans may not be available in all states. 800-713-0182. 800-713-0182. 800-713-0182. That's 800-713-0182. WCBS News Time 258. Traffic and weather together on the 8s every 10 minutes. Cross Bronx Lou Adams. It's busy again, westbound approaching the George Washington Bridge. Every time it looks like we're going to ease out, they start backing things up again because of that construction underneath the apartments. In New Jersey, westbound on 80, accident still approaching exit 39 with a serious crash there. Southbound on the Garden State Parkway, watch for delays by exit 120 with an accident in the express lanes. And the toll's about to go up at the Lincoln Tunnel, the Holland, the GW, the Outer Bridge, the Gothels, and the Bayonne Bridge. Here's the WCBS pinpoint forecast. Areas of fog early this morning with temperatures nearly steady or even slowly rising. Turning out partly sunny later today, high 55 degrees. There'll be a couple of evening showers, otherwise partly cloudy Sunday night, low 48. Monday, partly sunny, high 60. Tuesday, partly sunny, high 62. I'm meteorologist Mike Lucini in the WCBS Weather Center. All right, now it is 41 degrees over Central Park. Have a good morning. I'm Levon Putney. News, traffic, and weather on air, online. We are News Radio, WCBS, New York. And good morning. It's Sunday, December 2nd. I'm Joe Avalor. Here's the latest from the WCBS newsroom. Northern California is bracing for more heavy rain, flooding, and mudslides. It's already started raining in parts of Northern California, too. From living in unheated homes to fighting mold, the problems created by Sandy still exist for 12,000 New Yorkers. Sandy settles the boardwalk controversy. It'll be fixed with concrete and plastic. The hardwoods are out. The Staten Island Railway Express trains start running Monday, first time since Sandy, and hundreds mourn Hector Macho Camacho at this funeral in East Harlem yesterday. The tolls on Port Authority crossings have just gone up a buck. In sports, the Heat beat the Nets 102 to 89. WCBS News Time, 3 in the morning. CBS News, I'm Tom Fody. Sandbags have been going up along the Russian and Napa rivers in northern California, where two recent storms have already dumped a lot of rain, and another big storm is on the way. I live on a creek. We had a big rain Thursday night, uh, and the water came up to almost the top of the retaining wall, and so we decided sandbags were a good idea for tonight. KCBS's Anna Duckworth is in Guerneville, California, where it has been raining again. I was at the local Safeway, and I saw people stocking up on food, water, flashlights, candles, batteries, the kind of thing that you need if the power goes out and you're going to be stuck in the house because of flooding. Uh, They said they're basically just trying to get the essentials right now. Overseas, there was a two-hour gun battle at a joint U.S.-Afghan air base in eastern Afghanistan. Western military officials describe it as a suicide attack. The Taliban claims it was behind it. CBS News has been told there were fatalities, nine insurgents, four Afghan troops, two civilians. There has been a deadly highway tunnel collapse about 50 miles west of Tokyo, Japan. It trapped some drivers and passengers. And reporter Mark Stone of Britain Sky News tells us firefighters had to battle smoke to get near them. They have now found or at least seen some charred bodies inside this tunnel. They're having difficulty accessing the section of the tunnel that's collapsed, but they've got access to CCTV cameras, and we think that it's through these cameras that they've managed to ascertain that there are bodies in there. 
Back in this country, two people died. Three others were critically hurt as a bus that was too high hit an overpass at Miami International Airport. Kansas City Chiefs linebacker Javon Belcher turned up at Arrowhead Stadium holding a handgun to his head. He was in front of his coach and general manager. He killed himself. Police say he earlier killed his girlfriend at home nearby. There was still a lot of cleanup to do and lots of questions in southern New Jersey at the site of a Friday train derailment that resulted in dangerous chemicals getting into the air. U.S. Coast Guard Captain Kathy Moore says first is making sure the accident site is as safe as possible. Teams continue to apply a mist, a water mist, over the derailed t- train cars to limit the spread of the vinyl chloride cargo into the surrounding areas. She, along with Larry Haina with the State Department of Environmental Protection, says they're constantly monitoring levels of vinyl chloride. Most of the results have been in a non-detect range or slightly elevated range that we would not believe would have any acute health impacts on people. Tim Jimenez, CBS News, Clarksboro, New Jersey. Talks are over for the night between striking clerical workers and ship at the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach. The workers have been out five days, with longshoremen honoring their picket lines at most of the docks. Loading and unloading has slowed to a crawl. Sports, we've got the matchup for college football's national championship game. Top-rated Notre Dame was already in, and the Fighting Irish will play number 2 Crimson Tide of Alabama. Alabama beat number 3 Georgia 32-28 in the Southeastern Conference title game. This is CBS News. Mom, I can't do my math homework. I just don't get it. I'm no good at math. I hate math. (sighs) I've always considered myself a good mother, but when it came to my son Billy's math, I was at a loss. It wasn't that he didn't try, but he kept falling further behind and losing confidence. Then a friend told me about Math Made Easy DVDs. You can order any subject from arithmetic to fractions, percents, algebra, even calculus. Concepts are simplified in an entertaining way, so students enjoy learning at their own pace in the convenience of home. It's as easy as watching TV. Best of all, it's affordable for everyone. Listen, in the frustration. Call Math Made Easy. Call now for a 30-day risk-free trial. 866-568-MATH. Now that school is in full swing, it's important for your child to keep up with the fast-moving classroom pace. With Math Made Easy, your child will always be prepared and one step ahead. Call now, 866-568-MATH. That's 866-568-6284. Live from Studio 11A at the CBS Hudson Square Broadcast Center, we are News Radio, WCBS HD and WCBS FM HD3 New York. It's 42 degrees in town right now. We've got a cloudy sky, calm wind, and it is foggy. As you heard Levon talking about, the fog has rolled in, and from our windows here at Hudson Square, you cannot see New Jersey anymore, so it is dense. Pea soup. Be careful out there. Now, the fog is supposed to burn off as the day goes on. We'll have a partly sunny afternoon with a high temperature just about 55 degrees. Monday is supposed to be mostly sunny with a high of 60. WCBS News Time 304. From living in unheated homes to fighting mold, the problems created by Sandy continue for about 12,000 New Yorkers. Eddie Seaman says he had no choice but to stay in his damaged, unheated home in New Door Beach, Staten Island. Because FEMA couldn't find for me any hotel. Forced to turn to a wood-burning stove for heat. Then what little remained of his home went up in flames. The city health department says more than 12,000 people may be trying to survive without heat. Salvatore Barcia, a volunteer with the New York State Nursing Association going door-to-door, says he sees it all the time on Staten Island. There's no hotel for these people to go, and there's many who don't have family on the island. The health department is urging residents, especially the elderly, to find alternate housing. ER visits related to cold temperatures doubled last month compared to previous years. And health officials say damaged homes also pose threats from mold and dust. Jim Smith, WCBS 880 News. WCBS News Time 305. Wood is out for New York City's boardwalks. The miles of boardwalks ripped up by Sandy will be rebuilt with concrete or plastic composites, says Mayor Bloomberg. This ends a controversy with traditionalists who like the old boardwalk made of exotic hardwoods, but the mayor says the concrete withstood the pounding from Sandy far better than the wooden sections. WCBS News Time 305. The Staten Island Railway, Railway Express trains will start running for the first time since Sandy come Monday, although service will only be partial. Uh, only three of the usual 10 morning express trains will run. They'll be at 7.45, 8 a.m. and 8.15. Service should be back to normal by the end of the year. WCBS News Time 306. Chelsea Piers reopens to the cheers of workers and customers for the first time since Sandy. 
From top to bottom, Chelsea Piers is brand spanking new. From the padding in the gymnastics area to the basketball court, Janet from New Jersey started to cry when she walked in. Well, it's been a long journey for us. My daughter's a level seven gymnast and we spent 20 hours a week here. And so for us, this was a major part of her life and our life that was disrupted. And this mother of two said it's been hard the last few weeks because her family practically lives here. We're here every Saturday, every Tuesday. It's our home away from home, so we're really, really excited to be back. Sophia Hall, WCBS 880 News. WCBS News Time 307. We're going to have traffic and weather together on the 8th after this. WCBS News Time 308 brings us to traffic and weather together now every 10 minutes on the 8th. Let's check in here with Lou Adams at the Traffic Center. We can give you some good news in New Jersey. Accident cleared on the Garden State Parkway, southbound after exit 120. That was cleared out of the express lanes. However, we still have a closure on westbound 80. It is shut down approaching exit 39 in Parsippany, and that is due to a serious accident with an investigation, plus construction in that area, westbound between exits 45 and 39. Go with Route 46 instead. Also watch for construction southbound on the Garden State Parkway, closing the ramp to exit 159. Up to the Hudson Valley, the New York State Thruway, construction both directions onto and across the Tappan Zee with periodic full closures. On Long Island, pretty foggy uh, as it is most of the tri-state this morning, so be careful, but no delays to report on the LIE, the northern or southern state. And in the five boroughs, finally getting better on the westbound Cross Bronx, approaching the GW with that construction underneath the apartments. Inbound, the lower deck and the Palisades, that's easy pass only. Lincoln Tunnel, construction on 495 on the Jersey. Jersey side, Holland Tunnel construction on one and nine, also on the Jersey side. And don't forget, new tolls now in effect at the Lincoln Tunnel, the Holland Tunnel, the George Washington Bridge, the Gothels, the Outer Bridge Crossing, and the Bayonne Bridge. They went up at three o'clock this morning. And if you see heavy traffic, call it into our tip line, 212 975 8888. Our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. And meteorologist Mike Lassini now with our forecast. Good morning. We'll deal with areas of fog early this morning, and it, uh, the visibilities are getting down to a quarter mile, maybe a little bit less in some spots, so uh, a little bit slower traffic early this morning in those areas of dense fog, and temperature will be nearly steady or even slowly rising. Later today, low clouds and fog will break for some sunshine. We'll have a high of 55 degrees. There will be a couple of showers around during the evening hours. Otherwise, turning out partly cloudy late Sunday night, low 48 in Central Park. And for Monday, partly sunny and mild, high 60 degrees. Another mild day is on tap for us on Tuesday. We'll have times of clouds and sunshine and a high of 62. But a cold front on Wednesday could bring us a few morning showers. Otherwise, as that cold front moves through the tri-state area, it'll turn breezy and cooler on Wednesday. We'll have intervals of clouds and sunshine and a high of 52. Mostly sunny and chilly Thursday, high 45. Right now we have cloudy skies along with areas of fog. Temperatures ranging from 34 near Newburgh in the Hudson Valley to 45 near Patchog on Long Island. We have a temperature of 42 in Central Park right now, and that temperature will be steady or slowly rising. I'm meteorologist Mike Lassini in the WCBS Weather Center. WCBS News Time 310. Coming up, the Port Authority tolls went up just 11 minutes ago, up a dollar, but AAA is fighting them in court. That's ahead. Ernie, I know you're our worst player, but I want you to win this thing. How, coach? I've been riding the bench watching Netflix on my tablet all season. By running the play, that would never work if this were a real game. Sorry. All I know is that Netflix lets me instantly watch as many TV episodes and movies as I want. Listen, son, when you get the ball, just chuck it. It'll go in. Instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on all kinds of devices for only 8 bucks a month with Netflix. Start your free trial today. See terms of use. Honey, we really didn't have the budget for you to take yoga classes. Every day, CBS Local Offers helps New Yorkers enjoy the best dining, shopping, shows, and more. It was 50% off through CBS Local Offers. They have a great deal like that every day. Save 50% on weekday and night lift tickets at Shawnee Mountain Ski Area. Open your media player and click on the banner to get today's great deal. Hurry, these offers are only available for a short time at cbsnewyork.com slash offers. WCBS News Time 311. Hear all the news you need as you head home. Set your radio here for Wayne Cabot and Steve Scott. Weekday afternoons on WCBS 880. 
That was a little shock for drivers this morning. Driving to and from New Jersey, all the tolls and the Port Authority crossings just went up a dollar 12 minutes ago, as a matter of fact. And they're going to go up again December of next year, too, although not if AAA gets its way. The AAA is in federal court trying to roll back the Port Authority hikes that will make the toll $15 cash by 2015. AAA's Robert Sinclair. Well, you know, it was without precedent that the Port Authority passed five toll increases in one fell swoop and via a process that was rushed with public hearings all held on one day. Sinclair says motorists are already suffering high tolls on PA and MTA facilities as well as on the New York State Thruway and the New Jersey Turnpike, not to mention the highest gas taxes in the country. He said some drivers are near the breaking point. In Lower Manhattan, Rich Lamb, WCBS 880 News. And we've got more good news for New Jersey Transit riders come Monday. Effective on Monday, all New Jersey Transit rail lines will be operating either in a limited or a full capacity. And this is marked by the opening of the Gladstone branch, which had suffered severe damage as a result of Hurricane Sandy. And that's New Jersey Transit spokesman John Durso Jr. Now, FEMA met with Connecticut residents whose homes were damaged or destroyed by Sandy. Fran Schneider was there. This fellow from the Rowayton section of Norwalk suffered serious damage to his waterfront home. Now bunking in with family in Massachusetts, he wonders when or even if he can ever move back. All the interviews and the inspections have taken place, but none of the paperwork has been submitted yet. And I don't know how long that process is likely to take. It's all brand new territory. Uh, yeah, we've not, we're not veterans at this. We have no idea. On hand here is Congressman Jim Himes helping folks through the red tape. This is the federal government, so there's a process, there's paperwork and that sort of thing. So my job in a moment like this is to make sure that people understand what's available for them out there and how they can access those resources. In Norwalk, Fran Schneido, WCBS 880 News. WCBS News Time 314. We're going to break right here, and then we're going to talk about the Nets winning. That's didn't happen. Actually, the Heat, the Heat beat the Nets and ended their winning streak. Either way, sports ahead. Our temperature in town right now is 42 degrees. Got a cloudy sky with wind calm, and there is fog. Zero visibility almost outside our window. A pea super out there, so be careful. And the fog's supposed to burn off as the morning goes on. Then we'll have a partly sunny day with a high temperature just about 55 degrees. Monday will be mostly sunny with a high of 60 degrees. The five-day forecast, three minutes. At 880 on your AM dial and live on your computer and smartphone at cbsnewyork.com. Wherever you are, we are. New York's News Radio. WCBS 880. Good morning. I'm Joe Avlar. Coming up on WCBS News Radio 880, hundreds attend the funeral of Macho Camacho in Spanish Harlem yesterday. We'll have that story for you coming up after sports. We've got business news here in 10 minutes, too. We're in a late day rally. The Dow ended up four points, closed at 13,025, while the SP ended up a fraction. It closed at 1416. The NASDAQ, though, it ended down two points, closed at 3,010. WCBS News Time 315. That brings us to sports. Let's check in here with Mark Mitchell. Joe, college football's national championship game is set. It'll be Alabama against Notre Dame. The Crimson Tide won the SEC title game, rallying from 10 points down in the third to beat Georgia 32-28. Alabama returns to the national title game, taking on the Fighting Irish January 7th. The ACC championship goes to Florida State 21-15 over Georgia Tech. And the Big Ten won by Wisconsin who routed Nebraska 70-31. to Locally, Cincinnati over Connecticut 34-17. NBA, the Nets led the Heat by as many as 14 points, but Miami rallied in the second half, outscoring Brooklyn 52-30 to and ending the Nets' five-game win streak 102-89. to Dwayne Wade with a 34-point night. LeBron James scored 21. Andre Blatch was the Nets' top scorer with 20 points and 8 rebounds. Darren Williams says the Nets just can't sit on the lead. We just got to be more disciplined, I think, you know, uh, when we get up. 12, 14 points, you know, we can't relax. Um, we, we, that's when we have to to hunker down and get, get more stops. That's when we have to execute better, take care of the ball. Uh, and, and we didn't do those things tonight. Miami's won six in a row. Tragic news from the NFL. West Babylon native Jovan Belcher, a linebacker with the Chiefs, shot and killed his 22-year-old girlfriend and drove to a parking lot outside the team's training facility where he killed himself in front of Coach Romeo Crennel and the Chiefs' GM. Belcher was 25. The Chiefs will host the Panthers today. Sad news from college basketball as well. Veteran coach Rick Majerus has died at the age of 64. College scores locally, it was St. John's beating New Jersey Tech.
Tech 57-49. Rutgers fell to Ole Miss 80-67. Temple over Wagner 70-62. SMU clobbering Hofstra, which of course is shorthanded now, 73-47. LIU Brooklyn over Lafayette 71-60. Bucknell top Columbia 67-57. And Fairfield over Austin P 74-55. And the LA Galaxy and David Beckham's last game with them won the MLS Cup 3-1 over Houston. Sports at 15 and 45. Mark Mitchell, WCBS 880 Sports. And WCBS News Time 317. We're going to break right here. Then we've got traffic and weather together on the 8s. How far would you go to help save someone's life? How about to your garage? If you have an unneeded vehicle, donate it to the Salvation Army. They'll pick it up for free, and the proceeds from its sale will help someone in the grip of addiction reclaim his life. To donate your vehicle, call 1-800-SA-TRUCK or visit satruck.org. You will be doing the most good. Need a great place to watch your favorite teams in New Jersey? Join Miller Lite at Water Street, located at 4 Robbins Parkway in Toms River, for great Miller Draft and Bottle Specials. Water Street has been completely renovated with 21 new flat-screen TVs located all over, so you never miss any of the action or the view of the Toms River located right off their back deck. So visit Water Street in Toms River or check them out at bakerswaterstreet.com for more info. All for Miller Lite and Water Street. Miller Lite reminds you to enjoy responsibly. Years ago, my doctor told me to take a Centrum Silver multivitamin every day. I tell him, sure, can't hurt, right? Then I heard this news about a multivitamin study looking at long-term health benefits for men over 50. And the multivitamin they used for the study? Centrum Silver. Hey, that's what I take. My doctor, he really knows his stuff. The most recommended, most preferred, most studied. Centrum, always your most complete. A prior formula of Centrum Silver was used in the study. WCBS News Time 318. And of course, that's time for traffic and weather together. Every 10 minutes on the 8s. Let's check in here with Lou Adams at the Traffic Center. Back to New Jersey and Parsippany, westbound on 80. All lanes are subject to closure, approaching exit 39. And that is due to a serious accident that is still under investigation. And you have construction in that area, westbound between exits 45 and 39. So you might want to consider Route 46 as an alternate. On the Garden State Parkway, accident cleared southbound after exit 120 from the express lanes. Southbound at exit 159, construction on that exit ramp. And there's also road work southbound on 286. Seven blocking the ramp to 80. Moving up to the Hudson Valley, road work on the thruway getting onto and across the Tappan Zee with periodic full closures. On Long Island, pretty quiet on the LIE, northern and southern state, but it is pretty foggy out there, so be careful. The uh, westbound Cross Bronx finally eased out, approaching the GW with that construction underneath the apartments. And speaking of the uh, George Washington Bridge, tolls have gone up. They went up at 3 a.m. at the GW, the Lincoln, the Holland Tunnels, the Gothels, the Outer Bridge, and the Bayonne Bridge. And if you see heavy traffic, call it into our tip line, 212-975-8888. Our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. And now that forecast from our meteorologist, Mike Lassini. Mostly cloudy with areas of fog earlier this morning. Temperatures will be nearly steady or even slowly rising. Low clouds and fog will break for some sunshine later today, high 55. A couple of showers this evening, otherwise turning out partly cloudy Sunday night, low 48 in Central Park. Monday, partly sunny and mild, high 60 degrees. Mild on Tuesday with times of clouds and sunshine, high 62. A couple of morning showers are possible Wednesday, otherwise breezy and cooler with intervals of clouds and sunshine, high Wednesday 52. Thursday, mostly sunny and chilly, high 45. I'm meteorologist Mike Lucini in the WCBS Weather Center. Our temperature in town right now, 42 degrees. We've got a cloudy sky and the wind is calm. Over Newark, it's 40 degrees. Fog and the wind's out of the northeast at 5 miles an hour. And as I tell you, outside our windows in lower Manhattan, it is thick out there. New Jersey, in fact, the west side of Manhattan's pretty much disappeared a piece super. You know, the holidays are here. And this year, more than ever, it's a time to be with family as the tri-state tries to bounce back from Sandy. WCBS is giving away $1,000 every weekday. Money you could use for storm repair, holiday gifts, or just give to your favorite charity if you like. So listen every weekday morning at 820 now through Friday to hear how you could win $1,000 from WCBS News Radio 880. 
Mercy College is the one to watch. Rated A by Standard & Poor's. Nationally recognized programs in some of the hottest professional fields around. Come to Mercy Mondays this fall and find out how easy it is to get your master's degree and re-energize your career. Mercy Mondays, more than 25 graduate degree programs, all designed for working people, nights, weekends, and online. Come to Mercy Mondays for graduate days at our campuses in Dobbs Ferry, the Bronx, and Manhattan. And find out about the quality, affordable graduate education at Mercy College. The one to watch at mercy.edu. Tis the season for giving, which means you have to find some awesome gifts for the sports fans in your life. With CBS Local's Fan Shop, not only can you find great team gear, but you can also save money. Visit CBSLocalFanshop.com today through the end of the year and enter the promo code HOLIDAY10 to get an additional 10% off. Get tremendous gifts for the sports fan on your shopping list at CBSLocalFanshop.com today and use the promo code HOLIDAY10 to save even more. WCBS News Time 322. Hundreds of fans attended Hector Macho Camacho's funeral at St. Cecilia's Church at East 106th Street yesterday. The charismatic but troubled three-time world boxing champ was murdered sitting in a car outside a bar in Puerto Rico with a friend. Police found cocaine in the car, and drugs and alcohol and other problems have dogged the 50-year-old Camacho since the prime of his boxing career. His wife, she attended the funeral with their four children, had filed two domestic abuse complaints against him before their divorce, but fans loved him, and yesterday they waved Puerto Rican flags at his funeral. His oldest son, Hector Jr., told us, It's sad that he goes, but at the end of the day, what matter was, not legacy, not the money he has made, his heart. His heart is big. At the end of the day, Allah, God, is going to judge the heart. Camacho was buried at St. Raymond's, Raymond's Cemetery in the Bronx. WCBS News Time 323, and that brought, brings us to the WCBS Health Watch with CBS News medical correspondent Dr. Holly Phillips. You and your spouse just had a major argument. You think it's healthy to get your feelings off your chest before you turn in for the night, but new research from Ohio State University suggests that's just a myth. For Fitness Magazine, I'm Dr. Holly Phillips with Health Watch. Venting before you go to bed is like using gasoline to put out a fire. It only feeds angry feelings and aggressive impulses. Going to bed without spilling your guts reduces hostility. Instead of using your partner as a verbal punching bag after a frustrating argument, give yourself time to calm down. Do something relaxing instead, like counting to 10 while taking deep breaths or snuggling with your dog. Then go to sleep. Once you've cooled off, try solving the problem with a calm, heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Even if it means waiting until the morning, it's better than a screeching late-night argument. With Health Watch, I'm Dr. Holly Phillips, WCBS 880 News. WCBS News Time 324. Got a break right here, then business. According to the FBI Uniform Crime Report, there are over 5,000 robberies every day. Your home could be at risk of being burglarized. Don't put your loved ones and valuables in jeopardy. For just over a dollar per day, your home can be protected from break-ins, fire, and more. Get the latest home security technology from Protect Your Home. Dealer. Over 6 million households sleep better at night with ADT-monitored home security. What's more, Protect Your Home is offering you their latest equipment, an $850 value, absolutely free for qualified customers. Protect your loved ones and home today. Call now for licenses and to find out more. The call is free, 1-800-285-9584. That's 1-800-285-9584. Again, 1-800-285-9584. $99 installation charge, 36-month monitoring agreement at $36.99 per month. Payment by credit card or electronic bank account charge. For new homeowner customers with satisfaction, Factory credit history only. Local permit fees may be required. Certain restrictions apply. Cannot be combined with any other offer. WCBS News Time 325 brings us to business. There's a lot of remodeling and technology upgrade work ahead. Jeff Blau at Related Real Estate says more than half the buildings in the city are more than 50 years old, and faster internet connections are part of the infrastructure to be upgraded too. Robert Greenberg of RGA Advertising says tech talent is the new future of the ad industry as well. Stephen Hindy of Brooklyn Brewery says the success of using the Brooklyn Navy Yard for small businesses should be repeated in every other borough. And Deborah Wright of Carver Bank says let's put in tech campuses to help the kids in Brooklyn, Harlem, and the Bronx, too. And some people at Crane's Future in New York meeting said more of the new growth should be in the suburbs. I'm Joe Connolly for the Wall Street Journal.
Fear of the fiscal cliff, lack of progress to negotiating a deal to avoid it, drove stocks lower most of the day Friday, but the end of the day on a rally, and so the Dow and the S&P ended up. The Dow was up four points, closed at 13,025. The S&P gained a fraction, closed at 1416, while the Nasdaq, it was down two, closed at 3010. Business news, 25 and 55, passed every hour on WCBS News Radio 880, WCBS News Time 326. Liz. Todd? I want you back. You're just saying that because I got a makeover to make me look hot, even though I was hot to begin with. No, no, no. I miss those nights instantly watching TV episodes and movies online with Netflix. We watched as much as we wanted. Whenever and wherever we wanted. So, you love me? Even if I put these glasses back on? Wow, those are thick. Instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on all kinds of devices for only 8 bucks a month with Netflix. Start your free trial today. See terms of use. WCBS News Time 327. Don't cry for me, Argentina. The truth is, I never left you. Ah, uh, but the truth is, Ricky Martin is leaving Evita. He plays Che in the Broadway show. Now, Martin's got a slew of new projects in the works, so don't cry for him either. Two TV series, a children's book, but he makes his final bow in the Andrew Lloyd Webber show, January 26th. Hours after reality TV star Kim Kardashian gushed about Bahrain, riot police fired tear gas to, disp- to disperse more than 50 right-wing Islamic protesters denouncing her presence in the Gulf Kingdom. She's opening one of her millions of milkshakes shops. That is hard to say, millions of milkshakes. Anyway, she's opening one of her shops in Bahrain. The demonstrators were cleared before Kardashian could arrive. WCBS News Time 328. Let's get traffic and weather together now every 10 minutes on the 8th. Lou Adams at the traffic center. We go to New Jersey around Parsippany, westbound on 80, <coughs> approaching exit 39. Uh, there is an accident that is under investigation, so definitely go with Route 46. You have construction in that area as well, westbound between exits 45 and 39. On the New York State Thruway, construction both directions onto and across the Tappan Zee. And at the George Washington Bridge, construction Jersey bound underneath the apartments to both decks. Very dense fog around the tri state, so be careful. And don't forget, higher tolls. At the George Washington Bridge, Lincoln and Holland Tunnels, the Gothels, the Outer Bridge, and the Bayonne Bridge. And now here's meteorologist Mike Lassini, WCBS Pinpoint Weather. Areas of fog early this morning with temperatures nearly steady or even slowly rising. Turning out partly sunny later today, high 55 degrees. There'll be a couple of evening showers, otherwise partly cloudy Sunday night, low 48. Monday, partly sunny, high 60. Tuesday, partly sunny, high 62. I'm meteorologist Mike Lassini in the WCBS Weather Center. Our temperature in town right now, 42 degrees. We've got a cloudy sky and a calm wind and heavy fog. In Newark, it's foggy. It's 40 degrees. The wind's out of the northeast at 5 miles an hour. Visibility in Newark, half a mile. Visibility in our area, far less than that. WCBS News Time, 3.30. News, traffic, and weather. On air, online. We are News Radio. WCBS 880. Oh, good morning. Uh, it's Saturday, December 2nd. I'm Joe Avalar. Here's the latest from the WCBS newsroom. A Kansas City Chiefs football player from Long Island apparently killed his girlfriend, then commit suicide in front of his coach. More than 100 still evacuated from the South Jersey homes after train derailment and a toxic gas leak. Attempts at Hempstead to prevent another horrific accident. Northern California bracing for a third heavy rainstorm and flooding rivers. It has already started to rain there. A strike in L.A. and Long Beach costing a billion dollars a day and affects the flow of foreign goods to this country in sports. The Heat beat the Nets 102-89 to while Alabama's going to the national championship game with a 32-28 win over Georgia. WCBS News Time, 331. A linebacker for the Kansas City Chiefs, Jovan Belcher, who is from West Babylon, apparently killed his girlfriend, then drove to his stadium, thanked his coach and general manager for giving him a chance, and shot himself in the head. Danny Parkins hosts a show on 610 Sports Radio in Kansas City. They're devastated. They've uh, been they've only been releasing statements. They have not uh, addressed any media members. Romeo Cornell, the head coach, who was witness to Jovan Belcher committing suicide in the parking lot, uh, is expected to coach the team tomorrow. I spoke to a player on the team who said he didn't think it was right to be uh, making public comments at this time, but that the team is getting prepared to play tomorrow's game against the Carolina Panthers as scheduled, and they were going through all of the normal uh, day-before-the-game activities. So they're sad, they're somber. 
Police said Belcher and his girlfriend, 22-year-old Cassandra Perkins, have been fighting a lot lately. The two had a three-month-old girl. She's being cared for by relatives now. And back in our area, a student at West Babylon High School told CBS2 about Belcher. A lot of people looked up to him, too. I was like a football player because he made it out of West Babylon. It was a big deal that he was an NFL player and came out of here? Yeah, it was. WCBS News Time 332. Four railroad tanker cars derailed off a bridge in Paulsboro, New Jersey, ending up in Mantua Creek and spewing a hazardous chemical gas, vinyl chloride, into the air. Prior to crossing the bridge, the NTSB says the engineer called to get permission because there were signal problems. Two locomotives and the first five cars of the train made it safely across the bridge before seven cars derailed. More than 100 people remain out of their homes as officials to clear continue to clear the gas a vinyl chloride can induce respiratory problems dizziness other health effects after short-term exposure here's kyw reporter chris jimenez u.s coast guard captain kathy moore says first is making sure the accident site is as safe as possible teams continue to apply a mist a water mist over the derailed t- train cars to limit the spread of the vinyl chloride cargo into the surrounding areas she, along with Larry Haina with the State Department of Environmental Protection, says they're constantly monitoring levels of vinyl chloride. Most of the results have been in the non-detect range or slightly elevated range that we would not believe would have any acute health impacts on people. Tim Jimenez, CBS News, Clarksboro, New Jersey. WCBS News Time 333. The mayor of the village of Hempstead hopes a new law will prevent an accident similar to the one that killed a little boy. The owner of the property on Fulton Avenue in the village of Hempstead, Long Island, will face code violations. Mayor Wayne Hall told me after inspectors said the porch on the house was illegally converted into a bedroom. That's where six-year-old David Granados was when the bus crashed into the house. Mayor Hall says he tried to help pass a new renter's registration law a few years ago, but landlords fought the proposal. If you have a house and you want to rent it, or even an apartment building, you want to rent it out, every tenant that um, rents that apartment or that house has to register with the building department. That would would have prevented this from from he said a modified version of this law will begin on Tuesday. Sophia Hall, WCBS 880 News. WCBS News Time 334 coming up. Now it's Northern California's turn to feel the wrath of Mother Nature. They're facing a third heavy rainstorm and they're expecting rivers to flood and it's already started. Mercy College is the one to watch. Rated A by Standard & Poor's. Nationally recognized programs in some of the hottest professional fields around. Come to Mercy Mondays this fall and find out how easy it is to get your master's degree and re-energize your career. Mercy Mondays, more than 25 graduate degree programs, all designed for working people, nights, weekends, and online. Come to Mercy Mondays for graduate days at our campuses in Dobbs Ferry, the Bronx, and Manhattan. And find out about the quality, affordable graduate education at Mercy College. The one to watch at mercy.edu. Okay, what's up with Wednesday? Wednesday's a bit odd. Just look how it's spelled. What's with that D? But Thursday, Thursday is awesome. Why? Well, because it's Boneless Thursdays at Buffalo Wild Wings. Every Thursday, you can get specially priced boneless wings spun fresh in your choice of any of their over 20 sauces and seasonings. So hurry up and get to your local Buffalo Wild Wings this Thursday. You'll know it's Thursday by how awesome it feels. Or you can just look at a calendar. Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings, beer, sports. WCBS News Time 335. They're bracing for another storm in Northern California. In fact, it's already started raining parts of Northern California, and this is going to be a big one. The third storm in a string of powerful weather systems to hit the region since Wednesday. The Russian River, the Napa River, the Truckee River, all expected to flood. In fact, we hear now from KOVR TV reporter Steve Large. He's on the Truckee. More relentless rain is forecast to turn this part of the Truckee River into a danger zone. The roar of the river becomes intense like a a jet engine. Dick Howell has a home on the river's edge. He's already cleared the outdoor furniture he can move to higher ground and is bracing for possible property damage to what he can't move, the rest of his house. WCBS News Time 336. A strike at the ports of L.A. and Long Beach is costing a billion dollars a day. Los Angeles and Long Beach handle 40% of the nation's import trade and strikes have shut down seven of eight terminals in L.A. 
At the terminals in Long Beach, dock workers refused to cross the picket line set up by 800 union clerical workers. The union says shippers are outsourcing jobs. Here's the LA Times business reporter, Ron White. When you close a facility like that down, even partially, it has a huge financial impact. We're having diversions, which is not good for the local economy. There are ships being sent to various ports in Mexico. There are ships going up to Oakland. Will it make our goods more expensive? One economist thinks not, because shippers will divert goods, as you just heard, to other ports. But that loss of time and change of plans costs money and time and eventually gets paid by somebody. WCBS News Time 337. A break right here, then we have traffic and weather together on the 8s. Getting gifts for the sports fan in your life has never been easier this holiday season thanks to CBS Locals Fan Shop. We've got the jerseys and gear for almost every team in any sport. And if you visit CBS Locals Fan Shop today through the end of the year and enter the promo code HOLIDAY10, you'll get an additional 10% off your purchase. Visit CBSLocalFanshop.com today and use the promo code HOLIDAY10 to save even more from CBS Locals Fan Shop. Important medical alert for users of antidepressant prescription drugs. If you or a loved one used certain antidepressant prescription drugs before or during pregnancy, including Zoloft, Depakote, Paxil, Prozac, Wellbutrin, Lexapro, Celexa, or Effexor, and have a child born with a birth defect such as cleft lip, cleft palate, club foot, or other heart, lung, and cranial defects, you may be entitled to substantial financial compensation and future medical expenses for your child's condition. Call 800-322-7975 now if you or a loved one used certain antidepressant prescription drugs before or during pregnancy and have a child born with a birth defect. Time is limited to file a claim. Act now. You may be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-322-7975. That's 800-322-7975. The call and consultation are free. 800-322-7975. This is an advertisement not valid in all states. Paid non-attorney spokesperson. iLawsuit.com is an advertising group that represents lawyers advertising their services and is a free matching service for consumers. It is not a law firm or lawyer referral service. WCBS News Time 338. Let's talk traffic and weather together now. Every 10 minutes on the 8 we do. Let's start with Lou Adams at the traffic center. In New Jersey, we still have the closure westbound on 80, approaching exit 39 in Parsippany. That is shut down because of a serious accident that is under investigation. And there's construction in that area westbound between exits 45 and 39 as well. So you want to go with Route 46 instead. Pretty dense fog around the tri-state this morning, so easy does it out there. And there is construction on the Garden State Parkway, southbound on the ramp to exit 159. Also watch for road work on 78, both ways between exits 52. Two and 57. In the Hudson Valley, road work on the New York State Thruway, both directions onto and across the Tappan Z with intermittent full closures. In Connecticut, not too bad of a ride on 95 or the Merritt Parkway. Long Island, things okay on the LIE, northern and southern state. And delays have finally eased out on the westbound Cross Bronx, approaching the George Washington Bridge with that construction underneath the apartments. Inbound the lower deck and the Palisades, that's easy pass only. Lincoln and Holland Tunnel's okay, but there is construction on the Jersey side of both. And don't forget, higher tolls now in effect at the Lincoln, the Holland, the GW, the Outer Bridge, the Gothels, and the Bayonne Bridge. And our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. And the forecast now from meteorologist Mike Lassini. Considerable cloudiness early this morning. There'll be areas of fog, and temperatures will be nearly steady or even slowly rising. Low clouds and fog will break for some sunshine later today. I-55. A couple of showers around in the evening, otherwise turning out partly cloudy late Sunday night, low 48 in Central Park. Monday, partly Sunday and mild, high 60 degrees. Mild Tuesday with times of clouds and sunshine, high 62. I'm meteorologist Mike Lucini in the WCBS Weather Center. Our temperature in town right now is 42 degrees. It's cloudy. If you can see the sky and the wind is calm, I say that and I smile because... We've got a pea soup fog out there right now, so you're not seeing much of anything. And the same is true, by the way, in Newark, where it's 40 degrees and the wind is out of the northeast at 5 miles an hour. WCBS News Time 340. Coming up, walking toward the fiscal cliff. Do you have student loans and are worried about making your payments? Stop worrying. Now, Direct Student Aid can help if you are behind, if you are late, or even if you are in default on your student loans, we can help cut your payments fast. 
We provide student loan relief, getting you relief from your student loans right away. We will stop any harassing phone calls, stop any wage garnishments, and even remove any tax liens. No matter how much you owe or how far behind you are with payments, call our established direct student aid toll-free assistance line right now. We can fix your student loan problems guaranteed. That's right. We guarantee we will get your student loan out of default and cut your payments right away. We have helped thousands of people just like you fix their student loans. Best of all, it's 100% guaranteed. Don't go another day with your loans behind or in default. Our specialists are waiting for your call. Call 800-395-5576. That's 800-395-5576. Again, call 800-395-5576. That's 800-395-5576. Stuck for gift ideas again this holiday? We have great news. You're actually just a click away from the perfect gift at redenvelope.com. With hundreds of new, one-of-a-kind gifts, you'll find something just right for everyone on your list. Whether it's cool gadgets for him or a customized piece of jewelry for her, you'll find it all at redenvelope.com. Fast, easy, and perfect. And right now, you can get 25% off almost everything. But you must go to redenvelope.com and enter promotion code FAST at checkout. Go to redenvelope.com. Code FAST. That's redenvelope.com. Promo code FAST. WCBS News Time 341. WCBS News Time 342. From the political rhetoric in yesterday's Washington, we continue on the road to the fiscal cliff. President Obama in his weekly address urged Congress to pass middle class tax cuts. The president spoke from the factory floor of a business where workers were uh, making toys for the Christmas shopping season. And he urged Democrats and Republicans to come together to pass extensions on certain tax cuts. If Congress does nothing... Every family will see their income taxes automatically go up at the beginning of next year. A typical middle-class family of four will see their income taxes rise by $2,200. We can't let that happen. And in the Republican response, Senator Orrin Hatch joined the other Republicans and attacked President Obama. He wants a so-called balanced approach to solve this crisis. But what he proposed this week was a classic bait-and-switch on the American people. A tax increase double the size of what he campaigned on. WCBS News Time 343. North Korea says it'll try again within the next few weeks to test to, or to launch a new long range rocket. U.S. condemnation was quick in coming. Here's CBS News correspondent Anna Werner. Recent satellite imagery shows an increase in activity at the Sohei Satellite Launch Station near the northern border of China. North Korea may be trying to prove that Kim Jong-il's son, one year into his presidency, has muscle. Any missile test will increase tensions between North Korea and the United States. Today, the State Department called the move a highly provocative act that threatens peace and security in the region. WCBS News Time 344. The Nets' winning streak of five comes to an end. We'll have that in sports in a moment. Hey, dog, where's your owner? Watching Netflix. Yeah? He can instantly watch as many TV episodes and movies as he wants online. Well, I know what you did on my lawn, and it's not funny. (laughs) It is to kids. Well, what are their parents supposed to laugh at? The sophisticated jokes. You know, like, that dog chasing his tail reminds me of politicians. (laughs) Instantly watch as many TV episodes and movies as your family wants on all kinds of devices for only 8 bucks a month with Netflix. Start your free trial today. See terms of use. Tis the season for giving, which means you have to find some awesome gifts for the sports fans in your life. With CBS Local's Fan Shop, not only can you find great team gear, but you can also save money. Visit CBSLocalFanshop.com today through the end of the year and enter the promo code HOLIDAY10 to get an additional 10% off. Get tremendous gifts for the sports fan on your shopping list at CBSLocalFanshop.com today and use the promo code HOLIDAY10 to save even more. Our temperature in town right now, 42 degrees. Sky is cloudy and it is foggy out there, a real thick one. And the temperature is not going to get much lower, but it is going to get higher as the fog burns off later today. We'll have a partly sunny day with a high temperature, 55 degrees. Monday's even better, mostly sunny with a high of 60. At 880 on your AM dial and live on your computer and smartphone at CBSNewYork.com. When you need to know, we've got you covered. Good morning, I'm Joe Avlar. Coming up on WCBS News Radio 880, a same-sex wedding at the chapel at West Point. 
That story's coming up after sports. We'll have business news here in 10 minutes, too. WCBS News Time 345. That is time for sports. Let's check in here with Mark Mitchell. Joe, the Nets let a 14-point lead get away as they lost to the Heat 102-89 to in Miami. Brooklyn's five-game win streak comes to an end. Dwayne Wade went off for 34 points. LeBron James added 21. Andre Blatch led the Nets with 20. For me personally, I think we just... Because how, how well we did the first half, we came out, you know, more relaxed. And uh, they just, you know, I don't know, they, did, they just did what great team did. They just jumped on us. Gerald Wallace had 13 points and Joe Johnson 12. Alabama is going to its second straight national championship game, winning a seesaw battle with Georgia 32-28. For the SEC championship, A.J. McCarron hit Amari Cooper on a go-ahead 45-yard touchdown pass with 3.15 left to put the tide on top for good. So they'll take on Notre Dame January 7th. The Big Ten goes to New Wisconsin 70-31 to over Nebraska, and the ACC championship was taken by Florida State 21-15 over Georgia Tech. Locally, Cincinnati over UConn 34-17. Well, Kansas City linebacker Jovan Belcher, who was a West Babylon native, fatally shot his girlfriend Saturday morning and drove to a parking lot at Arrowhead Stadium where he killed himself in front of his coach and the team's GM. The Chiefs' home game with Carolina will go on today. College basketball action. It was St. John's over New Jersey Tech 57-49. Ole Miss beat Rutgers 80-67. Temple topping Wagner 70-62. SMU blew out Hofstra 73-47. And LIU Brooklyn over Lafayette 71-60. Sports sponsored by Cars.com. Cars.com is confident that the East Coast will bounce back better than before the storm. To all their customers and employees that have been affected, they'll be there when you need them. Cars.com. Confidence comes standard. Sports at 15 and 45. Mark Mitchell, WCBS 880 Sports. And WCBS News Time 347. We'll have traffic and weather together on the 8s. Just a minute. Hey guys, remember when you were 18 with unlimited energy and the stamina to do anything you wanted anytime? Wish you could relive your glory days and have the testosterone drive of your teenage years with the experience and skill you have today? Now you can with ProGene Daily Complex. This is Dr. Todd Karen from the American Academy of Anti-Aging and Regenerative Medicine. Testosterone levels decrease in men after the age of 20. It's a major cause of the aging process. The effects include lack of energy, decrease in muscle mass, increasing belly fat, and decreased sexual performance, all of which impact self-esteem confidence, and most importantly, overall quality of life. Kick your drive back into high gear with ProGene. Call 800-943-2706 today to get a full month absolutely free. No injections, no prescription needed. ProGene is an all-natural herbal supplement that helps men boost testosterone production. Claim your free month supply now by calling 800-943-2706. That's 800-943-2706. Again, 800-943-2706. Shipping and processing charges apply. WCBS News Time 348. Let's get traffic and weather together now. Every 10 minutes on the 8th, start with Lou Adams at the Traffic Center. We are still shut down in New Jersey on westbound 80, approaching exit 39. Serious accident, still under investigation. And then you add construction in that area, westbound between exits 45 and 39, and uh, that means you take Route 46 instead. Also watch for construction on the Garden State Parkway, southbound closing the ramp to exit 159 and southbound on 287. There's also construction. That's closing the ramp to exit 41. Pretty dense fog out there, as you've been hearing here on WCBS. So use some extra caution this morning. On the New York State Thruway, construction both directions onto and across the Tap and Z with intermittent full closures. In Connecticut, no major backups on 95 or the Merritt Parkway. Long Island, things in pretty good shape on the LIE, northern and southern state. Jersey bound at the George Washington Bridge, construct going underneath the apartments. One lane closed to each deck. Inbound the lower deck and the Palisades, that's easy pass only. Lincoln Tunnel, construction on the Jersey side on 495. Holland Tunnel, road work on the Jersey side on 1 and 9. And don't forget, higher tolls in effect now at the Lincoln, the Holland, the GW, the Outer Bridge, the Gothels, and the Bayonne Bridge. And our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. And now that forecast from meteorologist Mike Lassini. Mostly cloudy early this morning with areas of fog. Temperatures will be nearly steady or even slowly rising. Low clouds and fog will break for some sunshine later today, high 55 degrees. A couple of showers around this evening, otherwise turning out partly cloudy late Sunday night, low 48 in Central Park. Monday partly sunny and mild, high 60 degrees. Remaining mild on Tuesday with times of clouds and sunshine, high 62. Wednesday, a couple of morning showers are possible, otherwise breezy and cooler Wednesday, with intervals of clouds and sunshine, high 52. Mostly sunny and chilly Thursday, high 45. 
I'm meteorologist Mike Lucini in the WCBS Weather Center. Our temperature in town right now is 42 degrees. It's cloudy out there and foggy. And the wind is calm. In Newark, it's foggy. The wind's out of the northeast at 5 miles an hour. And the temperature is 40 degrees. WCBS News Time, 351. Need a great place to watch your favorite teams in New Jersey? Join Miller Lite at Water Street, located at 4 Robbins Parkway in Tom's River, for great Miller Draft and Bottle Specials. Water Street has been completely renovated with 21 new flat-screen TVs located all over, so you never miss any of the action or the view of the Tom's River located right off their back deck. So visit Water Street in Tom's River or check them out at bakerswaterstreet.com for more info. All for Miller Lite and Water Street. Miller Lite reminds you to enjoy responsibly. Mom was always independent, so it broke my heart when I thought she might need a nursing home. Thankfully, I discovered a better choice. Health First manage long-term care options, provide the specialized, coordinated care mom needs to help her stay where her heart is, at home. Find out if a Health First managed long-term care plan is right for you. Call 1-855-552-4369, 1-855-552-4369, seven days a week, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., or visit hflongtermcare.org. News time 352. The landmark church at the Center of Spiritual Life at the U.S. Military Academy of West Point is hosting its first same-sex wedding. Brides Penelope Neeson and Brenda Sue Fulton, a West Point graduate, exchanged vows in the Regal Church in a ceremony that was attended by about 250 guests. The couple have been together for 17 years. Fulton says she's grateful to be able to set an example for others. This is about standing up for what's right. It was such a privilege for us to be part of today and what it means for for young cadets and and lieutenants and soldiers coming up. The ceremony was the second same-sex wedding at West Point. Last weekend, two of Fulton's friends got married in another campus chapel. The world's first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier was retired yesterday from active service in the U.S. Navy after 51 years. The USS Enterprise was retired at the Naval Station Norfolk in Virginia. Thousands of former crew members, shipbuilders, their families lined up here to bid farewell to one of the most decorated ships in the Navy. It's served in every major conflict since participating in a blockade during the Cuban Missile Crisis. And a future aircraft carrier will be named the USS Enterprise. WCBS News Time, 353. Now this. I'm Peter Greenberg, and this is today's Worldwide Travel Minute. Here's something you may not have known about me. Almost every item in my house comes from a hotel that I've stayed at around the world. No, I didn't steal it. I bought it. Many hotels use amenities like comfortable beds and upscale spa products to attract guests and then make those items available to bring home with you. The Hilton Home Collection offers everything from its serenity bed to shower heads. The W Hotel Store tries to extend its hip brand with funky items like acrylic furniture, fur throw rugs, and even clothing. If you've ever stayed in a Weston hotel, then you've probably introduced to the Heavenly Bed and the chain signature white tea scents, all of which are for sale. The Sofitel chain, which is based in France, sells items that are European-inspired, including linens from Paris and porcelain dishes from France. And you've probably heard of the famous marching ducks at the Peabody Hotel. Well, the Peabody Galleria also sells duck-themed everything. And in my opinion, no bathroom is complete without a rubber ducky. For more information, visit the Watch and Listen page of CBSNewYork.com. Just click on audio on demand. WCBS News Time 354 break, then business. It's important to stay connected to your world and beyond. That's where we come in. Start every day with New York's News Radio, WCBS 880. Getting gifts for the sports fan in your life has never been easier this holiday season thanks to CBS Locals Fan Shop. We've got the jerseys and gear for almost every team in any sport. And if you visit CBS Locals Fan Shop today through the end of the year and enter the promo code HOLIDAY10, you'll get an additional 10% off your purchase. Visit CBSLocalFanshop.com today and use the promo code HOLIDAY10 to save even more from CBS Locals Fan is better than ever. Stay tuned for a million bottle giveaway and you'll also receive free shipping. Do you have troubled skin, acne? Well, we have great news. With Proactive, your acne can heal and you can prevent new breakouts from happening. Don't miss this limited time offer. Give us a call at 1-800-533-3091 because we're going to let a million people try Proactive risk-free, get two free gifts, and also receive free shipping when you call right now. 
You heard it. This offer won't last long. So call Proactive now and you'll receive a 60-day risk-free trial at Proactive, two free extras, and free shipping. Call 1-800-533-3091. This is our best radio offer ever. Get your risk-free 60-day trial of Proactive plus free shipping. That's right, free shipping. Don't wait. Visit GetProactive.com or call 1-800-533-3091. That's 1-800-533-3091. WCBS News Time, 355 Time for Business. I'm Chuck Kamlick, CNBC Radio, with a look at the week ahead on Wall Street. It's the last month of the year, but will we see a Santa Claus rally? That could depend a lot on the news we get this week about jobs. There are two reports on new hiring in November, one from ADP, another from Uncle Sam, and that is the more critical report. We'll probably get some idea how Hurricane Sandy and worries about the fiscal cliff affected hiring in November. We'll also get reports on new claims for jobless benefits and on planned job cuts, too. Hurricane Sandy washed away an estimated 400,000 cars. That could drive up auto sales for November by 13%. Meanwhile, profits at AutoZone could be up 15%. Owners still trying to do their own maintenance. Toll Brothers earnings could nearly triple thanks to rising home sales. And after winning a patent infringement case against Samsung, Apple heads back to court this week. This time it will ask a judge to permanently bar Samsung from selling smartphones in this country. I'm Chuck Kamlick. CNBC Radio. And WCBS News Time 356 on Friday. It was an up day. Finally, at the end of the day, a late day rally moved it along. The Dow added four points. The S&P up a fraction. The NASDAQ hit down. It ended up down two. We've got Levon Putney with the day's top stories. Traffic and weather right after this. WCBS News Time 358. And of course, that's time for traffic and weather together now every 10 minutes on the 8th. Let's check in here with Lou Adams at the traffic center. The fog is very, very dense out there, so take it slow and budget some extra travel time. And we still have that closure in New Jersey, westbound 80, approaching exit 39 in Parsippany. Serious accident that is under investigation, plus construction in that area, westbound between exits 45 and 39. At the George Washington Bridge, construction Jersey bound underneath the apartments, going to both decks and on the Tap and Z, construction both ways with intermittent full closures. And we have higher tolls now at the George, the Lincoln and the Holland, the Gotham the Outer Bridge, and the Bayonne Bridge. And now here's the WCBS Pinpoint Forecast. Areas of fog early this morning with temperatures nearly steady or even slowly rising. Turning out partly sunny later today, high 55 degrees. There'll be a couple of evening showers, otherwise partly cloudy Sunday night, low 48. Monday, partly sunny, high 60. Tuesday, partly sunny, high 62. I'm meteorologist Mike Lucini in the WCBS Weather Center. Our temperature in town right now, 42 degrees. We've got a cloudy sky and fog, heavy fog out there, so be careful. I've got to do the same. News, traffic, and weather on air, online. We are News Radio, WCBS, New York. Good, very early in the morning. It's Sunday, December 2nd. I'm Levon Putney. Here's the latest from the WCBS newsroom. It's cold. A lot of people have no heat after Hurricane Sandy in New York City's health department. It's asking folks not to stay in those conditions. Governor Cuomo is going to Washington to ask for more federal funds to help recover from Sandy. NJ Transit, his last remaining storm-damaged line, back on track starting Monday while Chelsea Piers reopened on Manhattan's west side. Future boardwalks may not actually be boardwalks at all, or at least not natural wood. Hundreds paid respects Saturday in Spanish Harlem to former boxing champ Hector Macho Camacho. In sports, Nets lost to the Heat. Jets host Arizona Cardinals at 1 p.m. Giants have the Redskins in a big Monday night showdown. WCBS News time, 4 o'clock. CBS News, I'm Tom Fody. More rough weather is forecast for Northern California, which has already seen two major storms the last couple of days. Forecasters say the Russian River Valley could see up to seven inches of rain over the weekend, and there's concern that Guerneville could be underwater by Monday morning. CBS News correspondent Carter Evans is there and gives us this late update. The rain has really started coming down again. Uh, it's coming down in sheets. The roads are saturated and there's really nowhere for this water to go right now and that's the big problem. The rivers are expected to reach flood stage at noon and then surpass flood stage after that. Turning overseas, there has been a Taliban attack on a joint U.S.-Afghan airbase near the city of Jalalabad. 
A gun battle lasted about two hours, and CBS News has been told nine insurgents were killed, along with four Afghan troops and two civilians. In Japan, there has been a deadly tunnel collapse west of Tokyo. Police say seven victims remain inside the Sasako Tunnel, and that passengers in at least one car, a white rental van, were crushed by the tunnel collapse and did not survive. Rescuers have not been able to reach the site because of fears of another cave-in. Remote cameras show dozens of concrete planks weighing more than a ton each scattered across the disaster site. That's CBS's Lucy Kraft in Tokyo. And still in Asia, there's been a dam collapse in Cambodia with four people missing and believed drowned there. In this country, two passengers were killed when the driver of a bus with 32 members of a church group aboard went the wrong way at Miami's International Airport and hit an overpass. Police say Kansas City Chief linebacker Javon Belcher has killed his girlfriend and minutes later he then turned up at the team's practice complex. He was holding a gun to his head. He thanked his general manager and his coach and then shot himself. KCTV sports director Michael Coleman with the details. He arrives at the stadium. He's in the the parking lot for the players. The general manager, Scott Pioli, the head coach, Romeo Cornell, they're talking to him. Their lives were never in danger. They say they never felt they were in danger. And when the police arrive, that's when Mr. Belcher pulls out the gun and shoots himself right there in front of the GM and the coach. The Chiefs do plan to play their game with the Packers later today. Perhaps the best-known soccer player in the world has closed out the U.S. part of his career. David Beckham in the final moments of this game being replaced, getting a huge ovation here at Home Depot Center. Hugs, embraces from his teammates, now from his coach. Beckham ends his professional career in the U.S. on top. His L.A. Galaxy will win the MLS Cup. Beckham leaves Los Angeles as part of the champions. CBS's Steve Futterman in Carson, California. In college football, number two Alabama edge number three Georgia to win the Southeast Conference championship game and the right to play Notre Dame for the national championship. This is CBS News. Good news, everyone. Lumber Liquidators wants to send you a free catalog of hardwood flooring options. Call 800-580-9030. See how you can buy the highest quality flooring for the lowest possible prices. Here's what some of our customers have to say. I've installed a lot of hardwood floors, but this is the best bang for the buck. Call in the next 10 minutes to get your free catalog. I love Lumber Liquidators. I got quality products for less, and the online ordering was easy. At Lumber Liquidators, we buy direct from the mills, and we pass the savings on to you. Call right now and get the floor guide and catalog absolutely free. It has hundreds Hundreds of top quality flooring such as solid hardwoods, laminates, bamboos, and even Bellawood pre-finished flooring with a transferable 100-year warranty. Our catalog is full of tips, ideas, and our flooring project list to help you find the right floor for you. Call 800-580-9030 and get your free catalog. 800-580-9030. That's 800-580-9030. Live from Studio 11A. At the CBS Hudson Square Broadcast Center, we are News Radio, WCBS HD, and WCBS FM HD3, New York. 42 degrees, cloudy, but how would you know? Look outside, it's foggy out there around the area. Visibility down to a half mile, for instance, at LaGuardia Airport. Quarter mile at Kennedy and Newark. WCBS News Time 404. Well, it's been a little over a month now since Sandy Hurricane, but uh, some damaged homes are still putting a lot of folks in some dangerous positions, as we hear from WCBS reporter Jim Smith. The city's health department says more than 12,000 people may be trying to survive in unheated homes, like Eddie Saman of New Door Beach, Staten Island. I slept without heat, covered myself with about hundreds of Saman says he couldn't find a hotel room, so he stayed with a wood-burning stove until it sparked a fire, destroying what was left of his home. Salvatore Barcia volunteers with the New York State Nursing Association going door-to-door and says freezing homeowners can get desperate. They have space heaters, they have chimneys that are you know, structurally damaged from the storm that they don't know about. Um, and they are very susceptible to having their homes on fire. The health department is encouraging people not to stay without heat, citing health concerns, especially for the elderly, as well as toxic mold and dust. Jim Smith, WCBS 880 News. 
New York Governor Andrew Cuomo is heading to Washington Monday with his hand out, making a pitch for about $42 billion in federal aid, all to help recover from the hurricane. That's according to an anonymous source in Cuomo's administration who talked to the Associated Press before the schedule was released. Cuomo's already asking for $32 billion for repairs and immediate costs after Sandy wrecked the area. The governor also wants $9 billion more for preventative measures for the next big storm. New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg already went to Washington Wednesday asking for $19 billion for the city. Excuse me. All NJ Transit rail lines will be running on full or modified schedules as of Monday. Well, this is a major milestone in our state's continuing recovery after the horrific devastation suffered as a result of Hurricane Sandy. We've come a long way, but we still have a long way to go. But the good news for our customers is that trains will be rolling again starting on Monday on the Gladstone branch. That's NJ Transit spokesman John Durso Jr. The Gladstone branch of the Morris and Essex lines will run to Hoboken and New York on a limited basis for now. A uh, West Side Manhattan fun spot back open after some hurricane damage. James Peterson had a smile on his face as he walked into Chelsea Piers. James is an employee who helped take apart the old carpeting and equipment after it was destroyed by Sandy. Now he says everything is brand new. I know we have new fields. We have uh, new courts, new uh, padding over there. We have a bunch of new gymnastics things. Everything's cleaned up. Everything's changed up and everything. How much did you miss coming to work here? It's a fun place. I've been just sitting sitting on my butt all weekend, so all week, all month, so it was crazy. Just so happy to be back. And this mother told me her daughter was so excited to go to gymnastics class. Because we've been training at a different gym in Connecticut for the past month, and the look on her face, she woke up this morning at 6 a.m. We're coming back to Chelsea Piers. Sophia Hall, WCBS 880 News. Traffic and weather together coming up in a minute. Years ago, my doctor told me to take a Centrum Silver multivitamin every day. I tell him, sure, can't hurt, right? Then I heard this news about a multivitamin study looking at long-term health benefits for men over 50. And the multivitamin they used for the study? Centrum Silver. Hey, that's what I take. My doctor, he really knows his stuff. The most recommended, most preferred, most studied. Centrum, always your most complete. A prior formula of Centrum Silver was used in the study. I'm a good gift giver. No, a fantastic gift giver. What do I get in return? An unnecessary cheek pinch. I deserve more. So this year, I'm giving Buffalo Wild Wings gift cards. For every $25 I spend, I can get a blazing bonus worth up to $100. So the next time I hear, oh, that's so sweet, it better be referring to honey barbecue sauce. Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings. Beer. Sports. No purchase necessary. Must be 18 or older. Valid in restaurant at participating locations. Only in Boyd and Florida, New York, Rhode Island, and we're prohibited by law. It's 1159 p.m. Eastern Time on December 31st, 2012. See official rules at buffalowildwings.com for restrictions and details. Ernie, I know you're our worst player, but I want you to win this thing. How, coach? I've been riding the bench watching Netflix on my tablet all season. By running the play, that would never work if this were a real game. Sorry. All I know is that Netflix lets me instantly watch as many TV episodes and movies as I want. Listen, son. When you get the ball, just chuck it. It'll go in. Instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on all kinds of devices for only 8 bucks a month with Netflix. Start your free trial today. See terms of use. WCBS News Time 408 traffic and weather together on the Yates every 10 minutes. They go together right now. You called a nice word. Soupy is the way it's looking out there, Lou Adams. That's right. Uh, we're not talking about uh, the late soupy sales either. It's, <laughs> uh, it's tough out there. It's pretty dense fog, so uh, be careful. Use the low beams. Budget a little extra travel time and take it slow, especially where the fog is thick. And we have this closure in New Jersey, westbound 80, with a serious accident approaching exit 39. And uh, that accident under investigation. Just the shoulder getting by, and there is construction in that area as well westbound between exits 45 and 39 taking out a couple of lanes so you want to go with route 46 instead also watch for road work on the garden state parkway southbound closes the ramp to exit 159 all weekend southbound on 287 construction closes the ramp to exit 41 as well there is a detour for you to follow moving up to the hudson valley despite the fog we have construction on the throughway onto and across the tap and z with periodic full closures on long island not too bad 
out of a ride on the LIE, the northern and southern state. And in the five boroughs, Jersey-bound George Washington Bridge, construction under the apartments to the upper and lower levels, but at least delays on the Cross Bronx have eased out. And speaking of the GW, higher tolls now in effect at the George, the Lincoln, the Holland Tunnels, the Gothels, the Outer Bridge, and the Bayonne Bridge. They took effect a little more than an hour ago. And if you see heavy traffic, call it into our tip line, 212-975-8888. Our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. All right, now let's switch gears over to the Weather Center. So, Mike Lassini, as clear as it is out, I can zoom my way home with no problems at all, huh? Well, you're going to have to deal with a little bit of fog here early this morning, Levon, and uh, it won't be around all day. We're mainly dealing with this here early this morning, and after we get uh, past daybreak and the sun comes up, uh, that sun will help burn off the fog, and we'll see uh, in all in all, a mostly cloudy sky and temperatures will be nearly steady or even slowly rising. Now, later today, we'll get rid of the low clouds and fog, and we'll have some sunshine and a high 55 degrees. A couple of showers will be around during the evening hours later today, then turning out partly cloudy late Sunday night, low 48 in Central Park. Monday, a mild day with a mix of clouds and sunshine, high 60 degrees. Tuesday, partly sunny and remaining mild, high 62. But then on Wednesday, expect it to turn breezy and cooler. A cold front could bring us a couple of morning showers. Otherwise, clouds breaking for some sunshine on Wednesday, high 52. Mostly sunny and chilly Thursday, high 45. Right now we have cloudy skies along with areas of fog. Some of the fog is dense. In fact, I see a lot of visibility is down to a quarter mile around the tri-state area. Temperatures ranging from 34 near Sparta, northwestern New Jersey, to 45 near Shirley on Long Island. We'll have a, we have a temperature of 42 in Central Park right now, and that temperature will be steady or slowly rising. I'm meteorologist Mike Lucini in the WCBS Weather Center. WCBS News Time 411. How far would you go? To help save someone's life. How about to your garage? If you have an unneeded vehicle, donate it to the Salvation Army. They'll pick it up for free, and the proceeds from its sale will help someone in the grip of addiction reclaim his life. To donate your vehicle, call 1 800 SA Truck or visit satruck.org. You will be doing the most good. Learn graphic design fast at Shillington School. Choose three months full-time or one year part-time because a world-class education needn't take forever. Visit Shillington for an info session to meet current graduates and learn more about graphic design. The info session will be held December 7th at 6 p.m. across from Grand Central at 315 Madison Avenue. More info is available online at shillingtonschool.com or by calling 212-682-6611. Starting with no prior experience, you will graduate with a professional portfolio and an in-depth knowledge of design theory and the Adobe Creative Suite. The course is taught by outstanding designers in an inspirational environment. Check out Shillington at the info session on December 7th or stop by anytime to find out more. Visit shillingtonschool.com or call 212-682-6611. That's shillingtonschool.com or 212-682-6611. At Shillington, make creativity your career. WCBS. The traffic's really important when I'm coming to work. To get the uh, weather and to get the news. Because it matters where you get your news. WCBS News Time 412. Miles of beach boardwalks in the Rockaways destroyed by Hurricane Sandy will be rebuilt, so says Mayor Michael Bloomberg. But should they be called boardwalks now? Because he says the new models will not be made of wood. For years now, city officials have talked about replacing the hardwood and the boardwalks with more durable materials like concrete and plastic composites. Uh, some don't like that idea, but the mayor told the Rockaways neighborhood paper The Wave that the storm settled that matter for good, pointing to concrete sections of boardwalk in the Rockaways and Coney Island, which held up much better. Well, the leaves have fallen, and it's a little too chilly right now to hang out at the playground, but New York City Parks and Rec's crews have been pretty busy lately. Since the storm, workers in city parks have been cutting, chipping, and spreading those chips. Here in Alley Pond Park, City Parks Commissioner Veronica White says there's been tremendous progress. But now we have over 90% of all of our parks and playgrounds up and running with people out and enjoying them. The city lost 17,000 trees during the storm. 
5,000 in parks and 12,000 along the streets. In Queens, Peter Haskell, WCBS ADD News. We'll get to sports in a minute. Foggy out there around the area. Temperatures pretty much holding steady all night long in the low 40s, rising up to a high later on today of about 55 degrees. Get this fog out of the way. It'll be partly sunny. Five-day forecast in three minutes. At 880 on your AM dial and live on your computer and smartphone at cbsnewyork.com. Wherever you are, we are. New York's News Radio, WCBS 880. Good, very early in the morning. I'm Levon Putney coming up on WCBS. Hundreds turned out in Spanish Harlem, paying respects to former boxing champ Hector Macho Camacho Saturday. We'll check that out after sports. Business news in 10 minutes. WCBS News Time 415. Time for WCBS Sports and Mark Mitchell. Leave on the Nets led in Miami till the third quarter, but the Heat took control to win it 102 to 89. Brooklyn sees a five game win streak in. The Nets led by nine at halftime, but then were outscored 32 to 19 in the third. Avery Johnson admits they just didn't keep up their great first half effort. In the first half, we were really taking it to them. We had some great energy. Um, and that was still with missing some shots. Um, I thought if we could have played at that same tempo in the second half, we would have had a shot. I had a number in mind somewhere around 105 to 110 points that we were going to need to win this game tonight, especially with the way they play. Dwayne Wade poured in 34 points to lead Miami. LeBron James had 21. Andre Blatch topped the Nets with 20 and 8 rebounds. Gerald Wallace had 13 and 9 boards as Brooke Lopez missed the second straight game. Alabama wins the SEC championship, rallying to beat Georgia 32-28 and setting up a meeting with number one Notre Dame for the BC. CS title on January 7th. Alabama's won two of the last three championships. The ACC title goes to Florida State, 21-15 over Georgia Tech in the Big Ten Championship. Not much of a contest as Wisconsin blew out Nebraska, 70-31. to Locally, Cincinnati down UConn, 34-17. Longtime college basketball coach Rick Majerus has died at 64 due to heart failure. In college basketball action locally, St. John's down New Jersey Tech 57-49. Rutgers falls to Ole Miss 80-67. And as you've been hearing on WCBS, Kansas City Chiefs linebacker Jovan Belcher, a West Babylon native, shot and killed his girlfriend and then himself at the practice facility at Arrowhead Stadium in front of his coach and GM. Belcher was 25 the Chiefs are scheduled to host the Panthers later today. The L.A. Galaxy wins the MLS Cup 3-1 over the Houston Dynamo. Sports at 15 and 45. Mark Mitchell, WCBS 880 Sports. Traffic and weather together in a minute. Okay, what's up with Wednesday? Wednesday's a bit odd. Just look how it's spelled. What's with that D? But Thursday, Thursday is awesome. Why? Well, because it's Boneless Thursdays at Buffalo Wild Wings. Every Thursday, you can get specially priced boneless wings spun fresh in your choice of any of their over 20 sauces and seasonings. So hurry up and get to your local Buffalo Wild Wings this Thursday. You'll know it's Thursday by how awesome it feels. Or you can just look at a calendar. Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings. Beer. Sports. Getting gifts for the sports fan in your life has never been easier this holiday season thanks to CBS Locals Fan Shop. We've got the jerseys and gear for almost every team in any sport. And if you visit CBS Locals Fan Shop today through the end of the year and enter the promo code HOLIDAY10, you'll get an additional 10% off your purchase. Visit CBSLocalFanshop.com today and use the promo code HOLIDAY10 to save even more from CBS Locals Fan Shop. If you have bad credit, you're not alone. Did you know that as much as 79% of all credit reports contain errors and incorrect information? Having great credit is more important than ever. Let nationally recognized credit expert Jason M. Kaplan help. Jason and his team of FICO experts will give you a free consultation and discuss how they can get your credit life back on track. Call 877-731-0082 for your free credit consultation and analysis. There's no upfront fees and you only pay for results. Call the credit pros now at 877-731-0082. WCBS News Time 418. Traffic and weather together on the Yates every 10 minutes. How's it out there, Lou Adams? It is uh, pretty dense, at least the fog uh, is, and we still have this one closure on 80, westbound approaching exit 39. All lanes are closed with an accident that is under investigation. Just the shoulder is getting by, and then you have construction in that area, westbound between exits 45 and 39, taking out a couple of lanes. So go with Route 46 instead. Also construction on 287, southbound on the ramp to exit 41, southbound Garden State Parkway construction on the ramp to exit 159. 
Road work on the New York State Thruway, both directions onto and across the Tappan Zee with periodic closures. No problems to report on Long Island on the LIE Northern and Southern State. And at the George Washington Bridge, the uh, inbound lower deck and palisades, that's easy pass only. Jersey bound construction underneath the apartments going to both levels. And uh, don't forget new tolls and the higher ones, of course, are always higher, but uh, the tolls have taken uh, effect at the uh, Hudson River crossings, the Lincoln, the Holland, the GW, the uh, the uh, Gothels, the Outer Bridge, and the Bayonne Bridge. Higher tolls took effect a little more than an hour ago. And our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. And now we get the five-day forecast here from Mike Lassini. Mostly cloudy with areas of fog earlier this morning. Temperatures will be nearly steady or even slowly rising. Low clouds and fog will break for some sunshine later today. High 55. A couple of showers this evening, otherwise turning out partly cloudy Sunday night. Low 48 in Central Park. Monday, partly sunny and mild, high 60 degrees. Mild on Tuesday with times of clouds and sunshine, high 62. A couple of morning showers are possible Wednesday, otherwise breezy and cooler with intervals of clouds and sunshine, high Wednesday, 52. Thursday, mostly sunny and chilly, high 45. I'm meteorologist Mike Lucini in the WCBS Weather Center. 40 degrees over at Newark Liberty Airport. It's foggy outside. WCBS News Time 420. Mercy College is the one to watch. Rated A by Standard & Poor's. Nationally recognized programs in some of the hottest professional fields around. Come to Mercy Mondays this fall and find out how easy it is to get your master's degree and re-energize your career. Mercy Mondays, more than 25 graduate degree programs, all designed for working people, nights, weekends, and online. Come to Mercy Mondays for graduate days at our campuses in Dobbs Ferry, the Bronx, and Manhattan. And find out about the quality, affordable graduate education at Mercy College. The one to watch at mercy.edu. This year, the WCBS partnership with Why Hunger couldn't be more important. Sandy postponed our usual Thanksgiving week event, but Wednesday, December 12th, we ask you to, again, offer your kind of support of Why Hunger efforts to feed folks around the tri-state and around the nation. Go to Hungerthon.org to find out more about how you can help to end to donate. Let's help make Hungerthon 2012 our biggest ever. WCBS News Time 422. Yeah. Just like the chance he got when entering the ring during his great career, Hector Camacho was cheered by hundreds outside St. Cecilia's, Cecilia's Roman Catholic Church Saturday in Spanish Harlem as his coffin was carried out of the church he went to as a boy. I know we'll all miss him. Um, I could just picture him smiling and laughing at us right now and just having a good time. Um, I know that, that, that the public enjoyed watching him and he enjoyed giving to the public. That's Camacho's brother Panchito Gomez, the former lightweight and junior welterweight champ, grew up in New York but was from Puerto Rico where he died last Saturday after being shot a few days before outside a bar in his hometown. WCBS News Time 423 Time now for Raising Our Kids with Pat Carroll. How can you keep one sick kid from infecting your whole family? I'm Pat Carroll for Parents Magazine with Raising Our Kids. Disinfecting is the first step. Germs can live for hours on inanimate objects like toys, doorknobs, remote controls, handrails, tables, books, light switches, crib railings, faucets, the toilet handle, and more. If possible, it's important to disinfect these surfaces every time your sick child touches them. Second, give the sick child some space. Some viruses can actually travel five to six feet from a sneeze or a cough. Lastly, ban sharing. Most of us know that we shouldn't use the same cups, toothbrushes, or eating utensils. But be sure to give sick family members a separate place to store their toothbrush in their own towels or paper towels for hand drying. With Raising Our Kids, I'm Pat Carroll, WCBS 880. WCBS News Time. 424 Suffolk County's district attorneys wondering if the apparent unprovoked attack on a couple at a Huntington pizza parlor was a hate crime. Now asking the county police to investigate that angle. Police charged 25 year old Frank Marangolo and his 20 year old brother Michael, both of Melville, with assault after last Saturday's incident. At a news conference Friday, the 60 and 65 year old victims from West Babylon said one of the attackers said, This one's for Obama as they kicked Willie Marshall, who's black. According to the couple, they asked for a new pizza slices, actually, after they stuck to the bag and got into an argument with the workers when they refused new slices or even a refund and says as they left, one of the workers threw a glass Parmesan cheese container hitting the wife in the head, which sparked the fight. 
Well, we'll get to business news here in about now. WCBS News Time is 425. Time for business news. I'm Scott Cohn, CNBC Radio. The Internet, cell phones, elaborate electronics. These are some of the ways cheating has gone high tech. Desperate to put a stop to these modern day schemes, schools are also turning to technology to fight back. Scott Schober of Berkeley Veritronic Systems has an array of gadgets to help. It's a cell phone detector. A teacher can simply tuck it away in their pocket. Now they could walk around as they're proctoring an exam and find the student and get close to them and catch them in the act. But where do these students learn their cheating ways? David Callahan, author of The Cheating Culture, thinks we don't have to look far to find out. They get that idea from watching the news, seeing what's going on on Wall Street, seeing what's going on in uh, Major League Baseball and sports. In any sector of society where the adults are in charge, there seems to be a lot of cheating. Are we encouraging our kids to chase success at any price? Scott Cohn, CNBC Radio. Business news at 25 and 55 every hour on WCBS 880. WCBS News Time 426. Ernie, I know you're our worst player, but I want you to win this thing. How, coach? I've been riding the bench watching Netflix on my tablet all season. By running the play, that would never work if this were a real game. Sorry, all I know is that Netflix lets me instantly watch as many TV episodes and movies as I want. Listen, son, when you get the ball, just chuck it. It'll go in. Instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on all kinds of devices for only 8 bucks a month with Netflix. Start your free trial today. See terms of use. Mercy College is the one to watch. Rated A by Standard & Poor's. Nationally recognized programs in some of the hottest professional fields around. Come to Mercy Mondays this fall and find out how easy it is to get your master's degree and re-energize your career. Mercy Mondays, more than 25 graduate degree programs, all designed for working people, nights, weekends, and online. Come to Mercy Mondays for graduate days at our campuses in Dobbs Ferry, the Bronx, and Manhattan. And find out about the quality, affordable graduate education at Mercy College. The one to watch at mercy.edu. WCBS News Time 427. Uh, taking a quick glance over here at business news uh, and a little bit more business news on the economic calendar in the week ahead. The Institute for Supply Management releases manufacturing index for November. That's on Monday. And then the monthly unemployment reports due on Friday. Bank of America postponing an increase in monthly fees for checking accounts, according to a report in the Wall Street Journal. The paper cited unnamed people familiar with the bank's plan, saying the new fees would be delayed until at least late next year. Uh, a spokesman for Bank of America had no comment. Uh, the bank has been testing new fees in a pilot program in Georgia, Massachusetts, and Arizona. Been charging between six bucks and twenty five dollars a month, depending on the type of account and level of service. Banks are moving to collect more fees as low interest rates make it harder for them to make money from lending. WCBS News Time. 428 traffic and weather together on the 8s every 10 minutes. Let's check the roads with Lou Adams. Be very careful out there. Some pretty dense fog around the tri-state this morning, so budget some extra travel time and take it slow. And if you're headed out toward uh, Parsippany in New Jersey, we still have a closure on westbound 80, approaching exit 39 with a serious accident. Only the shoulder is getting by as the accident is under investigation. And you have construction in that area, westbound between exits 45 and 39, closing two lanes, so go with Route 46 instead. There's also construction on 287, Southbound on the ramp to exit 41 and southbound on the Garden State Parkway. Construction closing the ramp to exit 159, and that is scheduled to last until Monday morning. On the New York State Thruway, construction both directions getting on to and across the Tappan Z with periodic full closures all night. And in the five boroughs, construction at the George Washington Bridge, New Jersey bound underneath the apartments going to both decks. That was causing delays earlier, but they have finally thinned out. And don't forget, higher tolls now in effect at the George the Lincoln and Holland Tunnels, the Gothels, the Bayonne, and the Outer Bridge Crossing. And now here's meteorologist Mike Lassini, WCBS Pinpoint Weather. Early this morning, we'll have areas of fog under mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures will be nearly steady or even slowly rising. Low clouds and fog will break for some sunshine later today, high 55. A couple of showers in the evening, otherwise turning out partly cloudy late Sunday night, low 48 in Central Park. Monday, partly sunny and mild, high 60 degrees. Tuesday, partly sunny and mild, high 62. 
I'm meteorologist Mike Lucini in the WCBS Weather Center. 40 degrees over at Newark Liberty Airport, 42 here in lower Manhattan. Uh, it's foggy out there. Visibility down to like a quarter mile uh, at Kennedy Airport, Newark Liberty, half mile over LaGuardia. WCBS News Time, 430. News, traffic, and weather on air, online. We are News Radio, WCBS 880. Hello, it's Sunday, December 2nd. I'm Levon Putney. Here's the latest from the WCBS newsroom. A Kansas City Chiefs linebacker kills the mother of his three-month-old child and killed himself in front, of, in front of his coach and GM. Federal investigators checking out Friday's derailment in South Jersey to see why it happened. Another toll hike went into effect overnight earlier, about an hour ago, or 90 minutes ago, at Port Authority Bridges and Tunnels. A freak car accident at a Connecticut rest stop kills a trucker while he slept in the cab of his truck. And Lady Liberty held her torch high through Hurricane Sandy, but the ground below her feet a little shaky now. In sports, Nets lost to the Heat, 102-89. Jets host Arizona at 1 p.m. Giants are at the Redskins for Monday Night Football. WCBS News Time, 431. Well, police have identified the girlfriend of a Kansas City Chiefs player killed in a murder-suicide as 22-year-old Cassandra Perkins. No possible motive given just yet. But investigators say linebacker Jovan Belcher from Long Island and Perkins have been arguing recently. The two have a three-month-old child. Well, police say Belcher's mother recently moved in with a couple, called police Saturday morning saying Perkins had been shot. She died a short time later. Belcher then drove to Arrowhead Stadium where he committed suicide in front of his coach and general manager. Well, CBS 2's Drew Levinson had reaction from Belcher's West, Side, West Babylon friends. Family and friends gathered at Belcher's mother's home in West Babylon. The front yard quickly became a shrine filled with Belcher's football jerseys, trophies, and memorabilia. Friends are stunned at the news of the murder-suicide. It's surprising to me. I didn't see any signs of anything when I seen him. All I, you know, I know him for a long time and never been in any type of trouble. Well, Danny Parkins hosts a show on 610 Sports Radio in Kansas City. Looks at it from the team's point of view. They're sad. They're somber. The mayor of Kansas City, Sly James, did address the media. He spoke with general manager Scott Pioli and said, imagine your worst tragedy and then multiply it by five. And uh, that is how he characterized how Scott Pioli was feeling. So uh, they're all very sad of mem- losing a member of the Chiefs family. And don't forget about that child. Uh, well, at this point, the Chiefs are still set to play their game early uh, this afternoon at Arrowhead Stadium. WCBS News Time 432. The National Transportation Safety Board's on the ground in South Jersey investigating what could have caused a bridge collapse, train derailment, and chemical spill early Friday morning. More from KYW reporter Cherry Gregg. Investigators have inspected the train's locomotives, interviewed the crew, and downloaded data recordings. And TSB Chair Deborah Hertzman says there may have been clues there was a problem. She says the conductor got a red signal at the bridge before it collapsed. Conductor got out of the train. He did a walking inspection. He returned to the train, told the locomotive engineer that everything looked good. Eventually, the crew got verbal approval from dispatch to cross, but just two locomotives and just a few cars cleared the bridge before it collapsed, derailing seven cars. Cherry Gregg, CBS News, Paulsboro, New Jersey. WCBS News Time 433, another scheduled toll hike at Port Authority Bridges and Tunnels went into effect about 90 minutes ago. Cash tolls have now gone up a dollar. Easy Pass tolls uh, went up 75 cents at the George Washington Bridge, Lincoln and Holland Tunnels, Bayonne Bridge, as well as the Gothels and Outer Bridge Crossing. Calling them unfair and unnecessary, AAA is fighting the toll increases in court, trying to roll back the hikes. It's further adding to the pain of motorists in our region that are already suffering under a burden of uh, already high tolls on Port Authority, MTA facilities, the throughway, the Jersey Turnpike. Motorists here suffer through the highest gasoline taxes in the country, surcharges on registrations and licenses. AAA's Robert Sinclair points out that five-axle tractor-trailer trucks will be paying a $75 toll under the current increase, and by 2015, those trucks will pay 105 bucks. In Lower Manhattan, Rich Lamb, WCBS 880 News.
All NJ Transit rail trains will be running full or at least modified service starting as of Monday. Now that the Gladstone branch of the Morris and Essex lines will be up, back up and running the Hoboken and New York, at least on a limited basis for now. The Gladstone line was extremely challenging. There were just dozens of trees that had fallen across the tracks, but had also taken out our signal systems, had taken out switches. NJ Transit spokesman John Durso Jr., the trees caused all of that damage after falling during Hurricane Sandy. A North Carolina trucker was killed early Saturday at a Fairfield, Connecticut rest stop along I-95. He was sleeping in the upper sleeping area of his truck when an out-of-control compact car rolled over, then went airborne into the side of the sleeper cab of the truck. Firefighters needed hydraulic tools to get 52-year-old Mitchell Blankenship out of his freight liner, and the two in the car identified as 25-year-old Kevin Rojas of Stamford and 25-year-old Esther Gonzalez of the Bronx, both treated and released with minor bumps and bruises. They were wearing seat belts. Police still investigating how it happened. Lady Liberty stood tall against Hurricane Sandy, but the ground on which she stands is a little shaky now. The Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island could be closed for months because of extensive damage. In some spots, the floodwaters were four to five feet deep. Seventy-five percent of Liberty Island was overrun by the harbor. Walkways and docks were damaged, but some of the hardest hits were on the infrastructure. The island's electrical transformers were soaked. Administration buildings were flooded, and even the superintendent's full-time residence destroyed. The National Park service has been cleaning up debris for a month now. Still no estimate on the price tag. Lady Liberty survived unscathed, but it's not clear when she'll be able to accept visitors. Jim Smith, WCBS 880 News. Starting Monday, the ferry service temporarily operating out of the Gateway National Recreation Area on Staten Island will be making slight adjustments to its daily schedule. The last two boats leaving Great Kills in the morning and the last two boats leaving Manhattan in the evening will be shoving off 10 minutes later than previous. WCBS News Time 436. New York City police are investigating attack on a 70-year-old man who says his assailants asked whether he was Muslim or Hindu. Ali Akmal was hospitalized in stable condition with facial cuts and bruises Friday, six days after the attack. It was near his home in the Corona section of Queens. Police are looking for two men seen on surveillance footage running from the scenes, thought to be in their late teens or early 20s. Akmal told police the men asked whether he was Muslim or Hindu and started beating him. Akmal is Muslim. Hate Crimes Unit detectives are looking into it. City Council Speaker Christine Quinn and other council members call the incident a hateful act of intolerance. Traffic and weather together? Well, that's coming up in a minute. WCBS News Time 437. Need a great place to watch your favorite teams in New Jersey? Join Miller Lite at Water Street, located at 4 Robbins Parkway in Toms River, for great Miller Draft and Bottle Specials. Water Street has been completely renovated with 21 new flat-screen TVs located all over, so you never miss any of the action or the view of the Toms River located right off their back deck. So visit Water Street in Toms River or check them out at bakerswaterstreet.com for more info. All for Miller Lite and Water Street. Miller Lite reminds you to enjoy responsibly. Getting gifts for the sports fan in your life has never been easier this holiday season thanks to CBS Locals Fan Shop. We've got the jerseys and gear for almost every team in any sport. And if you visit CBS Locals Fan Shop today through the end of the year and enter the promo code HOLIDAY10, you'll get an additional 10% off your purchase. Visit CBSLocalFanshop.com today and use the promo code HOLIDAY10 to save even more from CBS Locals Fan Shop. WCBS News Time, 438. Traffic and weather together on the 8s every 10 minutes. Well, let's see. Check the roads with Lou Adams. We're still uh, shut down in New Jersey, westbound on 80, approaching exit 39 in Parsippany. Serious accident under investigation. Just the shoulder is getting by, and there is construction in this area as well. Westbound 80 from exit 45 to 39, taking out a couple of lanes. So uh, seriously think about Route 46 instead, and seriously think about uh, budgeting some extra travel time this morning. Some pretty dense fog around the tri-state all over the place. So uh, be safe out there and use the low beams. Uh, Also, 
also in New Jersey. Watch for construction on the Garden State Parkway, southbound closing the ramp to exit 159 in Paramus, up to the Hudson Valley, road work on the thruway, both directions onto and across the Tappan Zee with periodic full closures. On Long Island, not too bad of a ride on the LIE, the northern and the southern state, and in the five boroughs, George Washington Bridge, Jersey bound with construction under the apartments to both decks. And we had delays there. They finally eased out. But we do have higher tolls at the uh, George Washington Bridge, Lincoln and Holland Tunnels, the Gothels, the Outer Bridge, and the Bayonne Bridge. And our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. I hope anyone walking along streets are wearing Hello. light light uh, colored clothes. Now let's get to the Weather Center where we have meteorologist Mike Lassini. Considerable cloudiness early this morning. There'll be areas of fog and temperatures will be nearly steady or even slowly rising. Low clouds and fog will break for some sunshine later today. High 55. A couple of showers around in the evening, otherwise turning out partly cloudy late Sunday night, low 48 in Central Park. Monday partly sunny and mild, high 60 degrees. Mild Tuesday with times of clouds and sunshine, high 62. I'm meteorologist Mike Lassini in the WCBS Weather Center. 40 degrees at Newark Liberty Airport. WCBS News Time 440. With so much going on in the world today, Cars for Kids is promoting random acts of kindness. Here's this week's featured charity moment submission brought to you by Cars for Kids. With the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy leaving many to pick up the pieces, Catherine and her neighbors banded together to provide the most basic essentials to those devastated by Sandy. Hundreds of meals were cooked and delivered and many opened their homes to displaced families. It's amazing what a community can do when they come together. Like Catherine, you too can help make the world a better place. Click on the banner now to submit your act of kindness for a chance to have it heard on WCBS 880. 1877 Cars for Kids. KARS Cars for Kids. Donate your car today with 1877 Cars for Kids. You'll receive a maximum tax deduction. What's more, you'll receive a vacation voucher of three days and two nights. Also on the web at carsforkids.com. 1877 Cars for Kids. Donate your car today. Remember, that's Cars with a K. WCBS News Time 441. President Obama, in his weekly address, urged Congress to pass middle class tax cuts. He says Democrats and Republicans must come together to pass the extensions on these cuts. The president spoke from a factory floor of a business where workers were putting together Christmas toys. It's unacceptable for some Republicans in Congress to hold middle class tax cuts hostage simply because they refuse to let tax rates go up on the wealthiest Americans. Well, Senator Orrin Hatch used yesterday's weekly GOP media address to attack President Obama's strategy to keep the U.S. from falling off the fiscal cliff. The Utah Republicans said Mr. Obama wants a tax increase double the size of what he campaigned on, billions of dollars in new stimulus spending, and unlimited authority to borrow from the Chinese. These ideas are so radical that they have already been rejected on a bipartisan basis by Congress. Yeah, Hatch called the president's ideas disastrous. The strike at the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach, California, continues even though they have renewed efforts to end the walkout. Uh, seven of eight terminals in L.A. and three of six in Long Beach were closed to cargo container traffic Friday as dock workers refused to cross those picket lines set up by 800 union clerical workers. The union says shippers are outsourcing their jobs. The cost of the strike estimated to be a billion dollars a day. It's rather stunning the amount of business that these two ports do. These are the two largest container ports in North America. They are together the uh, rough equivalent of the seventh busiest harbor in the world for container cargo. Now, Los Angeles Times business reporter Ron White's been covering the strike at the nation's busiest cargo complex. More wet weather on the way for folks in Northern California. Another big storm moving into the Golden State expected to bring more pouring rain and flooding comes after two big super soaker storms already slammed the area over the past few days. This storm expected to force several rivers over their banks after arriving this past evening. In California's wine country, when the water gets this high along the Russian River, people get worried. It's happened so many times, and it does come like clockwork. Victoria Daly and her family know how dangerous this water can be. The Russian River seen severe flooding in the past. The worst in 1986, when the entire town of Guerneville was under several feet of water. Daly says her home is always one of the first to flood. We've done it so many times, um, we're prepared, you know, we're ready for it. 
CBS News correspondent Carter Evans in Northern California. In Egypt, after the revolution that took down longtime ruler Hosni Mubarak, that country's new president says the country will vote on a new constitution later on this month. The constitution was drafted by an assembly stacked with Islamist allies of Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi. There's aspects of it that are engendering enormous opposition from secular forces. There's a great deal of unease about the lack of specificity on the rights of women, the rights of workers. There's ambiguity about the role of Sharia law, Islamic law, in the Constitution. That's Phyllis Bennis of the Institute for Policy Studies. WCBS News Time 444. Right now, 42 degrees. Visibility down to about a half mile over LaGuardia Airport, a quarter of a mile over at Kennedy and Newark Liberty airport. It's pretty foggy out there, but that stuff will clear out of the way as the sun rises and uh, looking at a partly sunny day later on with a high of about 55 degrees. Five day forecast in three minutes. At 880 on your AM dial and live on your computer and smartphone at cbsnewyork.com when you need to know, we've got you covered. Good morning. I'm Levon Putney coming up on WCBS. The chapel at West Point, steeped in tradition, hosted its first same-sex marriage Saturday. Wall Street, Dow Rally, then slightly up Friday. NASDAQ down a bit. S&P pretty much even. We'll see what's up next week. Unemployment numbers coming out on Friday. Business news in 10 minutes. WCBS News Time 445. Time for sports. Time for Mark Mitchell. Leave on the Nets. Five-game win streak comes to an end in Miami as they lose to the Heat 102-89. to Brooklyn had as much as a 14-point lead, but Miami outscored the Nets 52-30 to in the second half. Dwayne Wade led all scores with 34 points. LeBron James had 20. 21 for the Nets, Andre Blatch with 20 points, 8 rebounds, and Gerald Wallace, 13 and 9 boards. Well, it'll be number 1 Notre Dame against number 2 Alabama in the BCS national title game January 7th. Alabama rallied for a 32-28 win over Georgia in the SEC championship game. A.J. McCarron threw a 45-yard bomb that put the tide up for good. Play action, McCarron. Deep left side, got a man open. With 3.15 left, Vern Lundquist on CBS TV. Elsewhere, the ACC championship goes to Florida State, 21-15 over Georgia Tech. No doubt about it for the Big Ten championship. Wisconsin pounded Nebraska 70-31, to and locally Cincinnati over UConn, 34-17. Still no motive known in the murder-suicide death of Kansas City linebacker Jovan Belcher. The 25-year-old West Babylon native shot and killed his girlfriend, then went to the Chiefs training center, spoke briefly to the staff, and shot himself. Despite the tragedy, the Chiefs will still host the Panthers today. As for the Jets, they have Tim Tebow listed as doubtful for this afternoon's home game with the Cardinals. Longtime college basketball coach Rick Majerus, who led Utah to the national championship game in 98, has died at the age of 64 due to heart failure. In college hoops locally, St. John's over New Jersey Tech, 57-49. Rutgers falls at Ole Miss, 80-67. It was Temple over Wagner, 70-62. SMU beat Hoster, 73-47. And Fairfield topped Austin P 74-55. Sports sponsored by Carl. Cars.com. Cars.com is confident that the East Coast will bounce back better than before the storm. To all their customers and employees that have been affected, they'll be there when you need them. Cars.com. Confidence comes standard. Sports at 15 and 45. Mark Mitchell, WCBS 880 Sports. Traffic and weather together is coming up in a minute. What do you got for me, Doc? The victim is male, mid-30s. Cause of death, sudden shock. Yeah, well, he was last seen browsing thousands of TV episodes and movies online with Netflix. Hmm, explains the traces of disbelief in the brain with this astonishment residue. He was watching them all instantly. Instantly? That's incredible. Doctor? Doctor! Instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on all kinds of devices for only 8 bucks a month with Netflix. Start your free trial today. See terms of use. Tis the season for giving which means you have to find some awesome gifts for the sports fans in your life. With CBS Local's Fan Shop, not only can you find great team gear, but you can also save money. Visit CBSLocalFanshop.com today through the end of the year and enter the promo code HOLIDAY10 to get an additional 10% off. Get tremendous gifts for the sports fan on your shopping list at CBSLocalFanshop.com today and use the promo code HOLIDAY10 to save even more. WCBS News Time 448. Traffic and weather together on the 8s every 10 minutes. Lou Adams, how's it out there? 
Pretty dense fog, uh, as we've been saying here on WCBS. Just budget some extra travel time and uh, be careful out there. Uh, Low visibilities in some locations. And in New Jersey, we still have this accident. Westbound on 80, approaching exit 39. All lanes are closed for an investigation. Just the shoulder is getting by. And you have construction in this area. Westbound 80, between exits 45 and 39, blocking two lanes. So think about Route 46 instead. Southbound on the Garden State Parkway at exit 159, construction blocking the exit ramp. Same deal on 287. Southbound at exit 41, construction closing that exit ramp as well. Moving up to the Hudson Valley, construction on the thruway, getting on to and across the Tap and Z both ways with periodic full closures. And at the George Washington Bridge, New Jersey bound construction under the apartments going to both decks, scheduled to last until at least 7 this morning. And speaking of the George, higher tolls there, plus at the Lincoln, the Holland Tunnels, the Gothels, the Outer Bridge Crossing, and the Bayonne Bridge. And if you see heavy traffic, call it into our tip line, 212-975-8888. Our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. And now the five-day forecast from Mike Lassini. Mostly cloudy early this morning with areas of fog. Temperatures will be nearly steady or even slowly rising. Low clouds and fog will break for some sunshine later today, high 55 degrees. A couple of showers around this evening, otherwise turning out partly cloudy late Sunday night, low 48 in Central Park. Monday, partly sunny and mild, high 60 degrees. Remaining mild on Tuesday with times of clouds and sunshine, high 62. Wednesday, a couple of morning showers are possible, otherwise breezy and cooler Wednesday with intervals of clouds and sunshine, high 52. Mostly sunny and chilly Thursday, high 45. I'm meteorologist Mike Lucini in the WCBS Weather Center. 42 degrees over LaGuardia Airport. Visibility down to about half mile, quarter mile around the area. WCBS News Time 450. Years ago, my doctor told me to take a Centrum Silver multivitamin every day. I tell him, sure, can't hurt, right? Then I heard this news about a multivitamin study looking at long-term health benefits for men over 50. And the multivitamin they used for the study? Centrum Silver. Hey, that's what I take. My doctor, he really knows his stuff. The most recommended, most preferred, most studied. Centrum, always your most complete. A prior formula of Centrum Silver was used in the study. During these tough economic times, there is one thing you can count on, your education. Higher education will give you the chance at finding a better job and improve the quality of your life. Further your education and advance your career today. If you're looking to go back to school in the next three months and already have your high school diploma, start your search with the National Education Online Center. You'll get free expert advice, school information, and a free financial aid guide. NEOC will help you get matched to your right school today. Call 877-516-0727. Hear all the news you need as you head home. Set your radio here for Wayne Cabot and Steve Scott. Weekday afternoons on WCBS 880. WCBS News Time 452. The landmark church at the Center of Spiritual Life at the U.S. Military Academy at West Point hosting its first same-sex wedding. Hosted, I should say. Brides Penelope Nesson and Brenda Sue Fulton, a West Point graduate, exchanged vows in the Regal Church Saturday afternoon at about 250 guests at the ceremony. The couple's been together for 17 years, had a civil commitment ceremony, didn't carry any legal force, though. Uh, they did that in, back in 1999, but they had long hoped to formally tie the knot. There's just so much joy and so much positive energy about about how far we've come, but also about how we've lived up to the West Point values. That's Brenda Sue Fulton. And last weekend, two of Fulton's friends got married in another campus chapel. Engine fires are prompting the latest Ford recall of its popular Escape SUVs and Fusion sedans. Officials say the voluntary recall affects about 89,000 2013 models with 1.6 liter engines sold in the U.S. and Canada follows a dozen fire incidents in the Escape, one in the Fusion. No injuries reported. When you start seeing problems like this in the field on multiple vehicles, you've got to jump on it immediately because this is a pretty serious recall. Auto analyst John McElroy says this is the fourth Escape recall inside of four months, but one of the companies could not wait on. Uh, Ford says it's working on a fix, asking owners in the meantime to contact dealers who will give free loaner cars while they fix the problem. WCBS News Time, 453. Time now for Digging Deep. Gardeners are constantly on the lookout for plants that offer bright color in the winter garden. This is Fran Sorn for Digging Deep. A must for any winter garden is Cornus Alba. 
It's four to eight feet tall and wide, with a round shape and branching that's upright and spreading, and it looks best when planted in groupings. Gardeners are drawn to Cornus alba because of its showy late fall through winter stems that turn a vivid blood red. Its leaves emerge as yellow-green and then mature to medium to dark green. Some specimens produce showy red fall foliage. Cornus alba blooms in late May to early June with small yellowish-white flower clusters that are up to two inches in diameter. It does well in full sun or partial shade, tolerates poorly drained soil, and is easy to grow and transplant. For vivid winter bark, cut older stems to the ground at the end of winter before the leaves open. This is Fran Soren for WCBS 880. Business news is coming up next. WCBS News Time 454. When news breaks, CBS is there on TV, on radio, online. CBS 2 HD, News Radio 880, 1010 wins. The Fan and CBSNewYork.com combined power. More reporters, your place for breaking news. Getting gifts for the sports fan in your life has never been easier this holiday season thanks to CBS Locals Fan Shop. We've got the jerseys and gear for almost every team in any sport. And if you visit CBS Locals Fan Shop today through the end of the year and enter the promo code HOLIDAY10, you'll get an additional 10% off your purchase. Visit CBSLocalFanshop.com today and use the promo code HOLIDAY10 to save even more from CBS Locals. Hip Implant Patients. Are you in constant pain? Have you received a letter from your doctor about your implant? Have you had or need a revision surgery? Do you have high levels of metal, chromium, or cobalt in your blood? Over 90,000 hip implant devices have been recalled due to defects and failures resulting in revision or replacement surgery. If you have a recalled hip implant, you may be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-449-4269 to see if your implant is affected by the recalls. If you or a loved one has a defective or recalled hip implant, you may be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-449-4269. That's 800-449-4269. Protect your legal rights today. Call 800-449-4269. This is an advertisement, not valid in all states. Paid non-attorney spokesperson. iLawsuit.com is an advertising group that represents lawyers advertising their services and is a free matching service for consumers. It is not a law firm or lawyer referral service. WCBS News Time 455. Time for business news. Time for Jennifer Kashinka at the Wall Street Journal. Several important reports will be released in the first week of December. But while the numbers will be closely scrutinized, the clues provided by the data may not be as reliable as in most months. The indicators investors are most anxious to see will likely reflect the disruptions caused by Superstorm Sandy. Economist Gus Fauché at PNC Financial says there's little doubt the November employment statistics are affected by Sandy. The Labor Department releases the report on Friday but the storm's impact may prove to be short-lived. We did see a big increase in unemployment insurance claims for the week following Sandy. Sandy will have an impact on employment in the in the Northeast, and I think employment will be hurt somewhat by Sandy. But I would expect that it's going to fade from the data fairly quickly. People may have started replacing cars that were destroyed by the superstorm. If so, we may see stronger than expected November sales reports from the automakers. The supply manager's November indexes of manufacturing and service sector activity are also on the calendar. I'm Jennifer Kish. Shinka at the Wall Street Journal for WCBS News Radio 880. Business news at 25 and 55 every hour on WCBS 880. Traffic and weather together in a minute. And then Patty Stills in here with the morning's top stories. WCBS News Time 457. Do you suffer from pain like joint pain, muscle pain, back pain, or painful arthritis? Then you must listen to this important message. Anatoblock is a breakthrough supplement scientifically proven to quickly and effectively reduce inflammation and get rid of pain. Anatoblock is so effective, we guarantee you'll feel a significant difference in just a few days. Best of all, Anatoblock is now available to try for free. That's right. Call 800-651-6059 now and get out of pain absolutely free. Call today, 800-651-6059. WCBS News Time 458. Traffic and weather together on the 8s every 10 minutes. Hello, Lou Adams. 
Hi there, Levon. Uh, safe travels. It's a pretty dense fog out there, so be careful, everybody, if you're headed out this morning. And if you're headed toward Parsippany, westbound 80 is still closed, approaching exit 39 with a serious accident. Just the shoulder getting by. Take Route 46 instead. Also watch for construction on the Tap and Z both ways. And new tolls, higher tolls in effect at the George, the Lincoln, the Holland Tunnels, the Gothels, the Outer Bridge, and the Bayonne Bridge. They took effect a couple of hours ago. Here's the WCBS Point forecast. Areas of fog early this morning with temperatures nearly steady or even slowly rising. Turning out partly sunny later today, high 55 degrees. There'll be a couple of evening showers, otherwise partly cloudy Sunday night, low 48. Monday partly sunny, high 60. Tuesday partly sunny, high 62. I'm meteorologist Mike Lassini in the WCBS Weather Center. Right now, 42 degrees, it's cloudy. Uh, oh, yeah, it's foggy too, huh? Have a good day. I'm Levon Putney. News, traffic, and weather on air, online. We are News Radio. WCBS New York. Good morning. It's Sunday, December 2nd. I'm Patty Steele. Here's the latest from the WCBS newsroom. Tolls went up at the Hudson River crossings at 3 this morning. Another buck for cash tolls. 75 cents during peak hours for easy pass. Lots more for truckers. Investigators looking at a freight train derailment and chemical spill in South Jersey that sickened dozens and displaced more than 100. There are health hazards still to deal with in thousands of homes impacted by Hurricane Sandy. New York State hiring 1,000 counselors to help storm victims recover emotionally. Kansas City Chief player, Long Island native Jovan Belcher shot and killed his girlfriend yesterday before killing himself. In sports, the Nets lost to the Heat 102 to 89. Jets host Arizona at 1. WCBS News Time, 5 o'clock. CBS News, I'm Heather Bosch. A two-hour battle at a joint U.S.-Afghan air base in eastern Afghanistan. It started overnight when suicide bombers blew up a car at the gate. Before it was over, U.S. helicopters fired down on the militants. These are obviously very heavily fortified uh, bases, and the Taliban would know how difficult they are to penetrate. Uh, but it's more an indication, again, that the Taliban are able to launch these attacks, the increasing use we see in Afghanistan these days of guerrilla style tactics. Al Jazeera's Bernard Smith in Kabul says the Taliban claimed responsibility. Nine insurgents, four Afghan special forces and two civilians dead. NATO says none of the militants got into the base. Firefighters are picking their way through a collapsed tunnel on a highway about 50 miles west of Tokyo. Sky News reporter Mark Stone says a smoky fire kept them from getting in at first. They have now found or at least seen some some charred bodies inside this tunnel. They're having difficulty accessing the section of the tunnel that's collapsed, but they've got access to CCTV cameras, and we think that it's through these cameras that they've managed to ascertain that there are bodies in there. At least three people dead, several missing. Another big storm's moving into Northern California. It's expected to bring more rain and flooding to an area that's already been soaked by two big storms. CBS's Carter Evans is there. They feel that there won't be any significant flooding or damages to businesses. Other areas, just south of St. Helena, that is a big turn. They feel that there might be some flooding there. But in Napa, they feel like they've got a pretty good handle on it right now. Flood warnings have been issued for both the Napa and Russian rivers north of San Francisco. With the election over, what happens to the health reform law? White House spokesman Jay Carney, in effect, says the law is unstoppable. The Supreme Court has spoken. Uh, the American people have spoken. Congressional leaders of both parties have spoken, and, and we are continuing with implementation. A stand that has some Republicans regrouping in their hopes to chip away at the president's top legislative achievement. Peter Mayer, CBS News, the White House. Kansas City Chiefs linebacker Jovan Belcher is being remembered today. I'm hard-pressed to, to find or recall a young man who had more of an impact in a positive way on his teammates and his football family. Jack Cosgrove was Belcher's coach at the University of Maine. Belcher fatally shot himself outside the Chiefs headquarters yesterday. Police say Belcher had just killed his girlfriend. The biggest college football matchup of the year is set. Alabama defeated Georgia last night. Crimson Tide head coach Nick Saban. The way we're able to run the ball, especially in the second half, was uh, probably the difference in the game. Alabama will take on Notre Dame for the BCS Championship January 7th. Notre Dame is undefeated this season. Alabama is making its third BCS title game appearance in four years. This is CBS News.
Ladies, how many pounds have you gained since you turned 40? If you're like most women, probably 10 or more. But hundreds of thousands of women have discovered the secret to losing weight after 40. It's called Amberin, and it's an advanced natural product clinically shown to cause sustained weight loss for women over 40 without significant lifestyle changes. You can try Amberin absolutely risk-free and get a one-month supply free by calling 1-800-939-8955. The leading cause of weight gain in women over 40 is hormonal imbalance until you balance balance your hormones, losing weight can be practically impossible. Amberin balances hormones naturally, so the extra weight can fall right off. Yes, even that stubborn tummy fat. Plus, Amberin relieves other symptoms of hormonal imbalance, like hot flashes, night sweats, low libido, sleeplessness, and more. Be one of the first 50 callers right now, and they'll send you a complimentary risk-free trial with a 30-day supply free. Free supplies are limited, so call now. 1-800-939-8955. That's 1-800-939-8955. Live from the CBS Hudson Square Broadcast Center in Manhattan, we are News Radio, WCBS HD and WCBS FM HD3, New York. 42 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, going up to 55 in New York City. WCBS News Time, 504. Well, toll hikes took effect at 3 o'clock this morning. The bump affects the Port Authority's Hudson River crossings, including the George Washington Bridge and the Lincoln and Holland Tunnels. Peak time tolls for Easy Pass holders now 1025. That's 75 cents higher. Off peak with Easy Pass, it's now 825, also up 75 cents. Cash tolls for cars at all times now to 13 bucks, up from 12. While nobody likes to pay more, truckers are particularly upset. Trucker David Irwin said, it's out of control. I'll never cross the GWB again in my entire life. He now has to pay $75, up from 65 bucks, to drive his five-axle truck across the one-mile span. Five years ago, it was just $30. Approved future increases will push it to $105 by late 2015. However, we're all going to pay for it since it costs more to get products onto store shelves in the city. Yesterday's, are actually today's toll hikes are the second of five annual increases approved last year in a process critics says was rushed and lacked transparency. At the time, the agency said higher tolls were needed to offset security-related projects following the 9-11 attacks, a drop in revenue caused by the economic downturn and the rebuilding of the World Trade Center complex. AAA, though, sued the Port Authority last year, arguing the increases violate a federal law requiring interstate tolls to be fair and reasonable. That suit is ongoing. Starting tomorrow, the ferry service temporarily operating out of the Gateway National Recreation Area on Staten Island will be making slight adjustments to its schedule. The last two boats leaving Great Kills in the morning and the last two leaving Manhattan in the evening will be shoving off 10 minutes later than previously. The 8.40 a.m. boat will leave at 8.50 and the 9.10 will leave at 9.20 in the evening, the 6.55 p.m. boat from Manhattan will depart at 7.05 and the 7.25 will leave at 7.35. The New York Water Taxi operates six trips in the morning beginning at 6.30 and six returning beginning at 4.45 Monday through Friday. The service is subsidized with post-Sandy relief funds, costs two bucks for a one-way ride. Investigators in Paulsboro, New Jersey, trying to find out what exactly made a freight train derail, sending hazardous chemicals into the air. There may have been a problem with a signal before the train derailed on a New Jersey bridge. Meantime, Coast Guard Captain Kathy Moore says efforts to check air safety in the impacted area continue. Air monitoring teams are stationed throughout Paulsboro to check air quality on a continuous basis. Dozens of people were sickened after the Friday accident. More than 100 in that South Jersey town remained out of their homes yesterday as officials tried to clear the hazardous gas that spewed from the ruptured freight train car. Hurricane Sandy may be more than a month in the past, but hazards still linger in damaged homes. WCBS's Jim Smith reports. Eddie Seaman says he had no choice but to stay in his damaged, unheated home in New Door Beach, Staten Island. Because uh, FEMA couldn't find for me any hotel. Forced to turn to a wood-burning stove for heat, then what little remained of his home went up in flames. The city health department says more than 12,000 people may be trying to survive without heat. Salvatore Barcia, a volunteer with the New York State Nursing Association, going door-to-door says he sees it all the time on Staten Island. There's no hotel for these people to 
to go and there's many who don't have family on the island. The health department is urging residents, especially the elderly, to find alternate housing. ER visits related to cold temperatures doubled last month compared to previous years. And health officials say damaged homes also pose threats from mold and dust. Jim Smith, WCBS 880 News. A crisis counselor may be knocking on your door soon. Nassau and Suffolk counties are getting $2.84 million in federal funds to help people deal with mental health issues caused by Superstorm Sandy. The grants are part of an $8.2 million program called Project Hope, funded by FEMA, which will hire about 1,000 counselors in New York City, Long Island, and the lower Hudson Valley. Counselors who do not have to be mental health professionals must participate in day-long training sessions. They'll go into ravaged communities to offer support to victims and try to identify those who may be vulnerable to depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, or substance abuse. WCBS News Time 508. Time for traffic and weather together. We do it every 10 minutes on the 8th. Let's head over to the traffic center now and Ken Daniels. All right, let's uh, talk about our foggy morning because difficult to see out there. So do be careful. Uh, plenty of fog and uh, poor visibility. So if uh, you're sleeping in, which you should be on this early Sunday morning, uh, good idea to do it for a little bit longer because it's a difficult driving condition right now. We have had an accident cleared on Route 80. That was causing some problems on the westbound side right into exit 39 in Denville. That has been cleared, so at least things moving along better there. Now, we do have reports of another possible accident in the fog. Uh, eastbound Cross County, uh, right into the area of Yonkers Avenue, just east of there, actually. Looks like we have an accident, well, blocking a couple of lanes, trying to get more information on that, just hearing about this. So you're definitely the first to hear it here. Now, unfortunately, uh, you may be the first to hear also about the toll increases at some of the crossings. Uh, so we got the George Washington Bridge, the Holland Tunnel, the Lincoln Tunnel, the Bayonne, the Gothels, and the Outer Bridge Crossing just a few hours ago, just a couple hours ago. Uh, the tolls officially uh, went into increase mode. And then we've got the Jets in the Arizona Cardinals today at uh, 1 p.m. at uh, the Meadowlands. So uh, keep that in mind for later on today. You'll see delays on the usual suspects, Route 17, Route 3, 120, and the New Jersey Turnpike. Our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. And we take a look at the rather mild forecast with meteorologist Bill Dagger. And it is a mild forecast. The next couple of days certainly won't feel like December out there, so that's something nice to look forward to. Unfortunately, this morning we are fogged in with, or, uh, socked, socked in with fog this morning, so take it easy out there on the roads. Could be some drizzle as well, otherwise clouds and mild today, a high of 55. Could be a shower or two through this evening, then mostly cloudy tonight with a low of 48. Tomorrow, partly sunny and warm, a high of 60. We're up to 64 on Tuesday with clouds breaking for some sun. Could be a shower Wednesday morning with a front moving through, then some sun, a high of 52, and a chilly Thursday with sunshine, a high of 42. Right now it is 42 and foggy in Midtown. Temperatures across the Tri-State area range from 35 in Montgomery to 46 in Mastic will reach a high of 55. I'm meteorologist Bill Dagger in the WCBS Weather Center. WCBS News Time 510. <laughs> Hey, dog, where's your owner? Watching Netflix. Yeah? He can instantly watch as many TV episodes and movies as he wants online. Well, I know what you did on my lawn, and it's not funny. <laughs> it is the kids. Well, what are their parents supposed to laugh at? Those sophisticated jokes. You know, like, that dog chasing his tail reminds me of politicians. Oh. <laughs> instantly watch as many TV episodes and movies as your family wants on all kinds of devices for only 8 bucks a month with Netflix. Start your free trial today. See terms of use. Newsies is the Tony Award-winning hit Broadway musical that gets you out of your seat and on your feet. Bloomberg News calls it a triumph, and the New York Times says Newsies is a musical worth singing about. It's the hit show that's making headlines, the number one critic's pick in New York Magazine, Time Out New York, and in Entertainment Weekly, which cheers Catch Newsies Fever. One for all and all for one. So get your tickets today. Newsies on Broadway eight times a week. Visit NewsiesTheMusical.com. WCBS News Time 512. Well, it's been a heartbreaking year for the Heckman family on Long Island. Because of Sandy, they're homeless, and more importantly, they're caring for their six-year-old, Stephen Heckman, who was diagnosed with leukemia. Sophia Hall has the story. Because of the cost of caring for their six-year-old son, Stephen, who was diagnosed last year with leukemia and is undergoing chemotherapy treatments, the Heckmans had to move into a relative's house in Amity Harbor, Long Island. 
Then Sandy hit. Their home, furniture, clothing, children's toys destroyed. Now Danielle, her husband, and their three children, including little Stephen, are all living in a friend's apartment. My husband, myself, and my three children are sharing a queen-size air mattress. But even though Danielle is going through so much and needs to rebuild her home, she is also thinking about others and urges people to get registered with DKMS Bone Marrow Registry Center. We can send them the cheek swabs to their house. Said Alina Supernova from DKMS. Sophia Hall, WCBS 880 News. WCBS News Time 513. Lots of concern about Lady Liberty and how she fared during Hurricane Sandy as she stood vigil out there in the harbor. WCBS reporter Jim Smith tells us how she did. About 75% of Liberty Island was flooded out during Sandy. That includes information and administration buildings. The island's electrical system was soaked and the superintendent's home destroyed. Walkways, fences and docks also need repairs. In the past month, crews have been hard at work clearing debris and downed trees. A generator is needed to illuminate Lady Liberty. Superintendent David Lusinger says the effort could take months and his home may not be rebuilt, forcing him to live off the island. Sandy hit a day after the Crown was scheduled to reopen as part of a $30 million upgrade. Lady Liberty survived Sandy just fine, but her home needs some TLC. Jim Smith, WCBS 880 News. WCBS News Time 514. We'll have sports in just a moment. Years ago, my doctor told me to take a Centrum Silver multivitamin every day. I tell him, sure, can't hurt, right? Then I heard this news about a multivitamin study looking at long-term health benefits for men over 50, and the multivitamin they used for the study, Centrum Silver. Hey, that's what I take. My doctor, he really knows his stuff. The most recommended, most preferred, most studied. Centrum, always your most complete. A prior formula of Centrum Silver was used in the study. Looking for the perfect family getaway? Come to Holiday in the Lodge, the all-new family celebration at the Great Escape Lodge. Be amazed by the dazzling lights and beautiful decorations. Enjoy special visits with Santa and story time with Mrs. Claus. Splash and play in our huge indoor water park, always free with your stay. Right now, rooms as low as $149 a night when you book online at SixFlags.com. Don't miss Holiday in the Lodge. 42 degrees, mostly cloudy, going up to 55 in New York City. Five-day forecast in three minutes. At 880 on your AM dial and live on your computer and smartphone at cbsnewyork.com. Wherever you are, we are. New York's News Radio, WCBS 880. Good morning, I'm Patty Steele. Coming up on WCBS News Radio, a landmark wedding in a landmark location. On Wall Street, the Dow closed up three points. It'll open the week tomorrow at 13,025. 58. We'll have business news in 10 minutes. WCBS News Time 515. Time for WCBS Sports with Gary Stanley. All right, Patty. Well, for the longest time last night, it appeared the Brooklyn Nets were on their way to a landmark win. They had won five straight, found themselves with a 14-point first-half lead over the defending NBA champion Heat in Miami, but it was not to be. Miami comes back. They outscore the Nets by 22 points in the second half, and they win the game going away 102-89. to Lesson learned, said Darren Williams. Don't count your chickens. We just got to be more disciplined, I think. You know, uh, when we get up 12, 14 points, you know, we can't relax. Um, we, we, that's when we have to to hunker down and get, get more stops. That's when we have to execute better, take care of the ball. Uh, and, and we didn't do those things tonight. Dwayne Wade had 34 for the Heat. LeBron James, 21. Andre Bloch had 20 for the Nets, who played their second straight without the injured Brooke Lopez. Knicks back in action this afternoon. They host Phoenix at the Garden. It'll be Notre Dame and Alabama in college football's national championship game. Alabama winning an absolute thrill over Georgia last night in the SEC title game. 32 to 28. At MetLife Stadium this afternoon, a battle of two, four, and seven troubled teams. The Jets and the Arizona Cardinals. Giants play in the Monday night game against the Redskins in Washington. College basketball St. John's rallied to beat New Jersey Tech 57-49. Rutgers falling at Old Miss 80-67. to 
Fordham losing to Harvard 73-64, and Hofstra blown out by SMU 73-47. Hofstra playing shorthanded because of the suspension of four players because of burglary charges at the school. Sports at 15 and 45. Gary Stanley, WCBS News Radio 880. WCBS News Time 517. We'll have traffic and weather together in just a moment. Mercy College is the one to watch. Rated A by Standard & Poor's. Nationally recognized programs in some of the hottest professional fields around. Come to Mercy Mondays this fall and find out how easy it is to get your master's degree and re-energize your career. Mercy Mondays, more than 25 graduate degree programs, all designed for working people, nights, weekends, and online. Come to Mercy Mondays for graduate days at our campuses in Dobbs Ferry, the Bronx, and Manhattan. And find out about the quality, affordable graduate education at Mercy College. The one to watch at mercy.edu. Getting gifts for the sports fan in your life has never been easier this holiday season thanks to CBS Locals Fan Shop. We've got the jerseys and gear for almost every team in any sport. And if you visit CBS Locals Fan Shop today through the end of the year and enter the promo code HOLIDAY10, you'll get an additional 10% off your purchase. Visit CBSLocalFanshop.com today and use the promo code HOLIDAY10 to save even more from CBS Locals Fan Shop. WCBS News Time 518. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the 8s. We're sponsored by Blythdale Children's Hospital. Ken Daniels is in the traffic center. Now we've got a very foggy ride this morning. That's your number one issue right now is the poor visibility. So uh, take it slow. Uh, sleep in, better yet. And uh, just stay off the roadways until this fog lifts, hopefully, when the... Uh Oh, the sun comes out. If it's coming out today, we'll see. But definitely the fog will lift later on today. Now, the Cross County eastbound into the area of, uh, well, right into the area of Yonkers Avenue. East of there, there's been an accident. We've had the two lanes blocked. Uh, apparently, emergency activity just arriving on scene, so keep it a close eye on that. And you got the uh, Tappan Zee Bridge with a 45-mile-per-hour speed restriction because of the foggy conditions. Now, in Connecticut, on the Connecticut Turnpike, we're okay. On Long Island, uh, we got some long-term construction. Other than that, uh, not too bad out there, LIE, Northern State, Southern State. Uh, we go to the five boroughs. Well, once again, overall, uh, looks pretty good. Cross the Hudson minor delay is the only thing that'll hurt you across the Hudson is that they raised the tolls a couple hours ago. So that's at the Lincoln, the Holland, and the George Washington Bridge, and also the Bayonne, Gothels, and Outer Bridge crossings. Now we go to New Jersey, and we had some difficulty on Route 80. Uh, that accident has been cleared into Denville. That was exit 39. Uh, that was taking out a couple of lanes there, but that is all gone now. And the Garden State Parkway southbound exit 159 for Route 80, some ramp restrictions there uh, with a weekend construction project. Our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. And we take a look at the five-day forecast now with meteorologist Bill Dager. Areas of dense fog across the Tri-State area this morning. We could see visibilities below a quarter mile for a time, so please take it easy if you're out driving. And later today, we'll stay cloudy. It will turn milder, though, a high of 55. Then a few showers can move through this evening. Mostly cloudy later tonight, low 48. Rather warm to start your work week tomorrow and Tuesday with partial sunshine. Up to 60 tomorrow. How about 64 for a high on Tuesday? Then a little cooler on Wednesday with a shower or two in the morning as the front moves through, then some sunshine, a high of 52. Sunshine and chilly for Thursday, a high of 42. I'm meteorologist Bill Dagger in the WCBS Weather Center. Right now, we have cloudy skies. It is 42 degrees in New York City. WCBS News Time 520. How far would you go to help save someone's life? How about to your garage? If you have an unneeded vehicle, donate it to the Salvation Army. They'll pick it up for free, and the proceeds from its sale will help someone in the grip of addiction reclaim his life. To donate your vehicle, call 1-800-SA-TRUCK or visit satruck.org. You will be doing the most good. Uh, as your HR rep, it's my duty to alert everyone to the newest pandemic spreading across our nation called desk dining. It's caused by repeatedly eating lunch at one's desk. Its symptoms include a rotten attitude and constant blank staring out of the window. My official recommendation is to start eating lunch at Buffalo Wild Wings, the cure-all to lameness caused by desk dining. Except for you, Phil. You'd be lame no matter where you eat. With tons of big screens and more delicious menu items for less cash, we're the perfect place for lunch. Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings, beer, sports. 
With the holidays here, we're all reflecting on what we've been through with Sandy. WCBS will be giving away $1,000 every weekday. Money we know will come in handy for storm repair, holiday gifts, or just to pay some bills. Listen every weekday morning at 820 now through Friday to hear how you could win $1,000 from WCBS 880. WCBS News Time 522. Cadet Chapel, the absolutely gorgeous landmark Gothic church that's been a center for spiritual life at the U.S. Military Academy at West Point for generations, hosted its first same-sex wedding yesterday. Penelope Nesson and Brenda Sue Fulton, a West Point graduate, exchanged vows in an afternoon ceremony attended by about 250 guests and conducted by a senior Army chaplain. This is about standing up for what's right. It was such a privilege for us to be part of today and what it means for for young cadets and, and lieutenants and soldiers coming up. That's Brenda Fulton. She and Penelope have been together for 17 years. They had a civil commitment ceremony, which didn't carry any legal force back in 1999, and had long hoped to formally tie the knot. The way was cleared last year when New York legalized same-sex marriage, and the Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy prohibiting openly gay people from serving in the military was lifted. The couple lives in New Jersey, which still does not allow same-sex marriage. The ceremony was the second same-sex wedding at West Point. Last weekend, two of Fulton's friends, a young lieutenant and her partner, were married in another campus landmark, the small Old Cadet Chapel in West Point Cemetery. Fulton graduated from West Point in 1980, a member of the first class to include women. And Europe's first gay and lesbian-friendly mosque is opening this weekend in suburban Paris. CBS News correspondent Elaine Cobb says it happened after one man took matters into his own hands. A devout Muslim, Ludovic Mohammed Zayed, felt uncomfortable praying at the mosque because he's gay. So the 35-year-old Franco-Algerian decided to set up his own mosque. It's a safe place, says Ludovic, open to all Muslims. But the rector of the Grand Mosque of Paris has criticized the initiative. This is not part of the community, he says, because it's going against some of the principles of Islam, where homosexuality is rarely openly admitted. Elaine Cobb, CBS News, Paris. Just like the chance he got when entering the ring during his great career, Hector Camacho was cheered by hundreds outside St. Cecilia's Roman Catholic Church yesterday in Spanish Harlem as his coffin was carried out of the church he attended as a boy. This is Camacho's brother, Panchito Gomez. I know we'll all miss him. Um, I could just picture him smiling and laughing at us right now and just having a good time. Um, I know that, that, that the public enjoyed watching him and he enjoyed giving to the public. The former lightweight and junior welterweight champ grew up in New York, but was from Puerto Rico, where he died last Saturday after being shot a few days earlier outside a bar in his hometown. WCBS News Time 524. Larry Magid, CBS News and CNET, Tech Talk. In a new ad campaign, Microsoft is taking aim at Google, warning consumers about being scroogled this holiday season. It's all about the fact that Google is now selling search results, not on its main Google.com page, but on its Google Shopping page. Can you spot the ads in the Google Shopping search results? All ads. The Microsoft online video goes on to say, Don't get scroogled. For an honest search, try Bing. On its shopping page, Google does admit that the company is compensated by merchants. Whether that's a problem, I suppose, depends on whether consumers are aware of it. And in order to know that, you would have to click on a link on the search results page. Of course, like Google's main search page, Bing also has advertising around its results. But the results themselves, Microsoft says, are based strictly on relevance. I'm Larry Magid. WCBS News Time 525, and we have business news coming up in just a second. It's time now for business news. I'm Chuck Kamlick, CNBC Radio, with a look at the week ahead on Wall Street. It's the last month of the year, but will we see a Santa Claus rally? That could depend a lot on the news we get this week about jobs. There are two reports on new hiring in November, one from ADP, another from Uncle Sam, and that is the more critical report. We'll probably get some idea how Hurricane Sandy and worries about the fiscal cliff affected hiring in November. We'll also get reports on new claims for jobless benefits and on planned job cuts too. Hurricane Sandy washed away an estimated 400,000 cars that could drive up auto sales for November by 13 percent. Meanwhile, profits at AutoZone could be up 15 percent. Owners still trying to do their own maintenance. 
Toll Brothers' earnings could nearly triple thanks to rising home sales. And after winning a patent infringement case against Samsung, Apple heads back to court this week. This time it will ask a judge to permanently bar Samsung from selling smartphones in this country. I'm Chuck Kamlick, CNBC Radio. WCBS News Time 527. Don't cry for me, Argentina. The truth is, I never left you all through my wild days. Well, Ricky Martin is leaving the show Evita. As Shay, he's a busy guy. Martin has a slew of new projects in the works, including two TV series and a children's book. You still have time to catch him, though. Martin takes his final bow in the Andrew Lloyd Webber musical revival on January 26th. A cooking accident turned a Staten Island man into a human torch. He staggered in flames onto his front lawn where horrified neighbors tried to extinguish him with blankets. 60-year-old Louis Gloria was cooking in the kitchen of his Eltingville home at 4.30 p.m. yesterday when a grease fire erupted, engulfing his entire body. He first tried to douse the flames with water, but that only made it worse. In agony, he stumbled out of the house as a neighbor it was a horrific sight. They tried to smother the flames, but they just reignited. Firefighters showed up. Glory was transported to Staten Island University Hospital in stable condition. His wife, who was home at the time, is being treated for shock. WCBS News Time 528. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the 8s. Let's go first to Ken Daniels in the traffic center. All right, having some very difficult driving conditions because of the fog out there, so do keep that in mind for your travels. Uh, things ratcheting up in that New York State area, for one thing. Uh, we've got Cross County eastbound uh, right into the area of the New York State Thruway, apparently uh, into Yonkers Avenue. Stop and go traffic. Accident there blocking two lanes. Now, the New England Thruway, north part of Chatsworth Avenue, there's an accident blocking at least one lane, and getting word of some activity at the Tabatzee Bridge. Not sure exactly where yet or what side, uh, but we apparently uh, may have an accident there as well, at least some police activity in your way. Uh, now, we go uh, also at the Tabatzee, at least a 45-mile-per-hour speed restriction. Uh, we go to New Jersey, and things are looking okay on Route 80. We had an accident into Exit 39 in Denville. That's been gone. Later on, the Jets and the Arizona Cardinals, 1 o'clock at the Meadowlands. Keep that in mind for later on Route 3, Route 120, Route 17, the New Jersey Turnpike. Uh, across the Hudson River, uh, minor delays, but it'll cost you. New tolls went into effect at 3 o'clock this morning at the George Washington Bridge, Lincoln, and the Holland. Now here's the latest from the WCBS Weather Center. We'll see some dense fog for a time this morning, so take it easy if you're out driving. Otherwise, some drizzle as well. Later today, the clouds remain, but we turn milder, a high of 55. It'll be a shower or two this evening. Otherwise, staying cloudy tonight, low 48, but the sun is back out tomorrow. We'll be warm, a high of 60. Won't feel like December on Tuesday either with clouds breaking for some sun, a high of 64. I'm meteorologist Bill Dagger in the WCBS Weather Center. 42 degrees, cloudy skies in New York City. WCBS News Time, 530. News, traffic, and weather. On air, online. We are News Radio. WCBS 880. Good morning. It's Sunday, December 2nd. I'm Patty Steele. Here's the latest from the WCBS Newsroom. Kansas City Chiefs player and Long Island native Jovan Belcher shot and killed his girlfriend yesterday before killing himself at the team's practice facility in front of his coach. Tolls at the Hudson River crossings went up at 3 o'clock this morning. Another dollar for cash tolls. Truckers forking over a small fortune, though. More wet weather on the way in Northern California, where earlier storms this week saturated the ground. New Jersey shore town still struggling to recover a month after Superstorm Sandy. Andy. Connecticut Senator Richard Blumenthal took an icy plunge to benefit the Special Olympics of Connecticut yesterday. In sports, Nets lost to the Heat, 102 to 89. WCBS News Time, 531. Kansas City Chiefs player and Long Island native Jovan Jovan Belcher shot and killed his girlfriend yesterday before fatally shooting himself at the team's practice facility. CBS 2's Drew Levinson has more. Family and friends gathered at Belcher's mother's home in West Babylon. The front yard quickly became a shrine filled with Belcher's football jerseys, trophies, and memorabilia. Friends are stunned at the news of the murder-suicide. It's surprising to me. I didn't see any signs of anything when I seen him. All I, you know, I know him for a long time and never been in any type of trouble. Police said Belcher and his girlfriend, 22-year-old Cassandra Perkins, had been arguing recently. They had a three-month-old child. 
Cops say Belcher thanked the team's general manager and coach before shooting himself in the parking lot of the team's facility. Said Chief Chairman uh, Clark Hunt in a statement, the entire Chief's family is deeply saddened by today's events and our collective hearts are heavy with sympathy, thoughts and prayers for the families and friends affected by this unthinkable tragedy. Toll hikes took effect at 3 o'clock this morning. The bump affects the Port Authority's Hudson River crossings, including the George Washington Bridge and the Lincoln and Holland Tunnels. Peak time tolls for Easy Pass holders now 1025 that's 75 cents higher off peak with easy pass it's now 825 also up 75 cents cash tolls for cars at all times now 13 up from 12 bucks while nobody likes to play more the truckers are particularly upset said one trucker it's out of control i'll never cross the gwb again in my entire life he now has to pay $75, up from 65 to drive his five-axle truck across the one-mile span. More wet weather on the way for folks in Northern California. Another big storm moving into the Golden State is expected to bring more pouring rain and flooding. And it comes after two big super soaker storms already slammed the area over the past few days. CBS News correspondent Carter Evans is in Guerneville, California. Throughout Northern California, the ground is soaked creeks are full and rivers are on the rise. I've never seen it that high during even during the spring. The Truckee River is fast nearing flood stage. Residents are racing to fill sandbags and to clean storm drains. One near Sacramento wasn't cleared fast enough to save the home of Michael Jimenez. I mean we had an unbelievable amount of rain coming down. The storm is expected to force several rivers over their banks after it arrives. National Weather Service says both the Napa River and the Russian River are expected to flood. While New Jersey lawmakers went on a bus tour to see how shore communities are recovering a month after Sandy, WCBS reporter Levon Putney got out to talk with a few residents and business owners. In the small barrier island community of Manilokin... All the heating has to be redone. All the... Everything, pretty much. A month later, and Daria Patrick's floor is still sandy. After Sandy, furniture's moldy, appliances need replacing. Her street's right off the beach. Water got in. FEMA guy measured at the highest eight inches. I was very lucky. I mean, we won the lottery here. You saw it down the street. So we have a house. I saw rubble down the street. Yeah, there's a house on top of a house. And not to mention the home sitting about 100 yards off in the middle of the bay. I think it's important to keep this in everyone's conscience because people are back to their normal lives. Well, it'll be a while before folks around here get back to normal. At least gas crews working down the street hope to have a new main up and running by year's end. In Manaloking, Lee Von Putney, WCBS 880 News. WCBS News Time 534. There are reports that Japanese rescuers using TV cameras have spotted bodies in a collapsed car tunnel about 50 miles west of Tokyo. Several people are feared missing. The cameras showed cement roof panels fell on several cars in the heavily used tunnel. More from Lucy Craft in Tokyo. Engineers say Japan has never experienced a tunnel collapse like the massive cave-in at the Sasako Tunnel west of Tokyo. The structure was built more than 30 years ago and uses outdated technology. Some experts speculate metal fittings supporting the tunnel's one-ton concrete wall planks may have rusted, but the tunnel passed inspection just a few months ago. Two victims of the tragedy are being treated and seven more remain unaccounted for. Lucy Craft, CBS News, Tokyo. U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal took an icy plunge to benefit the Special Olympics of Connecticut yesterday. The Democrat says he participated in the annual Coventry Penguin Plunge at Coventry Lake at Patriots Park. Blumenthal says the competitors gave everything they have to take part in the special games. When I go into that water, I think of the athletes who are giving every single bit of energy and mind and spirit as they compete, and it warms my heart. It is the first of nine such plunges being held across the state this winter to benefit the Special Olympics. Others are planned in January, February, and March in Farmington, Winstead, Madison, New London, Middletown, Westport, Danbury, and Ellington. Participants solicit donations from family, friends, and businesses, allowing them to run into the chilly waters. A New York City street corner has been renamed for a police officer and journalist who died on the South Tower on 9-11. East 20th Street and 2nd Avenue was renamed for Glenn Pettit yesterday. Day. The corners near the police academy where Pettit used to make instructional videos for recruits. He was a former videographer for News 12 Long Island and freelance photographer for Newsday. He was assigned to the NYPD's video production unit at the time of the terrorist attacks. He was last seen running into the South Tower before it collapsed. 
Police Commissioner Ray Kelly presided over the dedication ceremony attended by Pettit's family. The federal government is beginning to take a look at energy drinks, which some suspect are dangerous. WCBS reporter Peter Haskell has that story. At the prodding of Connecticut Senator Richard Blumenthal, the federal government will be looking into the dangers associated with energy drinks. I've been pressing the FDA to investigate how harmful these humongous levels of caffeine are. Most of the consumers of these products are teenagers, which leads to this question. What these huge levels of caffeine can do to children and adolescents. Some of these products, like Monster Energy and Five Hour Energy, have been linked to deaths. In Bridgeport, Peter Haskell, WCBS ADD News. WCBS News Time 537, traffic and weather next. Inhabitants of Earth, you can run, but you cannot. What are you doing? I'm watching Netflix on my smartphone, dude. What? I can instantly watch as many TV episodes and movies as I want. You don't fear for your life? Yeah, not really. Our atmosphere is eventually going to kill you anyway. Nonsense. Our anatomy is... (laughs) There you go. (laughs) Faster than I thought. Instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on all kinds of devices for only 8 bucks a month with Netflix. Start your free trial today. See terms of use. All Modell Sporting Goods stores celebrate our new locations at 740 Broadway, Astor Place, and 270 East Fordham Road, The Bronx. Men's Sherpa or Thermaline Fleece Hoods, only $18. Reebok Softshell Jackets for Men, now $25. Save 10 to $15 on footwear for the family from brands like Timberland, Nike, and more. Plus, Modell's is your holiday gift headquarters with a huge assortment of $5 and $10 gifts. Sale ends Thursday. When you got to get your holiday gifts, you got to go to Moe's. Now at 740 Broadway, Astor Place, and 270 East Fordham Road, The Bronx. Got to go to Moe's. Learn graphic design fast at Shillington School. Choose three months full-time or one year part-time because a world-class education needn't take forever. Visit Shillington for an info session to meet current graduates and learn more about graphic design. The info session will be held December 7th at 6 p.m. across from Grand Central at 315 Madison Avenue. More info is available online at shillingtonschool.com or by calling 212-682-6611. Starting with no prior experience, you will graduate with a professional portfolio and an in-depth knowledge of design theory and the adobe creative suite the course is taught by outstanding designers in an inspirational environment check out shillington at the info session on december 7th or stop by anytime to find out more visit shillingtonschool.com or call 212-682-6611 that's shillingtonschool.com or 212-682-6611 at shillington make creativity your career WCBS News Time 538. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the 8th. Ken Daniels checks the roads for us. All right, let's uh, check out that ride as you make your way in Rockland, Westchester County. We've had some difficulty with some accidents. Poor visibility all around throughout the tri state because of the foggy conditions, so keep that in mind. Getting word that on the New York State Thruway at the Tappansee Bridge on that southbound side, we do have an accident now that is blocking at least one lane. Also, Cross County Parkway eastbound, right into the area of Yonkers Avenue, there's an accident blocking two lanes. And then northbound on the New England Thruway at Chatsworth Avenue, there's a crash. Uh, at least of the one lane is blocked. So three accidents right there in Rockland and Westchester in a speed restriction at the Tappan Bridge of 45 miles per hour. Uh, we go to Connecticut on the Connecticut Turnpike. Things are moving along all right. Uh, on Long Island, not bad in the LIE Northern State, Southern State. Throughout the five boroughs, again, no accidents or incidents to report, but some very poor visibility. We do have some construction on the uh, Cross Bronx westbound into the George Washington Bridge Apartments. Watch out for at least one lane knocked out there. Of course, the toll increase began at 3 a.m. Uh, for not only the George Washington Bridge, the Holland and the Lincoln, uh, but all the, also the Gothels, uh, the Bayonne and the Outer Bridge Crossing. Uh, Jets and the Arizona Car- Cardinals at the Meadowlands just after 1 o'clock today. We'll update you on that again later for the delays on Route 317, 120 in the New Jersey Turnpike. Our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. And taking a look at the uh, forecast for us, we go to meteorologist Bill Dagger. Areas of dense fog and drizzle across the Tri-State area to start off your Sunday. But later today, we'll warm up pretty nicely, but stay mostly cloudy with a high of 55. Passing shower or two through the evening tonight, then mostly cloudy overnight, a low of 48. And it won't feel like December tomorrow or Tuesday as we head back to work. Partly sunny, high 60 tomorrow, 64 on Tuesday. I'm meteorologist Bill Dagger in the WCBS Weather Center. We have cloudy skies in New York City. It's 42 degrees. WCBS News Time 540. 
WCBS News Time 541. In Connecticut, people who lost homes or suffered damage during Hurricane Sandy are in Norwalk to meet with FEMA experts. WCBS Connecticut Bureau Chief Fran Schneido has details. This fellow from the Rowayton section of Norwalk suffered serious damage to his waterfront home. Now bunking in with family in Massachusetts, he wonders when or even if he can ever move back. All the interviews and the inspections have taken place but none of the paperwork has been submitted yet, and I don't know how long that process is likely to take. It's all brand new territory. Uh, yeah, we've not, we're not veterans at this. We have no idea. On hand here is Congressman Jim Himes helping folks through the red tape. This is the federal government, so there's a process, there's paperwork and that sort of thing. So my job in a moment like this is to make sure that people understand what's available for them out there and how they can access those resources. In Norwalk, Fran Schneider, WCBS 880 News. Work is already underway to replenish some of the Jersey Shore's hard-hit beaches. WCBS's Jim Smith reports. The more than $8 million project to restore the coastline in Monmouth Beach was approved weeks before Sandy even developed. As part of a six- to eight-year maintenance cycle, Congressman Frank Pallone says the timing could not have been any better. Many of those beaches uh, really were heavily damaged by by Hurricane Sandy. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers already has shovels in the ground. Pallone says piling on sand for a critical boost in height. When the beaches uh, don't have the elevation, they don't provide the protection that they would normally. Pallone says the project is starting in Monmouth Beach, heading north to Seabright, bolstering the defense of a weakened shoreline. In New Jersey, Jim Smith, WCBS 880 News. WCBS News Time 543. This is Neil Chayette looking at the law. It may be wrong, but is it illegal? This case got started when a law firm fired a young associate whose billable hours dropped after his pregnant wife attempted suicide. Ari worked as an associate in the Boston office of a national law firm and requested a transfer to the firm's Munich office while his wife completed a Fulbright scholarship in Germany. Unfortunately, while in Munich, his wife became pregnant and attempted to commit suicide. He took emergency leave and then took four weeks paternity leave after a child was born. When he returned to work in the Boston office, he was fired, being told that his billable hours had fallen below the total expected of young associates. He sued for retaliation and for sex discrimination, basically arguing that the macho culture of the firm was discriminatory against Mr. Mom. The court threw out the discrimination claim but ruled his retaliation complaint could continue. So when a billable hour collides with an hour of need, someone may be called to account. This is Neil Chet looking at the law for CBS News and for podcasts go to lookingatthelaw.com. It's 42 degrees. We have cloudy skies going up to 55 in New York City. We'll have the five-day forecast in just three minutes. At 880 on your AM dial and live on your computer and smartphone at cbsnewyork.com. When you need to know, we've got you covered. Good morning. I'm Patty Steele. Coming up on WCBS News Radio, a warning about some heartless scam artists targeting Sandy victims. On Wall Street, the Dow closed up three points. It'll open the week tomorrow at 13,025.58. The Nasdaq closed down two, and the S&P 500 was up fractionally. Business news coming up in just 10 minutes. WCBS News Time 545. Time for sports with Gary Stanley. All right, Patty. Well, it's right back to it for the Jets this afternoon as they take the field for the first time since their infamous Thanksgiving night loss to the Patriots. A very long, long time to wait with the booze still ringing in their ears. Obviously, there's frustrations in the fact that, you know, we never accomplished what we wanted to do in that game. And, and, uh, and the fans, you know, let us have it, and they got every right to. Well, Rex Ryan hoping for a bit of a better reaction this afternoon against a team with actually more problems than his Jets, the Arizona Cardinals. They won their first four games but have dropped their last seven. The Giants in the Monday night game in Washington. College football last night, a real thriller in Atlanta. In the end, it was number 2 Alabama advancing to the national championship game against Notre Dame as they beat Georgia in the SEC title game. 32 to 28 game literally coming down to the final seconds the nets had their five game winning streak come to a screeching halt they blew an early 14 point lead lose to the heat in miami 102 89 Dwayne wade 34 points for the heat lebron james 21 andre blotch had 20 and eight rebounds for the nets who played without the injured brooke lopez once again this afternoon 12 noon tip-off at the garden knicks take on the phoenix suns college basketball yesterday st 
Johns rallied to beat New Jersey Tech 57-49. Rutgers lost to Mississippi 80-67. Fordham falling to Harvard 73-64. This afternoon, Manhattan will visit George Washington. And sports sponsored by Cars.com. Cars.com is confident that the East Coast will bounce back better than before the storm. To all their customers and employees that have been affected, they'll be there when you need them. Cars.com. Confidence comes standard. Sports at 15 and 45. Gary Stanley, WCBS News Radio 880. WCBS News Time 547. Traffic and weather together coming up next. Need a great place to watch your favorite teams in New Jersey? Join Miller Lite at Water Street, located at 4 Robbins Parkway in Toms River, for great Miller Draft and Bottle Specials. Water Street has been completely renovated with 21 new flat-screen TVs located all over, so you never miss any of the action or the view of the Toms River located right off their back deck. So visit Water Street in Toms River or check them out at bakerswaterstreet.com for more info. All for Miller Lite and Water Street. Miller Lite reminds you to enjoy responsibly. Getting gifts for the sports fan in your life has never been easier this holiday season thanks to CBS Locals Fan Shop. We've got the jerseys and gear for almost every team in any sport. And if you visit CBS Locals Fan Shop today through the end of the year and enter the promo code HOLIDAY10, you'll get an additional 10% off your purchase. Visit CBSLocalFanshop.com today and use the promo code HOLIDAY10 to save even more from CBS Locals Fan Shop. Drug, alcohol, and gambling addiction can be devastating for you and your loved ones. Don't let the disease of addiction ruin everything you've worked so hard for. The Treatment Helpline has helped thousands of people just like you take control of their addictions and live healthier, cleaner, and happier lives. You are not alone. Now there's hope. The Treatment Helpline has helped people just like you overcome their addiction. If you or a loved one is suffering from a drug, alcohol, or gambling addiction, let us help you today. Call 1-800-253-4207. Our seasoned addiction treatment professionals can show you how to use your private health insurance to help cover the costs of this life-changing program. Call now and get a free confidential consultation. 1-800-253-4207. That's 1-800-253-4207. Help is only a phone call away. Call 1-800-253-4207. That's 1-800-253-4207. WCBS News Time 548. Time for traffic and weather together. We do it every 10 minutes on the 8th. Ken Daniels looks at the roads. All right, we've had a lot of action in Rockland, West Chester County because of what well, you would imagine some of these uh, foggy conditions having something to do with this poor visibility out there this morning. And uh, just sit it out and wait for this fog to lift. We do have Cross County Parkway eastbound in Yonkers, right into the area of Yonkers Avenue with an accident blocking two lanes. New York State Thruway southbound into the Tappanzee Bridge, an accident there since stop and go traffic. At least the one lane is blocked. And the New England Thruway, uh, we've got a, a, a slowdown on the northbound side of Chatsworth Avenue, stop and go traffic as they work on clearing an accident there. Tappanzee Bridge with a 45 mile per hour speed restriction because of the poor visibility. Uh, go to Connecticut on the Connecticut Turnpike and Merritt Parkway. Uh, so far, so good on Long Island. Not too bad on the LIE Northern State or Southern State. Throughout the five boroughs, again, uh, no major issues out there. Just do take it slow. Not all that much traffic, which is a good thing uh, with all of this fog. Uh, your normal Sunday parking rules are in effect for today. And then in New Jersey, uh, looking okay on the New Jersey Turnpike, uh, the Garden State Parkway southbound at Route 80. We've got a ramp restriction there. And also the tolls increased uh, today, well, just a few hours ago, at the Lincoln, the Holland, and the George Washington Bridge, and also the Gothels, the Bridge crossing in the Bayonne Bridge and the Jets and the Arizona Cardinals at the Meadowlands today just after one o'clock. Watch for slowdowns as game time gets closer on Route 3, Route 17, 120 in the New Jersey Turnpike. Our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. And for the five day forecast, we go to meteorologist Bill Dagger. We're starting off your Sunday with areas of dense fog. We could see visibilities below a quarter mile for a time, so please take it easy on the roads. Use your low beams. Later today, plenty of clouds will turn mild to finish your Sunday, a high of 55. Be a shower or two this evening, otherwise mostly cloudy later tonight, a low of 48. And it certainly won't feel like December tomorrow or Tuesday. Partly sunny up to 60 tomorrow, Tuesday's high 64. Then a cold front moves through Wednesday, a shower or two in the morning, then cooler with some sun, a high of 52. Rather chilly Thursday with sunshine, a high of 42. I'm meteorologist Bill Dagger in the WCBS Weather Center. 42 degrees, cloudy skies in New York City. WCBS Newstime, 550.
I'm Mary Pat Christie. Hurricane Sandy brought unthinkable devastation to our Garden State. That's why Chris and I are asking you to join us in supporting communities affected by the storm. Please visit SandyNJRelieffund.org. Thank you for your generosity. WCBS News Time 551. Well, the town of Hempstead on Long Island, residents are told to beware that the town supervisor said a local company is trying to swindle residents who already lost so much because of the storm. Sophia Hall has the story. It looked like an official town of Hempstead document. Town Supervisor Kate Murray said it had the town seal on the top of the page and underneath it said for $499, you can get the permits you need to rebuild your home. But Murray said... It's a scam. There's a private company called My Expediter LLC. They took a, a, an official town of Hempstead letterhead. Murray said residents do not need to use any service for permits. There is absolutely no permit fees. We have waived them all for renovations or rebuilds following Hurricane Sandy. Murray sent the information to the DA's office. They told me they are reviewing the documents. My Expediter LLC of Oceanside, Long Island, did not return my calls for comment. Sophia Hall, WCBS. 880 News. A major figure in the civil rights movement will be honored with a stamp next year. CBS News reporter Lloyd Devries has exclusive details. Rosa Parks became a symbol of the civil rights movement when she defied bus segregation laws in 1955. A source tells me the stamp will be issued in February. That makes sense. February 4th is the centennial of her birth and February is Black History Month. Until now, the Postal Service hadn't been able to obtain permission from her estate. The source also says there will be a stamp next year for either the I Have a Dream speech or the March on Washington, of which it was a part. Lloyd DeVries, CBS News. Well, this is interesting. A new gym in Dallas, Texas, only allows people to join if they're at least 50 pounds overweight. Joe Gomez reports from CBS radio station KRLD. Downsize Fitness caters to a unique clientele. In fact, you may even consider them the elite of the overweight. To be a member of the gym, you have to have at least 50 pounds of extra fat. We cater to people who need to lose more than 50 pounds because that's a pretty difficult amount of weight to lose. Michael Stout is a general manager of the gym and says the reason they restrict membership to those of a similar size is because it helps increase self-confidence. And with 30% of Texans consider to be obese. Stout says business is booming. Joe Gomez, CBS News, Dallas. WCBS News Time 553. I'm Paul Murnane with Dish and Digital, sponsored by B&H Photo and Video, New York's ultimate camera authority. Jingle bell, jingle bell. Laptop shopping this holiday season might be a bit overwhelming thanks to all the new models sporting the new Windows 8. As our Dish and Digital Guide to the Holidays continues, CNET Senior Editor Dan Ackerman says expect to spend a few hundred dollars for a good Windows machine. You really want to look for something uh, that's probably more in the five, six hundred, uh, maybe seven hundred dollar range. Or from Neelai Patel at The Verge. If price is no object, the new 15-inch back of Pro with the Retina display uh, is the best laptop probably ever made. Uh, it has an amazing screen. And Techno Buffalo President John Rettinger likes a Windows machine that can really bend the Yoga series from Lenovo. They come in an 11.6-inch edition or a 13.3-inch edition. And they work like traditional laptops, but you can fold them end over end. So you've got the screen on one side, the keyboard on, on the other, and you can use it completely as a tablet. Edition Digital, I'm Paul Murnane. And for more, visit cbsnewyork.com slash Digital. WCBS News Time 554. We'll have business news in a moment. Mercy College is the one to watch. Rated A by Standard & Poor's. Nationally recognized programs in some of the hottest professional fields around. Come to Mercy Mondays this fall and find out how easy it is to get your master's degree and re-energize your career. Mercy Mondays, more than 25 graduate degree programs, all designed for working people, nights, weekends, and online. Come to Mercy Mondays at our campuses in Dobbs Ferry, the Bronx, and Manhattan and find out about the quality, affordable graduate education at Mercy College. The one to watch at mercy.edu. Years ago, my doctor told me to take a Centrum Silver multivitamin every day. I tell him, sure, can't hurt, right? Then I heard this news about a multivitamin study looking at long-term health benefits for men over 50 and the multivitamin they used for the study, Centrum Silver. Hey, that's what I take. My doctor... He really knows his stuff. The most recommended, most preferred, most studied. Centrum, always your most complete. A prior formula of Centrum Silver was used in the study. WCBS News Time 555, time for business news. At some companies, workers really do count. 
I'm Tim Middleton with a report from this week's Cranes New York Business, like Squarespace, a web development company in Soho. When the head of customer care hit her fifth anniversary with the firm, it paid for her, her husband, and their four children to sky to Southern California to visit family. RF Binder, a PR firm headquartered in Midtown, showers cash bonuses on employees tied to the firm's performance, plus incentives like an annual $1,000 innovation award. This is not corporate altruism. It's called employee retention. Top firms get there because they've got top talent. Employees are the only real difference between employers. So the best companies shower the most attention on their workers. So if your company doesn't, maybe your company isn't. For Cranes New York Business, I'm Tim Middleton, WCBS News Radio 880. On Friday, the Dow closed up three points, NASDAQ closed down two, and the SP 500 was down fractionally. WCBS News Time, 557. Inhabitants of Earth. You can run, but you cannot. What are you doing? I'm watching Netflix on my smartphone, dude. What? I can instantly watch as many TV episodes and movies as I want. You don't fear for your life? Yeah, not really. Our atmosphere is eventually going to kill you anyway. Nonsense. Our anatomy is... There you go. (laughs) Faster than I thought. Instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on all kinds of devices for only 8 bucks a month with Netflix. Start your free trial today. See terms of use. Uh, As your HR rep, it's my duty to alert everyone to the newest pandemic spreading across our nation called desk dining. It's caused by repeatedly eating lunch at one's desk. Its symptoms include a rotten attitude and constant blank staring out of the window. My official recommendation is to start eating lunch at Buffalo Wild Wings, the cure-all to lameness caused by desk dining. Except for you, Phil. You'd be lame no matter where you eat. With tons of big screens and more delicious menu items for less cash, we're the perfect place for lunch. Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings Beer Sports. WCBS News Time 558. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the 8th. Here's Ken Daniels. All right, let's start at Rockland, West Chester County. We've had some difficulties uh, with accident activity, so that continues to slow you down on the New England Thruway, northbound of Chatsworth Avenue. Accident blocking at least one lane. The New York State Thruway southbound into the Tabernacle Bridge. Accident there blocking at least one lane. And the Cross County Parkway eastbound into the New York State Thruway. We've got the two lanes blocked with a crash. Uh, we've got the Jets and the Arizona Car- Cardinals at the Meadowlands just after 1 o'clock as game time gets closer. Watch for a slowdown. On 317-120 and the New Jersey Turnpike. Here's the latest from the WCBS Weather Center. It's a foggy, drizzly start to your Sunday, and later today will warm up despite clouds hanging on a high of 55. It'll be a shower or two this evening, otherwise mostly cloudy tonight as well, low 48. But the sun's back out tomorrow, we're up to 60. I'm meteorologist Bill Dagger in the WCBS Weather Center. Foggy and 42 degrees right now. News, traffic, and weather on air, online. We are News Radio, WCBS New York. Good Sunday morning, the second day of December. I'm Alex Silverman. Here's the latest from the WCBS Newsroom. Tolls at the Hudson Crossings have crossed 10 bucks for the first time with Easy Pass in effect this morning. Looks like a bad signal that made a train derail and spew hazardous gas in South Jersey. As many as nine suicide bombers have attacked a U.S. base in Afghanistan. New York's hiring a 1,000 counselors to go door-to-door in places hit hard by the hurricane. And at 610, we'll introduce you to a family facing both homelessness and cancer after Sandy. My husband, myself, and my three children are sharing a queen-size air mattress. Sports heat beat the Nets 102-89. to Today, it's the Jets and Cardinals at MetLife, 1 o'clock kickoff. WCBS News Time, 6 o'clock. <laughs> CBS News, I'm Heather Bosch. NATO confirms international troops were injured during a two-hour battle at a joint U.S.-Afghan base in eastern Afghanistan. Al Jazeera's Bernard Smith reports. It started just after dawn this morning uh, when about nine suicide bombers attacked the base. Two of them drove two explosive-laden vehicles at a gate and an entranceway detonating those vehicles, trying to make a hole for the remaining Taliban fighters, all wearing suicide vests, to then try and uh, penetrate further into the airbase. Well, they tried to get in, but Brigadier General Gunter Katz says... The perimeter of the base has not been breached, so nobody was actually able to get inside the base. Nine insurgents, four Afghan special forces and two civilians died. 
Cameras inside a collapsed tunnel in Japan are showing at least three bodies. A 330-foot section of the tunnel came crashing down. Those people that managed to escape have been talking about how they literally put their foot on the accelerator of their cars to get out and watched as some cars behind them got crushed. Sky News reporter Mark Stone says a smoky fire kept rescuers from getting into the rubble right away. The tunnel is about 50 miles west of Tokyo. They're filling sandbags in Northern California. They are bracing for their third major storm in days. It's on pace to hit the region tonight. Flood warnings have been issued for both the Napa and Russian rivers north of San Francisco. Contract talks are set to resume this morning. In a five-day strike by clerical workers, it has slowed down business at the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach. Trini Thompson represents workers for one of 14 terminals. I will tell you that both sides are at the table um, working hard to try to resolve the issues. Workers claim companies are shipping jobs overseas, which employers vehemently deny. This windswept flagpole signals the only real movement at the port complex since the strike began. Margaret Carrero, CBS News at the Port of Los Angeles. Friends and family are are remembering Kansas City's chief linebacker, Jovan Belcher. A good man, a good loving father, family man, and couldn't be around a better person. Belcher shot himself in front of his team's general manager and the head coach outside the Chiefs' headquarters yesterday. Police say Belcher had just killed his girlfriend. Soccer superstar David Beckham bidding farewell to the Los Angeles Galaxy. Yesterday, he celebrated the team's second MLS championship with a win over Houston. What's next for the 32-year-old? I'll continue to play. I'm going to go get some rest over Christmas, decide where I'm going to go, what I'm going to do. Surrounded by a bunch of guys with guns. That is what a Baltimore blogger told his Internet audience after police came to arrest him over the weekend. The 47-year-old had missed a court date. He eventually surrendered peacefully. This is CBS News. Dad, now that I've got my license, can we go look at cars? What's wrong with the one we have? I can't be seen driving that. Besides, a a newer car would save money and actually be a lot more fuel-efficient. What's a lot more? Remember that car commercial we just saw? Oh, that blue sedan? Yeah, it would save a ton. How? 31 miles per gallon average, 27 city, 38 highway. It uses 3.2 gallons of gas for every 100 miles driven. 3.2 gallons? And it would only cost about 1,700 in gas a year. That's almost half of what you're paying for your car, Dad. How do you know all this stuff? Mike and I swung by the dealership after school yesterday. I got the info off the new fuel economy label. Fuel economy label? Saw it on the car. It has a lot of information, like how much gas we'd save over five years. I even used my smartphone QR code reader to get more info on the web. You know, that actually sounds like a good deal to me. It does? Let's go check it out. A new label for a new generation of cars. For more information on EPA's fuel economy and environment label, visit fueleconomy.gov. Live from the CBS Hudson Square Broadcast Center in Manhattan, we are News Radio, WCBS HD and WCBS FM HD3, New York. Foggy out there, 41 degrees right now in Central Park. Fog will be dense, some drizzle this morning, otherwise mostly cloudy, milder the rest of the day, up to 55 degrees. WCBS News Time 604. Just about three hours ago, the tolls went up at the Hudson River crossings yet again. If you have Easy Pass, it now costs more than ten bucks for the first time. Ten twenty-five, seventy-five cents more. Off-peak price is eight twenty-five. This is a story we'll repeat once a year. It's a second of five increases approved last year in a process critics said was rushed and wasn't transparent. Truckers are especially upset. Five axle truck paid thirty bucks to cross five years ago. Today, seventy-five dollars. Staten Islanders seem to like the temporary ferry service that started up between Great Kills and Manhattan this past week, and officials have said there's a good chance it'll stay. Starting Monday, a few changes, though. Last two boats leaving Great Kills in the morning and the last two leaving Manhattan at night will shove off ten minutes later. Ferry costs two bucks, and FEMA is subsidizing the initial eight-week run. It may have been trouble with a signal that made a train go off the rails in Gloucester County, New Jersey. That's what the NTSB is telling us. Meanwhile, a hundred people are still out of their homes as crews try to clear a dangerous gas from the air. Reporter Chris Jimenez is from our sister station KYW in Philadelphia. U.S. Coast Guard Captain Kathy Moore says first is making sure the accident site is as safe as possible. Teams continue to apply a mist, a water mist, over the derailed train cars to limit the spread of the vinyl chloride cargo into the surrounding areas. 
She, along with Larry Haina with the State Department of Environmental Protection, says they're constantly monitoring levels of vinyl chloride. Most of the results have been in the non-detect range or slightly elevated range that we would not believe would have any acute health impacts on people. Tim Jimenez, CBS News, Clarksboro, New Jersey. If you live in a neighborhood that's had it rough the past month, you could get a visit soon from a crisis counselor. FEMA's giving New York money to hire about a thousand of them. They go into communities and try to find people who may be vulnerable to PTSD, depression, or substance abuse. Those are real concerns as so many are still without the necessities of a civilized world. New York City estimates at least 12,000 people are trying to survive in unheated homes ravaged by Sandy. The city's health commissioner, Dr. Thomas Farley, says that can be dangerous, especially for the elderly. The health department already says emergency room visits related to cold weather doubled in November compared to previous years. And it's not just chilly temperatures posing a threat. Some homes may be contaminated with mold and dust. That can aggravate allergies and asthma. Jim Smith, WCBS 880 News. WCBS, excuse me, WCBS News Time 607. Traffic and weather together. Coming up next. I'm a good gift giver. No, a fantastic gift giver. What do I get in return? An unnecessary cheek pinch. I deserve more. So this year, I'm giving Buffalo Wild Wings gift cards. For every $25 I spend, I can get a blazing bonus worth up to $100. So the next time I hear, oh, that's so sweet, it better be referring to honey barbecue sauce. Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings. Beer. Sports. No purchase necessary. Must be 18 year old. Valid in restaurant at participating locations only in Boyd and Florida, New York, Rhode Island, and we're prohibited by law. It's 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time on December 31st, 2012. See official rules at buffalowildwings.com for restrictions and details. Geico says, let's make life simpler. It's ironic. Sometimes technology makes life more complicated. Take your TV, for example. How many remote control devices does it take to change a channel? Geico, on the other hand, makes technology work for you. Your laptop, smartphone, tablet. No matter what device you have, no matter where you are, you're never more than a click or call away from Geico. It really is as simple as that. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Did you know there are over 72 million children attending school in the U.S.? Imagine how many of these parents want their children to get the best education possible. And every one of them is a potential customer for Kumon Math and Reading Centers. That's one of the reasons why Kumon is the world's largest after-school education program and is continuing to expand in the tri-state area. Kumon has been ranked number one by Entrepreneur Magazine as the leading tutoring franchiser for 11 consecutive years. So when you choose to invest in a Kumon franchise, you'll know you'll be making a financially sound business decision in the multi-million dollar education industry. Learn more. Call 855-KUMON-US. That's 855-K-U-M-O-N-U-S. With Kumon's proven track record, you'll take comfort knowing you have continual access to resources that'll help you establish and grow your Kumon franchise. Find out if a Kumon franchise is right for you. Call 855-KUMON-US. 855-KUMON-US. Or visit KumonFranchise.com. Franchise offer by prospectus only. WCPS News Time 608. Traffic and weather together on the 8th is sponsored by Guildnet. Good morning, Ken Daniels. Well, good morning. Let's uh, check out that ride in Rock of the Westchester County once again. We've had some issues there. Very poor visibility this morning with the foggy conditions. Good idea to sit this out and wait till the fog lifts because we've got some accidents being worked on. Cross County Parkway eastbound right into the area of Yonkers Avenue in Yonkers. Accident there blocking two lanes still. The New York State Thruway southbound into the Tappan Bridge. Some stop and go conditions. At least one lane is blocked with an accident and a 40 Five mile per hour speed restriction at the top of Z2. The New England Thruway north out of Chatsworth Avenue. There's an accident there. Stop and go conditions again. This is blocking at least one lane on the New England Thruway. And then we go to your ride in Connecticut on the Connecticut Turnpike and Merritt Parkway. Overall, not too bad there. On Long Island, the same. On the LIE Northern State and Southern State, not all that much traffic out there, thankfully, on this early Sunday morning. Now, traveling in the five uh, boroughs, uh, we've got a pretty good ride across the Hudson River. Minor delays. Normal Sunday parking rules are in effect, the tolls increased a few hours ago at the George Washington Bridge, Lincoln Tunnel, the Holland Tunnel, also the Outer Bridge, uh, Bayonne, and uh, Gothels Bridge. And then in New Jersey, later on today, 1 o'clock start for the Jets and the Arizona Cardinals. Watch for slowdowns as game time gets closer for Route 3, Route 17, 120, and the New Jersey Turnpike. Our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. Live to the Weather Center, Bill Dager. Usually I look out the window of the studio here, I can see lights across the river in Jersey. Right now I can see absolutely nothing. Yeah, that's right. We're dealing with a lot of fog out there. 
there. Uh, dense fog at that, so please take it easy if you're out on the roads this morning. Later today, though, we do expect that fog to burn off and some sunshine will return, although plenty of clouds out there into the afternoon with a high of 55. It could be a shower or two this evening. Otherwise, clouds will remain tonight, a low of 48. Then the sunshine is back out a little bit tomorrow and Tuesday. Won't feel like December, a high of 60 tomorrow, Tuesday's high 64. Could be a shower or two Wednesday with a front moving through, otherwise cooler with some sun, a high of 52, and chilly for Thursday with sunshine, a high of 42. Right now it is foggy in Midtown, 41. Temperatures across the tri-state, tri-state area range from 35 at Walden to 44 in West Hampton will reach a high of 55. I'm meteorologist Bill Dagger in the WCBS Weather Center. 611 at WCBS 88. CBS News Time 612. It has not been an easy year for the Heckman family on Long Island. Their son has cancer and the storm did not spare them. Here's Sophia Hall. Because of the cost of caring for their six-year-old son, Stephen, who was diagnosed last year with leukemia and is undergoing chemotherapy treatments, the Heckmans had to move into a relative's house in Amity Harbor, Long Island. Then Sandy hit their home furniture, clothing, children's toys destroyed. Now Danielle, her husband, and their three children, including little Stephen, are all living in a friend's apartment. My husband, myself, and my three children are sharing a queen-size air mattress. But even though Danielle is going through so much and needs to rebuild her home, she is also thinking about others and urges people to get registered with DKMS Bone Marrow Registry Center. We can send them the cheek swabs to their house. Said Alina Supernova from DKMS. So Sophia Hall, WCBS 880 News. A few hundred people turned out in East Harlem to say goodbye to Hector Macho Camacho, former boxing champ shot dead last month in Puerto Rico. CBS 2's Amy Dardashtian was at the funeral. I spoke with his son, and it was too painful for his son to even attend the funeral service, so he ended up standing outside the entire time with the scores of fans who were waving their Puerto Rican flags. But he said, you know, that in the end... It wasn't important, all of the money that his father made or the the legacy. None of that mattered. He said what really mattered was that his father had a heart of gold. Police outside San Juan are looking into the shooting. Camacho's friend, also killed, reportedly had several bags of cocaine on him at the time. WCBS News Time 613. WCBS 880, because it matters where you get your news. As a Westchester resident, I actually prefer to the local Westchester station. You pay attention to Connecticut. You reach the whole tri-state area. Uh, on Long Island, Mike Sierra. In Suffolk County, Long Island, Sophia Hall. Paul Bourdain in South Nyack. From Teterboro, Peter Haskell. In Lyndhurst, Sean Adams. From the Connecticut Bureau, Fran Schneider. When you need to know, we've got you covered. Listen to WCBS every day. It's foggy and it's 41 degrees right now in New York City. That fog will be dense this morning. We'll have some drizzle around, otherwise mainly cloudy and mild the rest of today. Up to 55 degrees, even warmer tomorrow, partly sunny, high of 60, then 64 on Tuesday as we warm up even further. Five-day forecast in three minutes. At 880 on your AM dial and live on your computer and smartphone at cbsnewyork.com. Wherever you are, we are. New York's News Radio, WCBS 880. Good Sunday morning. Thanks for being along with us. I'm Alex Silverman. Coming up on WCBS, we'll take a look into the controversial practice of gay conversion therapy. It's being challenged in court now. They gave me a tennis racket and they made me beat up the pillow, um, yelling, Mom, Mom. Now closed up just four points on Friday, 13,025. We'll check business news in 10 minutes. WCBS Sports right now at 615. Good morning to Gary Stanley. Well, good morning, Alex. I tell you, the Brooklyn Nets were looking at a six-game winning streak last night in Miami before more than blinking in the third quarter. They led the Heat by 14 in the first half, by nine at the half, but then were outscored by 22 the rest of the way, losing the game 102 to 89. Dwayne Wade with a big night for the Heat, 30. Four points, LeBron James 21. Andre Blotch had 20 points and eight rebounds for the Nets who finish off their three-game road trip, two and one. Next with a chance to take over sole possession of first place once again. This afternoon, they will take on Phoenix at the Garden. It is more than fair to say it's a must game for the Jets. The Arizona Cardinals at MetLife Stadium this afternoon, a battle of two four and seven teams. Uh, Jets cornerback Antonio Cromartie was asked if the Jets still had a chance to make the playoffs. I don't even know what I believe right now. <laughs> the way the way, we, the way we've been playing, I mean, but uh, I mean, it's five five games left. Um, you know, uh, anything can happen. You know, my my biggest focus right now is this one important game. I'm not 
Can't worry about the playoffs right now. Uh, just win a game. Kick off 1 o'clock. Giants in the Monday night game in Washington. It is on to the national championship game against Notre Dame for number 2 ranked Alabama. They win a thriller last night in Atlanta, beating number 3 Georgia 32-28. to They capture the SEC title. Longtime college basketball coach Rick Majerus has died of heart failure at the age of 64. Majerus led Utah to the national championship game in 1998. Scoreboard yesterday, St. John's rallied to beat New Jersey Tech 57-49. Johnny's were down by 12 points at the half. Rutgers falling to Mississippi 80-67. Fordham losing on the road to Harvard 73-64. And this afternoon, Manhattan will travel to George Washington. Sports at 15 and 45. Gary Stanley, WCBS News Radio 880. WCBS News Time 617. Back to the roads in just a minute. Geico says, let's make life simpler. Look, I'm all for modern conveniences. But ask yourself, do you really need a blender with 23 buttons just to chop an onion? At Geico, we think life should be simpler. So we make it super simple to save on car insurance. Just one click and you could be on your way to saving hundreds. Come on, people. Life doesn't have to be that complicated. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Hey, dog, where's your owner? Watching Netflix. Yeah? He can instantly watch as many TV episodes and movies as he wants online. Well, I know what you did on my lawn, and it's not funny. (laughs) It is the kids. Well, what are their parents supposed to laugh at? The sophisticated jokes. You know, like, that dog chasing his tail reminds me of politicians. (laughs) Instantly watch as many TV episodes and movies as your family wants on all kinds of devices for only 8 bucks a month with Netflix. Start your free trial today. See terms of use. WCBS News Time 618. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the 8th. Ken Daniels, what you looking at this morning? All right, we've got some issues in Rockland, Westchester County. Very poor visibility is the number one issue because of the fog, and it's caused some accidents. You would think it contributed anyway. So we'll talk about the Cross County Parkway, eastbound of the Yonkers Avenue. We've got the two lanes blocked at the New York State Thruway, southbound into the Tappan Zee Bridge, dealing with an accident there that is blocking at least one lane. Also, the New England Thruway traveling northbound into Chatsworth Avenue. Accident there, some stop and go conditions at least the one lane is closed 45 mile per hour speed restriction at the Tappan Zee uh, because of the weather conditions and then overall in Connecticut on the Connecticut Turnpike and Merritt Parkway we're not too bad same thing goes on Long Island on the LIE Northern State and Southern State just uh, keep it slow out there be careful uh, maybe uh, sit this fog out wait till it lifts we go to the five boroughs again overall looks pretty good some scattered construction projects here and there across the Hudson River a minor delay uh, it's going to cost you though we had toll increases kick in at 3 a.m. at the Lincoln in Holland and the George Washington Bridge and also the Bayonne Gothels and Outer Bridge Crossing. Watch out on Route 17 in New Jersey, southbound to Route 46, some right lane construction in place. Also later on today, the Jets and the Arizona Cardinals at the Meadowlands just after 1 o'clock, so watch for slowdowns as game time gets closer for Route 17, 120, also Route 3 and the New Jersey Turnpike. Our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. Looking ahead five days with a warm-up on the way, it's Bill Dagger in the Weather Center. We're starting off your Sunday with areas of dense fog. We could see visible below a quarter mile for a time, so please take it easy on the roads. Use your low beams. Later today, plenty of clouds will turn mild to finish your Sunday, a high of 55. It'll be a shower or two this evening, otherwise mostly cloudy later tonight, a low of 48. And it certainly won't feel like December tomorrow or Tuesday. Partly sunny up to 60 tomorrow, Tuesday's high 64. Then a cold front moves through Wednesday, a shower or two in the morning, then cooler with some sun, a high of 52. Rather chilly Thursday with sunshine, a high of 42. I'm meteorologist Bill Dagger in the WCBS Weather Center. 42 right now, foggy at JFK. That fog has settled over Manhattan as well. It's 41 degrees. Traffic and weather together sponsored by Pound Ridge Nurseries. Coming up, a first at West Point for a same-sex couple. WCBS News Time 620. Need a great place to watch your favorite teams in New Jersey? Join Miller Lite at Water Street, located at 4 Robbins Parkway in Tom's River, for great Miller Draft and Bottle Specials. Water Street has been completely renovated with 21 new flat-screen TVs located all over, so you never miss any of the action or the view of the Tom's River located right off their back deck. So visit Water Street in Tom's River or check them out at bakerswaterstreet.com for more info. All for Miller Lite and Water Street. Miller Lite reminds you to enjoy responsibly. 
Mercy College is the one to watch. Rated A by Standard & Poor's. Nationally recognized programs in some of the hottest professional fields around. Come to Mercy Mondays this fall and find out how easy it is to get your master's degree and re-energize your career. Mercy Mondays, more than 25 graduate degree programs, all designed for working people, nights, weekends, and online. Come to Mercy Mondays for graduate days at our campuses in Dobbs Ferry, the Bronx, and Manhattan. And find out about the quality, affordable graduate education at Mercy College. The one to watch at mercy.edu. WCBS News Time 621. First at West Point, the first same sex wedding at Cadet Chapel, the Gothic church many see as the center for spiritual life on campus there. Penelope Nesson and Brenda Sue Fulton, West Point grad, took their vows yesterday afternoon. Two have been together for 17 years. Both live in New Jersey, and they would have preferred to have the wedding there, but it is illegal. We first told you this past week about a lawsuit, the first to challenge the practice of conversion therapy, efforts to turn gay people straight. Now, we've heard not just from those who say they're victims of a great fraud, but also the people they're accusing. In the Orthodox Jewish community in Crown Heights, to grow up was to grow ashamed. I thought that admitting my homosexuality would mean a lifetime of alienation. Chaim Levin's rabbi pointed him to an organization called Jonah, Jews offering new alternatives for healing in Jersey City. Vulnerable young people trusted them. And paid them thousands for, as the website promises, a journey out of homosexuality. He instructed me to remove all of my clothes in a room alone with him. I told him that I was uncomfortable with this, but he said to me that if I really wanted to change, that this is what I had to do. I just believed it. They told Ben Unger it was his mother's fault. They gave me a tennis racket and they made me beat up the pillow, um, yelling mom, mom, to the point where my hands were cut. Those and other practices by defendants are unconscionable. They are not legitimate business practices. Sam Wolf is a lawyer with the Southern Poverty Law Center. The first of its kind suit claims what Jonah does is consumer fraud. We are here to hold them accountable. When we visited Jonah's office, in an unmarked brownstone. Nobody's available to comment. No, I'm sorry. We were turned away, but in a statement that came two days later, Jonah's founder, Arthur Goldberg, insists that thousands have, quote, shed their unwanted same-sex attractions. Goldberg, who served time in prison once for Wall Street fraud, says the lawsuit's designed to create a chilling effect. Wolf may not disagree. It fundamentally denies who we are and by extension, our equal dignity and rights. The American Psychological Association concurs in its official position that efforts to change sexual orientation not only don't work, but can cause serious harm. I was depressed and hopeless. Says customer turned plaintiff Chaim Levin. They had recreated psychological abuse that I suffered as a child. Michael Ferguson, another former client from Utah, says he did learn one thing from Jonah. That you cannot repair something that was never broken. We asked Arthur Goldberg to sit down with us for an interview with through a spokesman. He declined to do that. WCBS News Time 623. We knew the island that hosts the Lady in the Harbor was in bad shape, but now we know just how bad. The Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island could be closed for months because of extensive damage. In some spots, the floodwaters were four to five feet deep. Seventy-five percent of Liberty Island was overrun by the harbor. Walkways and docks were damaged, but some of the hardest hits were on the infrastructure. The island's electrical transformers were soaked. Administration buildings were flooded, and even the superintendent's full-time residence destroyed. The the National Park Service has been cleaning up debris for a month now. Still no estimate on the price tag. Lady Liberty survived unscathed, but it's not clear when she'll be able to accept visitors. Jim Smith, WCBS 880 News. 624 is a minute to business on WCB. Tis the season for giving, which means you have to find some awesome gifts for the sports fans in your life. With CBS Local's Fan Shop, not only can you find great team gear, but you can also save money. Visit CBSLocalFanshop.com today through the end of the year and enter the promo code HOLIDAY10 to get an additional 10% off. Get tremendous gifts for the sports fan on your shopping list at CBSLocalFanshop.com today and use the promo code HOLIDAY10 to save even more. If you have bad credit, you're not alone. Did you know that as much as 79% of all credit reports contain errors and incorrect information? Having great credit is more important than ever. Let nationally recognized credit expert Jason M. Kaplan help. Jason and his team of FICO experts will give you a free consultation and discuss how they can get your credit life back on track. Call 877-731-0082 for your free credit consultation and analysis. There's no upfront fees and you only pay for results. Call the credit pros now at 877-731-0082. WCBS News Time 625. Nobody really knows what to think about the state of the fiscal cliff negotiations in Washington. That is part of why stocks closed mixed on Friday, Dow up four, S&P up a fraction, NASDAQ down two points. Several.
week of December. But while the numbers will be closely scrutinized, the clues provided by the data may not be as reliable as in most months. The indicators investors are most anxious to see will likely reflect the disruptions caused by Superstorm Sandy. Economist Gus Fauché at PNC Financial says there's little doubt the November employment statistics were affected by Sandy. The Labor Department releases the report on Friday, but the storm's impact may prove to be short-lived. We did see a big increase in unemployment insurance claims for the week following Sandy. Sandy will have an impact on employment in the in the Northeast, and I think employment will be hurt somewhat by Sandy. But I would expect that it's going to fade from the data fairly quickly. People may have started replacing cars that were destroyed by the superstorm. If so, we may see stronger than expected November sales reports from the automakers. The supply manager's November indexes of manufacturing and service sector activity are also on the calendar. I'm Jennifer Kishinka at the Wall Street Journal for WCBS News Radio 880. WCBS News Time 626. A man from Staten Island is stable in the hospital after a horrifying cooking accident. 60 year old Louis Gloria was engulfed by a grease fire. The post says neighbors tried to put it out with blankets on the front lawn, but they could not do that. He burned until firefighters got there. Police say it was a record deal gone awry. Two aspiring rappers tried to shake a guy down for $50,000. Ryan Mixon and Andres Lozano are accused of pulling a gun, forcing a 27-year-old man into a taxi, driving to an Apple store, making him buy thousands worth of stuff, and threatening to kill him if he didn't pay the $50,000. The two were arrested yesterday, charged with extortion and with kidnapping. If you live in Connecticut and you have damage from Sandy, you have about another month till New Year's Eve to file for help from FEMA. There's seven recovery centers now open in Bridgeport, Fairfield, Greenwich, Groton, Milford, Norwalk, and also Old Saybrook. WCBS News Time 628. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the 8th. Looking through the fog and finding the traffic problems for us is Ken Daniels. And let's uh, start off Rock of the Westchester County because that seems to be where the majority of the issues have been uh, because of these uh, poor visibility conditions because we've had a bunch of accidents there. So still working some some accidents in the fog. Uh, Cross County has been one that's been plaguing for a while. Your eastbound side right into the area of Yonkers Avenue. That is blocking the two lanes. Now, the New England Thruway, your northbound side of the Chatsworth Avenue, there's a crash. At least the one lane blocked there in Larchmont. And some stop-and-go traffic into that area, too. And then the New York State Thruway traveling southbound into the Tappanzee Bridge. Some stop-and-go conditions with an accident blocking at least one lane. 45-mile-per-hour speed restriction at the Tappanzee. So uh, keep that in mind. Slow it down. Maybe sit this one out and, you know, just don't go out into the fog. Lifts a little bit because the visibility is very poor. We go to Connecticut, though. Overall, not too bad. Connecticut Turnpike or Maryland. At Parkway on Long Island, same thing goes. LIE, Northern State or Southern State, so not all that many people on the roadways yet. Now, in the five boroughs, uh, you'll encounter a pretty good ride there overall. Cross the Hudson River, just the minor delays. Uh, it'll cost you, though, because the tolls went up at 3 a.m. So the tolls increasing uh, this morning at the George Washington Bridge, the Lincoln Tunnel, and the Holland Tunnel, also the Gothels Bridge and the Outer Bridge Crossing and the Bayonne Bridge. Now, your normal Sunday parking rules are in effect for today. We go to New Jersey and uh, You'll find a pretty good go on the Garden State Parkway and the New Jersey Turnpike. Later on today, it'll be the Jets and the Arizona Cardinals at the Meadowlands just after 1 o'clock as game time gets closer. Look for slowdowns on the New Jersey Turnpike, Route 3, Route 17, and Route 120. Now here's the latest from the WCBS Weather Center. We'll see some dense fog for a time this morning, so take it easy if you're out driving. Otherwise, some drizzle as well. Later today, the clouds remain, but we turn milder, a high of 55. Be a shower or two this evening, otherwise staying cloudy tonight, low 48. But the sun is back out tomorrow. We'll be warm, a high of 60. Won't feel like December on Tuesday either with clouds breaking for some sun, a high of 64. I'm meteorologist Bill Dagger in the WCBS Weather Center. It is foggy right now. It is 41 degrees in Central. Central Park. WCBS News Time, 6.30. News, traffic, and weather. On air, online. We are News Radio. WCBS 880. Good Sunday morning, 2nd of December. I'm Alex Silverman. Here's the latest from the WCBS Newsroom. Friends and family on Long Island remember the Kansas City Chiefs player who killed his girlfriend and himself. Everyone was always like, he's the greatest linebacker that ever was here. Tolls to cross the Hudson yet again have gone up. Live report coming up. 
A tunnel collapses, crushing cars in Japan. They have now found or at least seen some charred bodies inside this tunnel. And in five minutes, why a senator from our area jumped into a freezing lake. Cold air, cold water, but very warm heart. Sports, the Heat beat the Nets, 102-89. to Today, it's the Jets and Cardinals at MetLife. 1 o'clock is the kickoff. WCBS News Time 631. The Kansas City Chiefs player who killed his girlfriend then shot himself in the head in front of his coach was from West Babylon, Long Island. A group of Jovan Belcher's relatives gathered at his mother's house yesterday. CBS 2's Drew Levinson spoke with one student who went to his high school. People thought it was it was sad, and a lot of people looked up to him, too. I was like a football player because he made it out of West Babylon. It was a big deal that he was an NFL player and came out of here? Yeah, it was. Everyone was always like, he's the greatest linebacker that ever was here. Everyone, like, every linebacker always looked up to him here. As night came at Belcher's boyhood home, a party atmosphere emerged. There was loud hip-hop music. His family turned the front yard into a shrine with a big poster of the linebacker trophies and jerseys from teams he's played for. Well, it feels like just yesterday we were talking about the tolls going up at the Hudson Crossings. Well, now it has happened again. WCBS reporter Monica Miller is hanging out along the Jersey Turnpike this morning. Monica, are people surprised by this? Not at all. I mean, drivers here I've been speaking with at the Vince Lombardi rest stop said that they know that this has been coming, but they all agree on one thing. The toll hikes stink. The Port Authority implemented a second of five increments, and this means that off-peak and peak easy pass rates have jumped up 75% for cars and a buck for cash payers. But truck drivers say they're really getting pinched. It's costing them an extra $10 to drive their five-axle trucks across the Hudson River crossings at peak hours. Now, Port Authority lawyers say that the toll hikes are sorely needed to offset the cost of security projects due to the 9-11 attacks. But truck drivers, the heat from Yonkers says that the agency is driving him out of business. On the New Jersey Turnpike, Monica Miller, WCBS, ADD News. Well, they're worried about landslides and floods in Northern California with another huge storm dumping rain on the area. CBS's Carter Evans says they are also worried about wine. Vineyard after vineyard was underwater. And it's really hard to assess how much damage there is right now because when I was making that trip, that was before this third round of the storm had really started in earnest. Now it's underway, and I don't think we'll know how bad it really is until first flight. And then this rain is going to continue for some time after that. It's the third in a string of powerful weather systems to hit wine country since Wednesday. Rescuers can't get into a car tunnel that has collapsed in Japan, about 50 miles west of Tokyo, but they think people are dead inside. They have now found or at least seen some charred bodies inside this tunnel. They're having difficulty accessing the section of the tunnel that's collapsed, but they've got access to CCTV cameras, and we think that it's through these cameras that they've managed to ascertain that there are bodies in there. Sky News reporter Mark Stone says it looks like cement roof panels fell on several cars. Well, North Korea says it will try again. President Kim Jong-un said his country will test another long-range rocket this month. North Korea describes it as an observation space satellite similar to one launched in April. But South Korean and Washington officials said it is anything but. South Korea charged it's really a long-range missile in disguise. CBS's Anna Werner reporting from Washington. As some local leaders in New Jersey got on a bus to see how shore towns are doing, our Levon Putney spoke with some business owners they met there. As the bus tour rolled through Lava Lead, yet another hard-hit shore community with people's lives sitting in curbside piles in front of what used to be their homes, some businessmen were flagging us down as we passed. We followed the bus, it stopped here, and then we got out. And why? Why? Why chase us down? Because we have a lot of questions that need to be answered. James Short co-owns Lava Lead Pizza in the oven with Manny Ioso, who says the Small Business Administration told them barrier island businesses cannot qualify qualify for federal aid. Voting a uh, Coastal Barrier Resource Act. Well, he says they can't afford to stay open without government help. Once I'm done gutting the store and removing the mud, I'm done right there. It says they'll pay the bills and try to reopen in 2014. I believe most of the small businesses are in that predicament. In Normandy Beach, Levon Putney, WCBS 880 News. WCBS News Time 634. Why a senator from our area took a leap into a freezing lake. Next. Inhabitants of Earth, you can run, but you cannot what are you doing? I'm oh, watching Netflix on my smartphone, dude. What? I can instantly watch as many TV episodes and movies as I want. You don't fear for your life? Yeah, not really. Our atmosphere is eventually going to kill you anyway. Nonsense. Our anatomy is... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Faster than I thought. Instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on all kinds of devices for only 8 bucks a month with Netflix. Start your free trial today. See terms of use. 
Honey, we really didn't have the budget for you to take yoga classes. Every day, CBS Local Offers helps New Yorkers enjoy the best dining, shopping, shows, and more. It was 50% off through CBS Local Offers. They have a great deal like that every day. Save 50% on weekday and night lift tickets at Shawnee Mountain Ski Area. Open your media player and click on the banner to get today's great deal. Hurry, these offers are only available for a short time at cbsnewyork.com slash offers. Richard Blumenthal, senator from Connecticut, has jumped into a frozen lake. What better way to endure a few cold or frigid moments for a great cause? That cause? The Special Olympics. The Coventry Penguin Plunge is one of several events like this around the state that benefit the Games. So how did it feel? It was cold, cold air, cold water, but very warm hearts, a lot of high-spirited and warm enthusiasm. One thing the senator is not so enthusiastic about, energy drinks. Energy drinks are marketed as dietary supplements, so they aren't bound by FDA guidelines. But now the agency is taking a look. Connecticut Senator Richard Blumenthal is concerned about excessive levels of caffeine. Especially when combined with the supplements and additives and other ingredients that may exacerbate the caffeine. There are options short of an outright ban. Limiting age levels, providing better warnings. Most consumers of these products are teenagers. In Bridgeport, Peter Haskell, WCBS ADD News. WCBS News Time 637. Getting gifts for the sports fan in your life has never been easier this holiday season thanks to CBS Locals Fan Shop. We've got the jerseys and gear for almost every team in any sport. And if you visit CBS Locals Fan Shop today through the end of the year and enter the promo code HOLIDAY10, you'll get an additional 10% off your purchase. Visit CBSLocalFanshop.com today and use the promo code HOLIDAY10 to save even more from CBS Locals Fan Shop. WCBS News Time 637, sponsored by BMW, the ultimate driving machine. WCBS 880, because it matters where you get your weather. I like Craig Allen. A massive line of thunderstorms right now. The worst of them are up around the... WCBS veteran Craig Allen and CBS 2, the weather team you can count on. WCBS News Time 638. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the 8th. We start off in the traffic center with Ken Daniels. All right, let's uh, talk about Rock of the Westchester County. We've had some difficulty there with some accident activity. One thing you'll have to remember, and you don't even have to remember it if you will walk out into it, you've got the foggy conditions, very dense fog throughout the tri-state area. Uh, Cross County Parkway, your eastbound side into the area of Yonkers Avenue. There's still an accident there blocking two lanes. Also, on uh, the New England Thruway northbound of Chatsworth Avenue, a crash that's blocking at least one lane there in Larchmont. And then the New York, New York State Thruway, at least better. Uh, southbound into the Tappan Zee Bridge. Accident there has been cleared. We have a speed restriction at the Tappan Zee of 45 mi- mi- miles an hour. They could re- re- make it 35, but right now I look hearing that it's 45. And then we go to Connecticut on the Connecticut Turnpike and Merritt Parkway. Overall, uh, doing okay. Same on Long Island on the LIE Northern State and Southern State. The one good thing with all these foggy conditions, not all that many cars on the roadway on this early Sunday morning. It'd be a different issue during a morning drive during the week, that's for sure. And the five boroughs overall, not too bad. Cross the Hudson, minor delay It'll cost you, though. The tolls went up this morning at the George Washington Bridge, the Lincoln and the Holland. Same thing at the Gothels, Bayonne, and Outer Bridge Crossing in New Jersey. We'll have delays later on today uh, with the Jets and the Arizona Cardinals at the Meadowlands. Route 3, Route 17, 120, the New Jersey Turnpike uh, for traffic. The usual suspects there. Our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. Weather Center now. Bill Dagger has the forecast with the fog settling over the five boroughs in the surrounding area. We'll see some dense fog for a time this morning, so take it easy if you're out driving. Otherwise, some drizzle as well. Later today, the clouds remain, but we turn milder, a high of 55. It'll be a shower or two this evening. Otherwise, staying cloudy tonight, low 48, but the sun is back out tomorrow. We'll be warm, a high of 60. Won't feel like December on Tuesday either with clouds breaking for some sun, a high of 64. I'm meteorologist Bill Dagger in the WCBS Weather Center. 41 right now, foggy at Teterboro. Actually, foggy everywhere we see a reading here. Kennedy, 42. LaGuardia, 42. Central Park, 41 degrees under that fog. WCBS News Time, 640. Is that reference on your resume really going to help? They can backfire, you know. It's next in the Osgood file. Years ago, my doctor told me to take a Centrum Silver multivitamin every day. I tell him, sure. Can't hurt, right? 
Then I heard this news about a multivitamin study looking at long-term health benefits for men over 50. And the multivitamin they used for the study? Centrum Silver. Hey, that's what I take. My doctor, he really knows his stuff. The most recommended, most preferred, most studied. Centrum, always your most complete. A prior formula of Centrum Silver was used in the study. How far would you go to help save someone's life? How about to your garage? If you have an unneeded vehicle, donate it to the Salvation Army. They'll pick it up for free, and the proceeds from its sale will help someone in the grip of addiction reclaim his life. To donate your vehicle, call 1-800-SA-TRUCK or visit satruck.org. You will be doing the most good. WCBS News Time 641. The Osgood File. This is Charles Osgood. These are still tough times for job seekers, no matter how good your credentials, experience, and references may be. And speaking of references, they can backfire, you know. That is what CareerBuilder found in a new survey. There sometimes is that wrong assumption that, well, I'm just going to list this and it's a formality and it's not something that the employer is actually going to follow up on. Don't kid yourself, says career builder Jennifer Grass. The vast majority of employers, 80% of them, in fact, said they do contact references, and some will do it even before they call the candidate for a job interview. And so the references do matter. A reference really does often affect an employer's decision on whether to hire someone, or just as often, not to. 62% of employers said they've had an experience where they contacted a reference listed on the application, and the reference didn't have good things to say about the candidate. Then you've got another 29% saying that they've actually caught a fake reference on a candidate's application. Jennifer Grass says that a reference can sometimes change a prospective employer's mind about a candidate for better or worse. 69% of employers said they have changed their minds about a candidate after speaking with a reference. And 47% reported they had a less favorable opinion. 23% said they had a more favorable opinion. Your old boss or co-workers may not have had as high an opinion of you as you thought they did. So you should avoid having them ambushed by some company asking specifics about what you did and how good you were at it. It's important to let your former colleagues know that you'll be listing them as a reference. If they're not willing to do it, it enables you to avoid a potentially awkward situation if an employer calls that person. So you want to make sure that you've got the right people in your corner championing your skills and experience. The Osgood File. Transcripts, podcasts, and MP3s of these programs can be found at theosgoodfile.com. This is Charles Osgood on the CBS Radio Network. WCBS News Time 643. For the Jewish Communal Fund, Sandy Weil, respected New York philanthropist, talks about his personal connection to charitable giving. It's uh, fantastic to be able to give something back to our society, a society that's been so very good to us. I know my wife and I spend uh, a lot of our time working on various charities with our time as well as with our money. If charitable giving is an important part of your life, the Jewish Communal Fund can help you simplify your giving by means of a donor-advised fund. A fund can be established with a tax deductible contribution of $5,000. Support the charities you care about while getting the highest tax deduction allowed by law. I've had a, a fund with the Jewish Communal Fund for more than 20 years. I think that the service is fantastic. You feel very good that your money is being managed properly and it's in good hands and they're very punctual when you ask them to send it someplace. Let the Jewish Communal Fund be your personal connection to charitable giving. To open a fund, call 866-580-4JCF or visit jcfny.org. When disasters like Sandy devastate communities, it's the blood that is already on the shelves that helps save lives. Sandy is a reminder that we are a community of people and need each other to survive. Schedule an appointment today to donate blood or platelets by visiting redcrossblood.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS. A message from WCBS 880 and CBS Cares. WCBS 880, because it matters where you get your news. CBS is great for local news, as well as weather and traffic updates. I love that a lot. Oh, absolutely. You know, it helps me get through the thickest of traffic. I think the uh, weather is the most accurate of all the stations. The personalities feel like real people, friends that I can talk to. I trust what they're going to say, and they let me know what I need to know each time I turn on. Listen to WCBS every day. It is foggy out there this morning. Can hardly see across the Hudson. 42 degrees at LaGuardia. 41 right now in Central Park. Fog will be dense this morning. Maybe some drizzle around. Mostly cloudy otherwise. Mild today. 55. Passing shower or two this evening. 
Cloudy, down to 48 degrees. That'll be our low, just 48. And tomorrow, partly sunny, warm, 60. It'll get up to 60 tomorrow. Five-day forecast in three minutes. At 880 on your AM dial and live on your computer and smartphone at cbsnewyork.com. When you need to know, we've got you covered. I'm Alex Silverman. Good Sunday morning. Coming up on WCBS, some hard-hit beaches are already getting beefed up in New Jersey thanks to a lucky coincidence. I'll tell you how that worked out in about five minutes. Business news in 10 minutes with Dow up four, S&P up a fraction, NASDAQ down two on Friday on those fiscal cliff worries. Sports right now, 645. Gary Stanley's here. All right, Alex, well, college football good to the very last drop in Atlanta last night. Ten seconds, nine, eight in the game, seven, fade route, corner, caught and down at the five, That's it. That's four, it. three, two, one, Alabama wins! Alabama wins! And the Crimson Tide will play again, and they'll play for all the marbles. On January 7th against Notre Dame for the national championship, final moments of last night, Seesaw 32-28 to win over Georgia, courtesy of the Alabama Radio Network. Quite a game indeed. Crimson Tide winning the SEC championship, and they will try to win the national title for the third time in four years. NFL Sunday, Jets and the Cardinals, MetLife Stadium, one o'clock this afternoon. Both teams with a less than scintillating uh, identical 4-7 and seven records, both facing extinction with the loss. Giants play the Redskins in the Monday night game in Washington. NBA, the Nets see their five-game winning streak come to an end in Miami. They lose to the Heat 102-89. to Nets blowing a nine-point halftime lead. Dwayne Wade, 34 for Miami. LeBron James, 21. The Nets led by Andre Bloch, who had 20 points and eight rebounds. Knicks and the Phoenix Suns this afternoon, 12 noon at the Garden. Knicks with a chance to take over first place once again in the Atlantic Division. College basketball yesterday, St. John's rallying from 12 points down at the half and they beat New Jersey Tech 57-49. Rutgers lost at Mississippi 80-67. Fordham losing to Harvard 73-64 this afternoon, Manhattan at GW. And soccer, the LA Galaxy win the MLS championship topping Houston 3-1. Sports sponsored by Cars.com. Cars.com is confident that the East Coast will bounce back better than before the storm to all their customers and employees that have been affected they'll be there when you need them cars.com confidence comes standard sports at 15 and 45 gary stanley wcbs news radio 880 wcbs news time on a sunday morning 6 47 weeknights on wcbs it's the cbs evening news with scott Pelley your radio. Tonight, the president fires back. Get caught up on the top stories of the day. The dark skies over the economic recovery. Plus, CBS correspondents with their finger on the pulse in Washington and around the world. Top Senate aides tell me that. The president said for the first time. An angry crowd outside a hospital in Gaza. Listen to the CBS Evening News. Weeknights at 6.30. Only on WCBS 880. WCBS News Time 648. Traffic and weather together on the 8th is sponsored by Melrose Credit Union. That fog is, I'm sure, causing problems out there, Ken Daniels. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the biggest issue has been uh, Rock on the Westchester County uh, with the fog, you would imagine, causing some of these problems because the visibility is very, very poor. And we've had a 45 mile per hour speed restriction at the Tabot Z Bridge, and we've had a lot of accident activity. Now, the good news right now is that all of those accidents have been cleared, so things are moving better. But once again, try to sit this out a little bit longer. Wait till some of this fog lifts. Cross County Parkway eastbound into the New York State Thruway, the accident cleared. Uh, we got the New York State Thruway southbound into the Tappan Zee Bridge with the accident gone. 45 mile per hour speed restriction at the bridge though still. And the New England Thruway north by the Chatsworth Avenue, accident cleared there as well. Now we're okay in Connecticut on the Connecticut Turnpike and Merritt Parkway. Looking good on Long Island on the LIE Northern State and Southern State. Throughout the five boroughs, not too bad. So once again, not all that much traffic out there because it's an early Sunday. But if you are out there, You'll notice uh, the pea soup fog and very poor visibility with limited sight distance. Now, uh, normal Sunday parking rules are in effect for today. A little bit later on, 1 o'clock game time for the Jets and the Arizona Cardinals at the Meadowlands. As game time gets closer, we'll be talking about delays on Route 3, Route 17, 120, and the New Jersey Turnpike. Our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. 
Pea soup is right to the Weather Center now. Five-day forecast. Here's Bill Dagger. Areas of dense fog across the Tri-State area this morning. We could see visibilities below a quarter mile for a time, so please take it easy if you're out driving. And later today, we'll stay cloudy. It will turn milder, though, a high of 55. Then a few showers can move through this evening. Mostly cloudy later tonight, low 48. Rather warm to start your work week tomorrow and Tuesday with partial sunshine. Up to 60 tomorrow. How about 64 for a high on Tuesday? Then a little cooler on Wednesday with a shower or two in the morning as the front moves through. Then some sunshine, a high of 52. Sunshine and chilly for Thursday, a high of 42. I'm meteorologist Bill Dagger in the WCBS Weather Center. Right now in Farmingdale, fog and 42. Fog just about everywhere we look. 39 in White Plains, 40 at Newark, 41 degrees in Central Park. WCBS News Time 650. Inhabitants of Earth, you can run, but you cannot what are you doing? I'm oh, watching Netflix on my smartphone, dude. What? I can instantly watch as many TV episodes and movies as I want. You don't fear for your life? Yeah, not really. Our atmosphere is eventually going to kill you anyway. Nonsense. Our anatomy is... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Faster than I thought. Instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on all kinds of devices for only 8 bucks a month with Netflix. Start your free trial today. See terms of use. WCBS Sports, news, traffic, business I like the station, you have a good mix of things Because it matters where you get your news WCBS News Time 651 There is already work happening to fill in some of the hardest hit beaches on the Jersey Shore Our Jim Smith says it's a happy coincidence. The more than $8 million project to restore the coastline in Monmouth Beach was approved weeks before Sandy even developed as part of a six- to eight-year maintenance cycle. Congressman Frank Pallone says the timing could not have been any better. Many of those beaches uh, really were heavily damaged by by Hurricane Sandy. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers already has shovels in the ground. Pallone says piling on sand for a critical boost in height. When the beaches uh, don't have the elevation... They don't provide the protection that they would normally. Pallone says the project is starting in Monmouth Beach, heading north to Seabright, bolstering the defense of a weakened shoreline. In New Jersey, Jim Smith, WCBS 880 News. So many local businesses are struggling to recover after Sandy, but on Long Island, at least one is accused of trying to take advantage of the situation. Sophia Hall has that report. Town of Hempstead Supervisor Kate Murray said an Oceanside Long Island company is making things even more difficult for the victims of Sandy. Murray said the company My Expediter LLC is trying to scam residents. She said they illegally took the town's letterhead and put their advertisement underneath, claiming for 499 bucks they will help you get the permits you need to rebuild your home. Murray said the company has nothing to do with the town. And there is absolutely no permit fees. We have waived them all for renovations or rebuilds. All they have to do is come into our building department. The Nassau DA's office is looking into Kate Murray's claims. My expediter LLC did not return my calls for comment. Sophia Hall, WCBS 880 News. The strike at the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach, California, continues, despite the renewed efforts to end that walkout. Seven of eight terminals in L.A. and three of six in Long Beach were closed to cargo container traffic on Friday. Dock workers are refusing to cross picket lines, rather, set up by 800 union workers. Union says shippers are outsourcing their jobs. Cost of that strike, estimated at a billion dollars a day. It's rather stunning the amount of business that these two ports do. These are the two largest container ports in North America. They are together the uh, rough equivalent of the seventh busiest harbor in the world for container cargo. It's LA Times business reporter Ron White, who's been covering the strike at the country's biggest cargo complex. <laughs> The world's first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier has been retired from active service in the Navy after 51 years. USS Enterprise was retired at the Naval Station Norfolk in Virginia. Thousands of former crew members, shipbuilders, and their families lined up here to bid farewell to one of the most decorated ships in the Navy, served in every major conflict since a blockade during the Cuban Missile Crisis. In Egypt, after the revolution that took down longtime ruler Hosni Mubarak, that country's new president says they'll vote on a new constitution there later this month, drafted by an assembly that's been stacked with allies of Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi. There's aspects of it that are 
engendering enormous opposition from secular forces. There's a great deal of unease about the lack of specificity on the rights of women, the rights of workers. There's ambiguity about the role of Sharia law, Islamic law, in the Constitution. It's Phyllis Bennis with the Institute for Policy Studies. The Pentagon's top lawyer says the war on terror is not an endless conflict. The U.S. is approaching a tipping point. After that, the military fight against al-Qaeda will be replaced by a law enforcement operation. Here's CBS's Larry Miller. The administration's chief Pentagon lawyer says the core of al-Qaeda is degraded, disorganized, and on the run. But Jay Johnson told an Oxford University audience the war on terror isn't over. And with al-Qaeda and its affiliates still dangerous, it's not even the beginning of the end. Yet Johnson insists the conflict is not open-ended. And once the tipping point has been reached, when al-Qaeda is unable to attack the U.S., the military will hand responsibility for counterterrorism to law enforcement agencies. Larry Miller, CBS News, London. WCBS News Time 655. Business now with the Dow up four points, S&P up a fraction, NASDAQ down two to close out Friday. I'm Paul Murnane with Dish and Digital, sponsored by B&H Photo and Video, New York's ultimate camera authority. To give a tablet this holiday season, the biggest bang for your buck may not be an iPad. For my money, I would be putting it on a Nexus 7. So that's a pure Android tablet, and it's it's much, much cheaper. That's Darren Murph, managing editor at Engadget. John Rettinger, president at Techno Buffalo, also likes the 7-inch Nexus 7 and the 10-inch Nexus 10. The official Google-sanctioned product, I think, offered the best unadulterated Android experience uh, for my money. And especially the Nexus 7 coming in under 200 bucks uh, is a great present for the holidays. But Darren says stay away from the current crop of Windows RT tablets. Basically, this is Microsoft's attempt to get a tablet out for the holidays that can do all this. And that's about where the party ends. More of our Dish and Digital Guide to the Holidays next time. Dish and Digital, I'm Paul Bernane. For more, visit cbsnewyork.com slash Dish and Digital. Usually when there's a standoff between police and a suspect, everyone watching has to guess what they're saying to each other. Not in this case. Frank James MacArthur is in Baltimore police custody, and what makes that newsworthy is not the alleged crime involved, but the negotiations that led to his surrender. MacArthur is a web-savvy blogger, and he webcast those negotiations for anybody who wanted to listen. At one point, telling those web listeners he was surrounded by a bunch of men with guns. Oh yes, he was wanted on a warrant from his probation agent stemming from a 2009 gun case. Tom Fody, CBS News. WCBS News Time 657. Straight ahead, we'll hit traffic and weather together. Then Patty Steele's in with the Sunday morning top stories. At highway speeds, the average text takes your eyes off the road for about five seconds. That's enough time to travel the length of a football field. Stop texts, stoprex.org. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Keep. WCBS News Time 658. Traffic and weather together on the 8th. Kicking us off is Ken Daniels. Uh, the speed restriction at the Tappanzee Bridge, 45 miles per hour, had a bunch of issues in Rockland and Westchester with accidents. They've all been cleared, but the visibility very poor with all this dense fog. We're better now on the New York State Thruway, Cross County Parkway, and the New England Thruway. All of them had some accident activity just a little while ago. Looks all right in Connecticut on the Connecticut Turnpike and Merritt Parkway. Fine on Long Island on the LIE Northern State and Southern State. Not all that much traffic out there on this early Sunday, which is good. Uh, with the visibility being what it is. And then we go to the five boroughs. Overall, not bad. Cross the Hudson River. It's minor delays. Of course, the toll increase kicked into effect at 3 a.m. So the higher tolls of the George Washington Bridge, Lincoln, and the Holland. Also, the Outer Bridge crossing the Bayonne and the Gothels Bridge. In New Jersey, okay right now, but you'll see some slowdowns, uh, well, just uh, not all that long away, a few hours away. Uh, for the Jets and the Arizona Cardinals at the Meadowlands, Route 3, Route 17, 120, and the New Jersey Turnpike will see some extra traffic. Now, here's the latest from the WCBS Weather Center. It's a foggy, drizzly start to your Sunday, and later today will warm up despite clouds hanging on a high of 55. It'll be a shower or two this evening, otherwise mostly cloudy tonight as well, low 48. But the sun's back out tomorrow, we're up to 60. I'm meteorologist Bill Dagger in the WCBS Weather Center. That fog is hanging thick outside the broadcast center. It is 41 degrees right now in Manhattan. News, traffic, and weather on air, online. We are News Radio, WCBS, New York. 
Good morning. It's Sunday, December 2nd. I'm Patty Steele. Here's the latest from the WCBS Newsroom. Tolls went up at the Hudson River crossings at 3 this morning. We'll have a live report. Investigators looking at a freight train derailment and chemical spill in South Jersey that sickened dozens and displaced more than 100. There are health hazards still to deal with in thousands of homes impacted by Hurricane Sandy. New York State hiring 1,000 counselors to help storm victims recover emotionally. Kansas City Chiefs player and Long Island native Jovan Belcher shot his girlfriend to death yesterday before killing himself. In sports, Nets lost to the Heat 102 to 89. Jets host Arizona at 1. Giants play Redskins tomorrow in Monday Night Football. WCBS News Time, 7 o'clock. CBS News, I'm Heather Bosch. A joint U.S. Afghan base attacked, leading to a bloody two hour battle. Al Jazeera's Bernard Smith reports. The assault, we're told, involved nine Taliban fighters in all, all of them wearing suicide vests. But NATO forces and Afghan forces said that they prevented the attackers getting in to the base proper and all were killed in the ensuing gun battle. Nine insurgents, four Afghan special forces and two civilians died. We got some uh, ISAF troops who were wounded. But Brigadier General Gunter Katz doesn't say how many international troops were hurt. CBS News military analyst Mike Lyons. Attacks in multiple layers continues to erode away at uh, the Afghan security forces who just can't seem to put up a perimeter far enough outside to prevent these kinds of attacks from happening. I'm Peter Mayer at the White House. It's one of the president's biggest defense decisions. How many troops will remain in Afghanistan past 2014 when the U.S. plans to end its combat role there? White House spokesman Jay Carney said troop levels are under review, but the post-2014 mission will be clear. That commitment and that presence would be very limited in scope, as we've talked about, focused on counterterrorism operations and training of Afghan forces. The president and his advisors will evaluate Pentagon and intelligence reports on the future of the U.S. presence in Afghanistan. Peter Mayer, CBS News, the White House. At least three charred bodies have been found in a tunnel that collapsed in Japan. There was a fire. The people that we think died were killed as a result of that fire, but it's not clear whether the fire caused the roof collapse or the other way around. Sky News' Mark Stone says about 330 feet came down inside that tunnel 50 miles west of Tokyo. Here in the U.S., investigators are looking into whether a track signal malfunction had anything to do with the train derailment that released hazardous chemicals into the air. Seven cars derailed Friday in southern New Jersey. Some people reported health problems, but authorities say there were no major injuries. There's still an evacuation order in place around the side of the wreck while it's being cleaned up. A third major storm in several days expected to hit Northern California tonight. Richard Bond with the National Weather Service. Probably on the order of another two to four inches of rain could fall. Flood warnings have been issued for the Napa and Russian rivers. Kansas City Chiefs linebacker Jovan Belcher being remembered today. We're going to pray for Jovan. We're going to pray for, for, for Jovan's family. And it's, it's a real difficult time. Jack Cosgrove was Belcher's coach at the University of Maine. Belcher fatally shot himself outside the Chiefs' headquarters yesterday. Police say he had just killed his girlfriend. The biggest college football matchup of the year is set after Alabama defeated Georgia last night. Here's the MVP. It was a great game, a hard-fought game. We knew we had to play for 60, and we came out and did it. Alabama will take on undefeated Notre Dame. This is CBS News. Do you feel tired or run down? Is a lack of energy making you feel old? It's not your fault. You could be one of the millions of Americans who aren't getting enough magnesium in your diet. If this sounds like you, you're invited to call for a risk-free trial of MagnaBoost, an exclusive formula clinically shown to help increase magnesium levels. With MagnaBoost, you can feel more energy again, energy that lasts all day long. Best of all, when compared to other magnesium products, MagnaBoost is clinically shown to absorb better in your body. MagnaBoost works, and you won't find this formula anywhere else. Call to try MagnaBoost risk-free. Just call 1-800-852-5703. That's 1-800-852-5703. Hurry, this exclusive offer won't last long. Just call 1-800-852-5703. That's 1-800-852-5703. Live from Studio 11A at the CBS Hudson Square Broadcast Center, we are News Radio, WCBS HD and WCBS FM HD3 New York. 
41 degrees. We have cloudy skies, dense fog out there. It's going up to 55 in New York City today. We're going to hit the mid-60s by Tuesday. WCBS News Time 704. Well, toll hikes took effect at 3 o'clock this morning. Lots of grumbles. WCBS reporter Monica Miller joins us from the very foggy New Jersey Turnpike. Well, right, Kayla, it is just is starting to break here on this foggy Sunday morning. But for some drivers here at the Vince Lombardi service area, they tell me they're already having a bad day now that the second of five toll increases have taken effect. Off-peak and peak easy pass drivers are facing a 75% increase for cars. Truck drivers now have to pay $60 for easy pass subscribers and 75 for big rig drivers paying cash to use Port Authority Hudson River crossings. One truck driver just explained to me that not only is his business in jeopardy, but consumers will feel the pinch since moving merchandise has become so expensive. The transit agency says that the reason for the toll increases is to offset costs on security projects due to the 9-11 attacks. On the New Jersey Turnpike, Monica Miller, WCBS 880 News. Well, starting tomorrow, the ferry service temporarily operating out of the Gateway National Recreation Area on Staten Island will be making slight adjustments to its daily schedule. The last two boats leaving Great Kills in the morning and the last two boats leaving Manhattan in the evening will be shoving off 10 minutes later than previously. The 8.40 a.m. boat will leave Great Kills at 8.50. 9.10 boat will leave at 9.20. In the evening, the 6.55 boat from Manhattan will depart at 7.05 and the 7.25 at 7.35. The New York Water Taxi operates six trips in the morning beginning at 6.30 and six returning from Manhattan beginning at 4.45 Monday through Friday. The service is subsidized with post-Sandy relief funds and costs two bucks for a one-way ride. Investigators in Paulsboro, New Jersey are trying to find out what exactly made a freight train derail, sending hazardous chemicals into the air. There may have been a problem with a signal before the train derailed on a New Jersey bridge. Meantime, Coast Guard Captain Kathy Moore says efforts to check air safety in the impacted area continue. Air monitoring teams are stationed throughout Paulsboro to check air quality on a continuous basis. Dozens of people were sickened after the Friday accident. More than 100 in southern New Jersey remained out of their homes yesterday as officials tried to clear the hazardous gas that spewed from that ruptured freight train car. Hurricane Sandy may be more than a month in the past, but hazards still linger in damaged homes. WCBS reporter Jim Smith has details. Eddie Seaman says he had no choice but to stay in his damaged, unheated home in New Door Beach, Staten Island. Because uh, FEMA couldn't find for me any hotel. Forced to turn to a wood-burning stove for heat, then what little remained of his home went up in flames. The city health department says more than 12,000 people may be trying to survive without heat. Salvatore Barcia, a volunteer with the New York State Nursing Association going door-to-door, says he sees it all the time on Staten Island. There's no hotel for these people to go, and there's many who don't have family on the island. The health department is urging residents especially the elderly, to find alternate housing. ER visits related to cold temperatures doubled last month compared to previous years. And health officials say damaged homes also pose threats from mold and dust. Jim Smith, WCBS 880 News. A crisis counselor may be knocking on your door soon. Nassau and Suffolk counties are getting $2.84 million in federal funds to help people deal with mental health issues caused by Superstorm Sandy. The grants are part of an $8.2 million program called Project Hope, funded by FEMA, which will hire 1,000 counselors in New York City, Long Island, and the Lower Hudson Valley. Counselors who do not have to be mental health professionals must participate in a day-long training session. They'll go into ravaged communities to offer support to victims and try to identify those who may be vulnerable to depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, or substance abuse. WCBS News Time 708. Time for traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the 8s. We're sponsored by the Jewish Communal Fund. Let's go to Ken Daniels in the traffic center. All right, fog, the big issue. Uh, speed uh, restrictions because of that. Very poor visibility. The Outer Bridge crossing, the Bayonne Bridge, and the Gothels Bridge, all with 35 mile per hour speed restrictions. It'll cost you more there, too. The toll increase went into effect at 3 a.m. Also, the toll increase at the Holland, the Lincoln, and the George Washington Bridge. Now, minor delays at all three of those. You got your normal Sunday parking rules in effect for 
for today. Uh, we go to central New Jersey and northern New Jersey, too. Both of those looking okay on uh, the Garden State Parkway and the New Jersey Turnpike. Later today, uh, watch for slowdowns on Route 3, Route 17, 120, and the New Jersey Turnpike heading for the Meadowlands with the Jets and the Arizona Cardinals there uh, just after 1 o'clock this afternoon. There is some construction on Route 17 southbound in Hasbro Heights at Route 46. you got a right lane and shoulder blockage until further notice. And then Rock of the West, Chester County, we're moving along now on the New York State Thruway each way into the Tappan Zee. 45 mile per hour speed restriction at the bridge because of the poor visibility, which once again is the big issue this morning. I can barely see out there uh, with the thick fog. Some earlier accident activity cleared in Rock of the West, Chester on the New York State Thruway and the New England Thruway. And our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. And we got a look at the very mild forecast with meteorologist Bill Dager. It is a very mild forecast. The uh, next couple of days, our normal high for this time of year is in the upper 40s. We're going to best that by up to 15 degrees the next couple of days. This morning, though, we are dealing with some dense fog, so take it easy out there. Later today, clouds and mild are a high of 55. Tonight, there could be a passing shower early, then clouds a low of 48. The warmth begins tomorrow, a high of 60, partly sunny. Tuesday, up to 64 with some sunshine. Then a front moves through Wednesday, could be a shower early, then some sunshine. Sunshine late, a high of 52. Back to reality Thursday, sunshine and chilly, a high of 42. Right now, foggy and 41 in Midtown. Temperatures across the Tri-State area range from 34 at Waterbury to 43 in Hampton Bays. We'll reach a high of 55 in Midtown. I'm meteorologist Bill Dagger in the WCBS Weather Center. WCBS News Time, 710. Inhabitants of Earth, you can run, but you cannot what are you doing? I'm watching Netflix on my smartphone, dude. What? I can instantly watch as many TV episodes and movies as I want. You don't fear for your life? Yeah, not really. Our atmosphere is eventually going to kill you anyway. Nonsense. Our anatomy is... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Faster than I thought. Instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on all kinds of devices for only 8 bucks a month with Netflix. Start your free trial today. See terms of use. Learn graphic design fast at Shillington School. Choose three months full-time or one year part-time because a world-class education needn't take forever. Visit Shillington for an info session to meet current graduates and learn more about graphic design. The info session will be held December 7th at 6 p.m. across from Grand Central at 315 Madison Avenue. More info is available online at shillingtonschool.com or by calling 212-682-6611. Starting with no prior experience, you will graduate with a professional portfolio and an in-depth knowledge of design theory and the Adobe Creative Suite. The course is taught by outstanding designers in an inspirational environment. Check out Shillington at the info session on December 7th or stop by anytime to find out more. Visit shillingtonschool.com or call 212-682-6611. That's shillingtonschool.com or 212-682-6611. At Shillington, make creativity your career. WCBS News Time, 711. It's been a heartbreaking year for the Heckman family on Long Island. Because of Sandy, they're homeless, and most importantly, they're caring for their six year old, Stephen Heckman, who's been diagnosed with le- leukemia. Sophia Hall has the story. Because of the cost of caring for their six year old son, Stephen, who was diagnosed last year with leukemia and is undergoing chemotherapy treatments, the Heckmans had to move into a relative's house in Amity Harbor, Long Island. Then Sandy hit their home. Furniture, clothing, children's toys destroyed. Now Danielle, her husband, and their three children, including little Stephen, are all living in a friend's apartment. My husband, myself, and my three children are sharing a queen-size air mattress. But even though Danielle is going through so much and needs to rebuild her home, she is also thinking about others and urges people to get registered with DKMS Bone Marrow Registry Center. We can send them the cheek swabs to their house. Said Alina Supernova from DKMS. So Sophia Hall, WCBS 880 News. WCBS News Time 712. Lots of concern about Lady Liberty during Hurricane Sandy as she stood vigil out there in the harbor. WCBS reporter Jim Smith tells us how she fared. About 75% of Liberty Island was flooded out during Sandy. That includes information and administration buildings. The island's electrical system was soaked and the superintendent's home destroyed. Walkways, fences and docks also need repairs. In the past month, crews have been hard at work clearing debris and downed trees. A generator is needed to illuminate Lady Liberty. 
Superintendent David Lusinger says the effort could take months and his home may not be rebuilt, forcing him to live off the island. Sandy hit a day after the Crown was scheduled to reopen as part of a $30 million upgrade. Lady Liberty survived Sandy just fine, but her home needs some TLC. Jim Smith, WCBS 880 News. WCBS News Time 713. We will have sports in just a moment. Need a great place to watch your favorite teams in New Jersey? Join Miller Lite at Water Street, located at 4 Robbins Parkway in Tom's River, for great Miller Draft and Bottle Specials. Water Street has been completely renovated with 21 new flat-screen TVs located all over, so you never miss any of the action or the view of the Tom's River located right off their back deck. So visit Water Street in Tom's River or check them out at bakerswaterstreet.com for more info. All for Miller Lite and Water Street. Miller Lite reminds you to enjoy responsibly. Liz. Todd? I want you back. You're just saying that because I got a makeover to make me look hot. Even though I was hot to begin with. No, no, no. I miss those nights instantly watching TV episodes and movies online with Netflix. We watched as much as we wanted. Whenever and wherever we wanted. So, you love me? Even if I put these glasses back on? Wow, those are thick. Instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on all kinds of devices for only 8 bucks a month with Netflix. Start your free trial today. See terms of use. WCBS News Time, 714. It's 41 degrees, mostly cloudy, going up to 55 in New York City. The five day forecast in three minutes. At 880 on your AM dial and live on your computer and smartphone at CBSNewYork.com. Wherever you are, we are. New York's News Radio, WCBS 880. Good morning. I'm Patty Steele coming up on WCBS, a landmark wedding in a landmark location for a longtime couple. On Wall Street Friday, the Dow closed up three points and opens the week tomorrow at 13,025.58. NASDAQ closed down two. S&P 500 was up fractionally. Business news in just 10 minutes. WCBS News Time 715. Time for WCBS Sports with Gary Stanley. All right, Patty. Well, the Brooklyn Nets appear to be on their way to a statement win in Miami last night, but it was not to be. They had won five straight, led the Heat by 14 in the first half, by nine at the half. But then things spiraled from there for Avery Johnson's team, who simply ran out of gas. In the first half, we were really taking it to them. We had some great energy. Um, and that was still with missing some shots. Um, I thought if we could have played at that same tempo in the second half, we would have had a shot. I had a number in mind somewhere around 105 to 110 points that we were going to need to win this game tonight, especially with the way they play. And they only got 89 as opposed to the Heat with 102, so the winning streak does come to an end. Dwayne Wade, 34 for Miami. LeBron James, 21. Andre Blotch, 20 points, 8 rebounds for the Nets who finish up their three-game road trip. It'll be a 12 noon tip-off at the Garden this afternoon. Knicks and the Phoenix Suns. College football last night, an instant classic in Atlanta. Number 2 Alabama, topping number 3 Georgia, 32-28. Crimson Tide win the SEC championship and they will play Notre Dame for the national title January 7th. Uh, week 13 of the NFL season. Jets in action this afternoon. MetLife Stadium. They take on Arizona. Tim Tebow likely to be inactive today with two broken ribs. Giants are off. They play in the Monday night game in Washington. Longtime college basketball coach Rick Majerus has died of heart failure at the age of 64. Majerus led Utah to the Final Four in 1998. College basketball yesterday. St. John's rallied to beat New Jersey Tech 56. 749. Rutgers lost at Mississippi 80 to 67. Sports at 15 and 45. Gary Stanley, WCBS News Radio 880. WCBS News Time 717. Traffic and weather together next. Mom was always fiercely independent, so it broke my heart when it looked like I had no choice but to put her in a nursing home. I couldn't imagine her leaving the home where she made so many memories. Thankfully, I discovered a better choice, Health First Managed Long-Term Care Options. Health First offers managed long-term care plans that provide the specialized, coordinated care frail elderly people like mom need to maintain their independence and continue to live at home. Thanks to Health First Managed Long-Term Care Options, mom will not only be able to feel at home, she will be at home, and that's of great comfort to our family. Find out if Health First Managed long-term care options are right for your loved one. Call 1-855-552-4369. 1-855-552-4369. Seven days a week, 
8 a.m. to 8 p.m. or visit hflongtermcare.org. WCBS News Time 718. Time for traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the 8th. Sponsored by Melrose Credit Union. Ken Daniels checks the roads. Oh, well, we check out your ride uh, within the five boroughs. Uh, we're looking pretty good overall. The main issue this morning, of course, has been the fog. So very foggy conditions persist. Uh, very poor visibility. It's an early Sunday. Not all that many cars out there. So that's great uh, because uh, the visibility is so poor. We've already had a bunch of accidents. Most of them, actually all of them, have been cleared in Rockland, Westchester County. Uh, we've got the toll increase that went into effect at 3 a.m. at the Holland, Lincoln, and the George Washington Bridge. Also, the Goffles, the Bayonne, and the Outer Bridge Crossing. Those last three have 35-mile-per-hour speed restrictions because of the weather. In New Jersey, a little bit later on, we're going to have some difficulty with the Jets and the Arizona Cardinals at the Meadowlands just after 1 o'clock. So as we get closer, uh, watch out for uh, delays on Route 3, Route 17, Route 120, and uh, the New Jersey Turnpike. And then Rockland and Westchester County, which is where we had all the accident activity, doing okay right now, both ways into the Tappan Zee Bridge. Speed restrictions. Restriction at the Tap and Z, though, but the New York State Thruway, New England Thruway, uh, both looking uh, pretty good after some earlier issues. Our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. And we take a look at the five-day forecast now with meteorologist Bill Dagger. Areas of dense fog across the Tri-State area this morning. We could see visibilities below a quarter mile for a time, so please take it easy if you're out driving. And later today, we'll stay cloudy. It will turn milder, though, a high of 55. Then a few showers can move through this evening. Mostly cloudy later tonight, low 48. Rather warm to start your work week tomorrow and Tuesday with partial sunshine. Up to 60 tomorrow. How about 64 for a high on Tuesday? Then a little cooler on Wednesday with a shower or two in the morning as the front moves through. Then some sunshine, a high of 52. Sunshine and chilly for Thursday, a high of 42. I'm meteorologist Bill Dagger in the WCBS Weather Center. Right now, very foggy out there. It is cloudy and 41 degrees. WCBS News Time, 720. Looking for the perfect family getaway? Come to Holiday in the Lodge, the all-new family celebration at the Great Escape Lodge. Be amazed by the dazzling lights and beautiful decorations. Enjoy special visits with Santa and story time with Mrs. Claus. Splash and play in our huge indoor water park, always free with your stay. Right now, rooms as low as $149 a night when you book online at SixFlags.com. Don't miss Holiday in the Lodge. Mercy College is the one to watch. Rated A by Standard & Poor's. Nationally recognized programs in some of the hottest professional fields around. Come to Mercy Mondays this fall and find out how easy it is to get your master's degree and re-energize your career. Mercy Mondays, more than 25 graduate degree programs, all designed for working people, nights, weekends, and online. Come to Mercy Mondays for graduate days at our campuses in Dobbs Ferry, the Bronx, and Manhattan. And find out about the quality, affordable graduate education at Mercy College. The one to watch at mercy.edu. The holidays are here, and this year, more than ever, it's time to be with family. As the Tri-State tries to bounce back from Sandy, WCBS will give away $1,000 every weekday. Money you could use for storm repair, holiday gifts, or give to your favorite charity. So listen every weekday morning at 820, now through Friday, to hear how you could win $1,000 from WCBS 880. WCBS News Time 721. Cadet Chapel, the gorgeous landmark Gothic church that's been a center for spiritual life at the U.S. military. Military Academy at West Point for Generations hosted its first same-sex wedding yesterday. Penelope Nesson and Brenda Sue Fulton, a West Point graduate, exchanged vows in an afternoon ceremony attended by about 250 guests and conducted by a senior Army chaplain. This is about standing up for what's right. It was such a privilege for us to be part of today and what it means for, for young cadets and, and lieutenants and soldiers uh, coming up. That's Brenda Fulton. She and Penelope have been together for 17 years. They had a civil commitment ceremony which didn't carry any legal force in 1999 and had long hoped to formally tie the knot. The way was cleared last year when New York legalized same-sex marriage and the don't ask, don't tell policy prohibiting openly gay people from serving in the military was lifted. The couple lives in New Jersey, which still doesn't allow same-sex marriage. The ceremony was the same as the second same-sex wedding at West Point. Last weekend, two of Fulton's friends were married in another campus landmark, the small Old Cadet Chapel in West Point Cemetery. Fulton graduated from West Point in 1980, a member of the first class to include women. WCBS News Time 723. 
just like the chance he got when entering the ring during his great career, Hector Camacho was cheered by hundreds outside St. Cecilia's Roman Catholic Church yesterday in Spanish Harlem as his coffin was carried out of the church he attended as a boy. This is Camacho's brother, Panchito Gomez. I know we'll all miss him. Um, I could just picture him smiling and laughing at us right now and just having a good time. Um, I know that, that, that the public enjoyed watching him and he enjoyed giving to the public. The former lightweight and junior welterweight champ grew up in New York but was from Puerto Rico where he died last Saturday after being shot a few days earlier outside a bar in his hometown. WCBS News Time 723. In keeping up with the holiday spirit, you can donate some of your time to your local shelter. Giving of yourself to a homeless pet will give that pet the human contact he needs. Shelter animals get a warm place to sleep, enough food to eat, plenty of water to drink, and get regular bathroom breaks. But many of them don't get enough human interaction. Many homeless animals are scared and love-starved. Petting a pet relaxes them and has the added health benefit for us. It lowers our blood pressure, heart rate, and cholesterol levels, as well as combat depression. The shelters are overrun with animals up for adoption, now more than ever. With record unemployment and a difficult economy, pets are being surrendered in record numbers. If you can't donate money to your local shelter, you can donate worn blankets and towels so that the homeless pets can have a soft place to rest. Donating a special toy or treat will help brighten a pet's life. Giving of yourself will help keep a homeless pet healthy and happy. This is Dr. Elizabeth Cohen, WCBS News Radio 880. WCBS News Time 724, an update on business next. Okay, what's up with Wednesday? Wednesday's a bit odd. Just look how it's spelled. What's with that D? But Thursday, Thursday is awesome. Why? Well, because it's Boneless Thursdays at Buffalo Wild Wings. Every Thursday, you can get specially priced boneless wings spun fresh in your choice of any of their over 20 sauces and seasonings. So hurry up and get to your local Buffalo Wild Wings this Thursday. You'll know it's Thursday by how awesome it feels. Or you can just look at a calendar. Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings, beer, sports. Hey, dog, where's your owner? Watching Netflix. Yeah? He can instantly watch as many TV episodes and movies as he wants online. Well, I know what you did on my lawn, and it's not <laughs> funny. It is to kids. Well, what are their parents supposed to laugh at? The sophisticated jokes. You know, like, that dog chasing his tail reminds me of politicians. Oh. <laughs> instantly watch as many TV episodes and movies as your family wants on all kinds of devices for only 8 bucks a month with Netflix. Start your free trial today. See terms of use. WCBS News Time, 725. Time for business news. I'm Chuck Kamlick, CNBC Radio, with a look at the week ahead on Wall Street. It's the last month of the year, but will we see a Santa Claus rally? That could depend a lot on the news we get this week about jobs. There are two reports on new hiring in November, one from ADP, another from Uncle Sam, and that is the more critical report. We'll probably get some idea how Hurricane Sandy and worries about the fiscal cliff affected hiring in November. We'll also get reports on new claims for jobless benefits and on planned job cuts, too. Hurricane Sandy washed away an estimated 400,000 cars. That could drive up auto sales for November by 13 percent. Meanwhile, profits at AutoZone could be up 15 percent. Owners still trying to do their own maintenance. Toll Brothers earnings could nearly triple thanks to rising home sales. And after winning a patent infringement case against Samsung, Apple heads back to court this week. This time it will ask a judge to permanently bar Samsung from selling smartphones in this country. I'm Chuck Kamlick, CNBC Radio. Wall Street's Friday numbers, the Dow closed up three points. S&P was up uh, fractionally and the Nasdaq closed down two points. WCBS News Time 727. Years ago, my doctor told me to take a Centrum Silver multivitamin every day. I tell him, sure, can't hurt, right? Then I heard this news about a multivitamin study looking at long-term health benefits for men over 50. And the multivitamin they used for the study? Centrum Silver. Hey, that's what I take. My doctor, he really knows his stuff. The most recommended, most preferred, most studied. Centrum, always your most complete. A prior formula of Centrum Silver was used in the study. WCBS News Time 727. Don't cry for me, Argentina. The truth is. Well, Ricky Martin is leaving Evita as Shay. He's busy guy. Martin has a slew of new projects in the works, including two TV series and a children's book. You still have time to catch him, though. Martin takes his final bow in the Andrew Lloyd Webber musical revival on January 26th. 
Jennifer Lopez wowed thousands of fans in Indonesia, but they didn't see as much of her as concert goers in other countries. J-Lo toned down both her sexy outfits and her dance moves during her show in the world's most populous Muslim country. Her Dance Again World Tour was in the country's capital of Jakarta on Friday. In line with promises Lopez made to make her show more appropriate for the audience, the local concert promoter said she was very cooperative. She respected our cl- culture. She was told, he said, quote, making love moves wasn't appropriate for Indonesia. Yes, she dressed modestly, but she's still really sexy, attractive, and tantalizing, said one fan. Lady Gaga was forced to cancel her sold-out show in Indonesia in May following threats by Islamic hardliners who called her a devil worshiper. WCBS News Time, 728. Time for traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the 8th. Let's go to Ken Daniels. Very poor visibility. The issue, of course, with the dense fog. We've had some issues rocking the Westchester County on the New England Thruway, the New York State Thruway. All of that is gone as far as accident activity, but still 45 mile per hour speed restriction at the Tappanzee Bridge. The tolls went into, well, the increased tolls went into effect 3 a.m. at the Hudson River crossing. So the Holland, Lincoln, and the George Washington Bridge. Also at the Staten Island crossings, the Outer Bridge of Bayonne and the Gothels. 35 mile per hour speed restriction of those last three because of the fog. Now here's the latest from the WCBS Weather Center. We'll see some dense fog for a time this morning, so take it easy if you're out driving. Otherwise, some drizzle as well. Later today, the clouds remain, but we turn milder, a high of 55. Be a shower or two this evening, otherwise staying cloudy tonight, low 48. But the sun is back out tomorrow. We'll be warm, a high of 60. Won't feel like December on Tuesday either with clouds breaking for some sun, a high of 64. I'm meteorologist. Is Bill Dagger in the WCBS Weather Center. Dense fog is right. Can barely see the ground from up here. It's 42 degrees. WCBS News Time, 730. News, traffic, and weather. On air, online. We are News Radio. WCBS 880. Good morning. It's Sunday, December 2nd. I'm Patty Steele. Here's the latest from the WCBS newsroom. Tolls at the Hudson River crossings went up at 3 o'clock this morning. Another dollar for cash tolls. We'll have a live report. Kansas City Chiefs player Long Island native Jovan Belcher shot his girlfriend to death yesterday before killing himself. More wet weather on the way in Northern California, where earlier storms this week saturated the ground. New Jersey Shore Town still struggling to recover a month after Superstorm Sandy. Connecticut Senator Richard Blumenthal took an icy plunge to benefit the Special Olympics of Connecticut yesterday in sports. Nets lost to the Heat 102-89. to Jets host Arizona at 1. Giants play Redskins in Monday night football tomorrow night. WCBS News Time 731. Toll hikes at the Hudson River crossings. 3 o'clock this morning, they went into effect. WCBS reporter Monica Miller has more as she joins us live from the New Jersey Turnpike. Well, some drivers I've been speaking to at the Vince Lombardi service area aren't happy this Sunday morning. The Port Authority implemented its second of five increments, uh, meaning off-peak and peak easy pass rates have jumped to 75 cents for cars and a buck for cash payers. Truck drivers in particular say that they're really getting pinched. It's costing them 10 additional dollars more to drive their five-axle trucks across the Hudson River crossings at peak hours. Port Authority lawyers say that the toll hikes are sorely needed to offset the the cost of security projects due to the 9-11 attacks. The truck driver is the he from Yonkers says the agency is driving him out of business. On the New Jersey Turnpike, Monica Miller, WCBS 880 News. Kansas City Chiefs player and Long Island native Jovan Belcher shot and killed his girlfriend yesterday before fatally shooting himself at the team's practice facility. CBS 2's Drew Levinson has more. Family and friends gathered at Belcher's mother's home in West Babylon. The front yard quickly became a shrine filled with Belcher's football jerseys, trophies, and memorabilia. Friends are stunned at the news of the murder-suicide. It's surprising to me. I didn't see any signs of anything when I seen him. All I, you know, I know him for a long time and never been in any type of trouble. Friends say that Belcher and his girlfriend, 22-year-old Cassandra Perkins, had been arguing a lot recently. They had a three-month-old baby. Cops say Belcher thanked the team's general manager and coach before shooting himself in the parking lot of the team's practice facility. Chiefs chairman Clark Hunt released a statement saying, The entire Chiefs family is deeply saddened by today's events. Our collective hearts are heavy with sympathy, thoughts, and prayers for the families and friends affected by this unthinkable tragedy.
More wet weather for folks in Northern California. Another big storm has moved into the Golden State, bringing more torrential rain and flooding. And it comes after two big super soaker storms already slammed the area over the past few days. CBS News correspondent Carter Evans is in Guerneville, California. Throughout Northern California, the ground is soaked, creeks are full, and rivers are on the rise. I've never seen it that high during even during the spring. The Truckee River is fast nearing flood stage. Residents are racing to fill sandbags and to clean storm drains. One near Sacramento wasn't cleared fast enough to save the home of Michael Jimenez. I mean, we had an unbelievable amount of rain coming down. The storm is expected to force several rivers over their banks. National Weather Service says both the Napa River and the Russian River are expected to flood. While New Jersey lawmakers went on a bus tour to see how shore communities are recovering a month after Sandy, WCBS reporter Levon Putney got out to talk with a few residents and business owners. In the small barrier island community of Manilokin... All the heating has to be redone. All the... Everything, pretty much. A month later, and Daria Patrick's floor is still sandy. After sandy, furniture's moldy, appliances need replacing. Her street's right off the beach. Water got in. FEMA guy measured at the highest eight inches. I was very lucky. I mean, we won the lottery here. You saw it down the street. So we have a house. I saw rubble down the street. Yeah, there's a house on top of a house. Not to mention the home sitting about 100 yards off in the middle of the bay. I think it's important to keep this in everyone's conscience because people are back to their normal lives. It'll be a while before folks around here get back to normal. At least gas crews working down the street hope to have a new main up and running by year's end. In Manaloking, Levon Putney, WCBS 880 News. WCBS News Time 734. There are reports that Japanese rescuers using TV cameras have spotted bodies in a collapsed car tunnel about 50 miles west of Tokyo. Several people were feared missing. The camera showed cement roof panels fell on several cars in the heavily used tunnel. More from Lucy Craft in Tokyo. Engineers say Japan has never experienced a tunnel collapse like the massive cave-in at the Sasako Tunnel west of Tokyo. The structure was built more than 30 years ago and uses outdated technology. Some experts speculate metal fittings supporting the tunnel's one-ton concrete wall planks may have rusted. But the tunnel passed inspection just a few months ago. Two victims of the tragedy are being treated and seven more remain unaccounted for. Lucy Craft, CBS News, Tokyo. U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal took an icy plunge to benefit the Special Olympics of Connecticut yesterday. The Democrat says he participated in the annual Coventry Penguin Plunge at Coventry Lake at Patriots Park. Blumenthal says the competitors give everything they have to take part in the special games. When I go into that water, I think of the athletes who are giving every single bit of energy and mind and spirit as they compete and it warms my heart. It is the first of nine such plunges being held across the state this winter to benefit the Special Olympics. Others are planned in January, February, and March in Farmington, Winstead, Madison, New London, Middletown, Westport, Danbury, and Ellington. Participants solicit donations from friends, family, and businesses, allowing them to run into the chilly waters. A New York City street corner has been renamed for a police officer and journalist who died in the South Tower on 9-11. East 20th Street and 2nd Avenue was renamed for Glenn Pettit yesterday. Yesterday. The corner is near the police academy where Pettit used to make instructional videos for recruits. He was a former videographer for News 12 Long Island and freelance photographer for Newsday. He was assigned to the NYPD's video production unit at the time of the terrorist attacks. He was last seen running into the South Tower before it collapsed. Police Commissioner Ray Kelly presided over the dedication ceremony attended by Pettit's family. Well, the federal government is beginning to take a look at energy drinks, which some suspect are dangerous. WCBS reporter Peter Haskell has that story. At the prodding of Connecticut Senator Richard Blumenthal, the federal government will be looking into the dangers associated with energy drinks. I've been pressing the FDA to investigate how harmful these humongous levels of caffeine are. Most of the consumers of these products are teenagers, which leads to this question. What these huge levels of caffeine can do to children and adolescents. Some of these products, like Monster Energy and 5-Hour Energy, have been linked to deaths. In Bridgeport, Peter Haskell, WCBS ADD News. WCBS News Time 737, traffic and weather together next. 
WCBS News Time 738. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the 8s. We're sponsored by Poundridge Nurseries. Ken Daniels is in the traffic center for us. Well, we've got poor visibility. Uh, there's been a major issue this morning, so that continues, of course. The fog has not lifted yet, uh, so as the morning moves on, we're hoping that fog gets out of there. Uh, it's caused some speed restrictions. So we have at the Outer Bridge Crossing, the Gothels, the Bayon Bridge, 35 miles per hour. You know what else will happen there? You'll pay a higher toll today. The toll increases went into effect at 3 a.m. and also uh, the higher tolls at the Holland, the Lincoln, and the George Washington Bridge. Now, your normal Sunday parking rules are in effect for today. We go to central New Jersey. Uh, looks pretty good on the Garden State Parkway and the New Jersey Turnpike. Uh, same thing goes in northern New Jersey. Once again, just the uh, poor visibility. Now, Route 17, southbound at Route 46 in Hasbrook Heights. Some right lane construction there. Uh, keep that in mind for your travels. Uh, we've Later on today, uh, you'll have to deal with Route 17 traffic, also Route 3, 120, the New Jersey Turnpike, uh, heading to the Meadowlands for the Jets and the Arizona Cardinals uh, just after 1 o'clock. And then Rock of the West, Chester County, moving along now on the New York State Thruway each way into the Tappan Zee. New England Thruway is fine. All that earlier accident activity gone. Uh, 45 mile per hour speed restriction at the Tappan Zee Bridge because of the foggy conditions. Our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. And checking the forecast for us, meteorologist Bill Dagger. Areas of dense fog and drizzle across the Tri-State area to start off your Sunday, but later today will warm up pretty nicely, but stay mostly cloudy with a high of 55. Passing shower or two through the evening tonight, then mostly cloudy overnight, a low of 48. And it won't feel like December tomorrow or Tuesday as we head back to work. Partly sunny, high 60 tomorrow, 64 on Tuesday. I'm meteorologist Bill Dagger in the WCBS Weather Center. It's 41 degrees, very, very foggy, cloudy skies. WCBS News Time, 740. In case you haven't heard, eSurance wants to save you money on car insurance. It's also longing to save you money and wishing and yearning and thinking it might be a nice idea to save you money. That's because eSurance was built to save you money. You know, cash or clams or greenbacks, sawbucks, simoleons, bits, chips or scratch. Whatever you call it, you just might save it. That's insurance for the modern world. Esurance. Now, back by Allstate. Click or call. Visit esurance.com or call 1-800-ESURANCE for a quote. Not available in all states. Savings may vary. My mum always says hard work never hurt anybody. Good advice, as usual. So we worked very hard to make Geico.com very easy. Say you want to report a claim and follow its progress. You can do it all online at Geico.com. Not to mention perhaps saving a tidy sum of money on your car insurance. All it takes is a few clicks. So visit Geico.com today. Oh, and Mum, if you're listening, yes, I did wash beyond my ears this morning. Inhabitants of Earth, you can run, but you cannot... What are you doing? I'm oh, watching Netflix on my smartphone, dude. What? I can instantly watch as many TV episodes and movies as I want. You don't fear for your life? Yeah, not really. Our atmosphere is eventually going to kill you anyway. Nonsense. Our anatomy is... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Faster than I thought. Instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on all kinds of devices for only 8 bucks a month with Netflix. Start your free trial today. See terms of use. WCBS News Time 741. In Connecticut, people who lost homes or suffered damage during Hurricane Sandy are in Norwalk to meet with FEMA experts. WCBS Connecticut Bureau Chief Fran Schneido has details. This fellow from the Rowayton section of Norwalk suffered serious damage to his waterfront home. Now bunking in with family in Massachusetts, he wonders when or even if he can ever move back. All the interviews and the inspections have taken place but none of the paperwork has been submitted yet, and I don't know how long that process is likely to take. It's all brand new territory. Uh, yeah, we've not, we're not veterans at this. We have no idea. On hand here is Congressman Jim Himes helping folks through the red tape. This is the federal government, so there's a process, there's paperwork and that sort of thing. So my job in a moment like this is to make sure that people understand what's available for them out there and how they can access those resources. In Norwalk, Fran Schneido, WCBS 880 News. WCBS News Time 742. The Osgood File. This is Charles Osgood. Philosophers and scientists at Britain's Cambridge University have decided to launch a new center for the study of existential risk to consider the ways in which superintelligent technology could threaten our own existence. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? 2001, a space odyssey? Good afternoon, Hal. How's everything going? Good afternoon, Mr. Amer. Everything is going extremely well. And as long as everybody thinks everything is going extremely well, then all is well and good. But remember, computers aren't men. And if we disagree, what then? 
When we humans are no longer the smartest things around, says Cambridge University professor Hugh Price, we will risk being overruled. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. What's the problem? I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do. I think Dr. Price must have seen the movie 2001 and that scene between Hal and Dr. Dave Bowman. This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. I don't know what you're talking about, Hal. I know that you and Frank were planning to disconnect me. And I'm afraid that's something I cannot allow to happen. Where the hell did you get that idea, Hal? Dave, although you took very thorough precautions in the part against my hearing you, I could see your lips move. The smart folks at Cambridge U will get to meet and think this through. To plan ahead is most essential when the risk is existential. Hal, I won't argue with you anymore. Open the doors. Dave, this conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye. The Osgood File. Charles Osgood on the CBS Radio Network. WCBS News Time 743. We have sports coming up next. Getting gifts for the sports fan in your life has never been easier this holiday season thanks to CBS Locals Fan Shop. We've got the jerseys and gear for almost every team in any sport. And if you visit CBS Locals Fan Shop today through the end of the year and enter the promo code HOLIDAY10, you'll get an additional 10% off your purchase. Visit CBSLocalFanshop.com today and use the promo code HOLIDAY10 to save even more from CBS Locals Fan Shop. During these tough economic times, there is one thing you can count on, your education. Higher education will give you the chance at finding a better job and improve the quality of your life. Further your education and advance your career today. If you're looking to go back to school in the next three months and already have your high school diploma, start your search with the National Education Online Center. You'll get free expert advice, school information, and a free financial aid guide. NEOC will help you get matched to your right school today. Call 877-516-0727. It's 41 degrees. We have very, very foggy conditions out there. Cloudy skies going up to 55 in New York City. We're going to hit almost 65 by Tuesday. Five-day forecast coming up in just three minutes. At 880 on your AM dial and live on your computer and smartphone at cbsnewyork.com. When you need to know, we've got you covered. Good morning. I'm Patty Steele. Coming up on WCBS News Radio, we'll tell you about a gym that is very selective about who can join. On Wall Street Friday, the Dow closed up three points. It'll open the week tomorrow at 13,025.58. Business news in 10 minutes. WCBS News Time 745. Time for sports with Gary Stanley. All right, Patty. Well, for a while, it appeared the Brooklyn Nets were on their way to a landmark victory. They had won five straight found themselves with a 14-point first-half lead over the uh, defending NBA champion Heat in Miami, but it was not to be. Heat come back, they outscore the Nets by 22 points in the second half, and they win the game going away 102-89. Lesson learned, said Darren Williams. Don't count your chickens. We just got to be more disciplined, I think, you know, uh, when we get up 12, 14 points. You know, we can't relax. Um, we, we, that's when we have to to hunker down and get, get more stops. That's when we have to execute better, take care of the ball. Um, and, and we didn't do those things tonight. Dwayne Wade, 34 for the Heat. LeBron James, 21. Andre Blotch had 20 for the Nets, who played their second straight without the injured Brook Lopez. Knicks and the Phoenix Suns, 12 noon today at the Garden. It'll be Notre Dame and Alabama College Football's National Championship game in Miami, January 7th. Alabama winning a thriller last night over Georgia in the SEC Championship game, 32-28. to MetLife Stadium this afternoon, a battle of 2-4-7 teams, the Jets and the Arizona Cardinals. Giants play the Monday night game tomorrow night in Washington. And college basketball yesterday, St. John's rallied to beat New Jersey Tech 57-49. Rutgers losing at Old Miss 80-67 and Fordham Falls to Harvard, 73-64. Sports sponsored by Chevrolet this holiday season. Chevy's giving more. Stop into your local Chevy dealer for great deals. Drive home the EPA estimated 42 miles per gallon. Highway cruise echo or get more seating in the comfortable and roomy eight-passenger traverse. So come in now for a great deal during Chevy's calendar year-end event. Sports at 15 and 45. Gary Stanley, WCBS News Radio, 880. WCBS News Time. 747. Traffic and weather together in 60 seconds. 
Do you owe the IRS back taxes? Do you have three or more years of unfiled tax returns? Here at Expert Tax Advisors, we specialize in tax liens, back taxes, tax debt, wage garnishment, and collections. We have successfully mitigated these and many other technical tax issues for years. If you owe the IRS $7,500 or more, you need aggressive representation. We will contact the IRS on your behalf within 30 minutes of you becoming a client, and that's guaranteed. Protect your home, business, and family from tax liens, back taxes, tax debt, wage garnishment, and collections. Call us today, 800-253-3917, and find the peace of mind knowing the IRS will not be knocking on your door. Call now for your free, no-obligation consultation, 800-253-3917. That's 800-253-3917. Remember, we will contact the IRS on your behalf within 30 minutes of you becoming a client of expert tax advisors. Call 800-253-3917. WCBS News Time 748. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the 8th. What are you looking at, Ken Daniels? We're watching Rockland and Westchester County where things are doing okay now, but we've had some big difficulties there uh, because of ongoing activity with this fog. Uh, the fog has been poor visibility, and we had some accident activity. Not too bad right now on uh, the New York State Thruway, either way into the Tappan Zee, but a 45 mile per hour speed restriction at the bridge. New England Thruway looking good after some earlier troubles. Now, in Connecticut, on the Connecticut Turnpike and Merritt Parkway, we're okay. Not bad on Long Island uh, on the LIE. But northern state, westbound is Deer Park Avenue. We do have an accident blocking one lane. And then traveling in the five boroughs, uh, overall not too bad. The Holland, Lincoln, and the George Washington Bridge, of course, with the new tolls in effect as of 3 a.m. So the increase there at the uh, tolls. And then we've also got the increased tolls at the Gothels Bay on an outer bridge crossing. 35 miles per hour at those last three uh, with the uh, speed restriction because of the fog. And then central and northern New Jersey looking all right on the Garden State Parkway. And the New Jersey Turnpike uh, will have the Jets of the Arizona Cardinals at the Meadowlands just after 1 o'clock as game time gets closer. Watch for slowdowns on Route 17, Route 3, 120 in the New Jersey Turnpike. Our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. And for the five-day forecast, we go to meteorologist Bill Dagger. We're starting off your Sunday with areas of dense fog. We could see visibilities below a quarter mile for a time, so please take it easy on the roads. Use your low beams. Later today, plenty of clouds will turn mild to finish your Sunday, a high of 55 be a shower or two this evening, otherwise mostly cloudy later tonight, a low of 48. And it certainly won't feel like December tomorrow or Tuesday. Partly sunny up to 60 tomorrow, Tuesday's high 64. Then a cold front moves through Wednesday, a shower or two in the morning, then cooler with some sun, a high of 52. Rather chilly Thursday with sunshine, a high of 42. I'm meteorologist Bill Dagger in the WCBS Weather Center. Right now, we have very, very foggy conditions out there. It's uh, cloudy and 41 degrees. WCBS News Time, 750. Hi, this is Craig Allen. I was raised on Long Island's South Shore, and it's still where my family calls home. Sandy, devastated parts of Long Island, the likes of which I've never seen. Help us help New York recover. Text the Red Cross to 90999 to donate $10 right now. A message from WCBS 880 and CBS Cares. WCBS News Time 751. Town of Hempstead, Long Island residents beware. The town supervisor says a local company is trying to swindle residents who already lost so much because of the storm. Sophia Hall has that story. It looked like an official Town of Hempstead document. Town Supervisor Kate Murray said it had the town seal on the top of the page and underneath it said for $499, you can get the permits you need to rebuild your home. But Murray said... It's a scam. There's a private company called My Expediter LLC. They took an official town of Hempstead letterhead. Murray said residents do not need to use any service for permits. There is absolutely no permit fees. We have waived them all for renovations or rebuilds following Hurricane Sandy. Murray sent the information to the DA's office. They told me they are reviewing the documents. My Expediter LLC of Oceanside, Long Island, did not return my calls for comment. Sophia Hall, WCBS. 880 News. Well, this is interesting. A new gym in Dallas, Texas, only allows people to join if they're at least 50 pounds overweight. 
Joe Gomez reports. Downsize Fitness caters to a unique clientele. In fact, you may even consider them the elite of the overweight. To be a member of the gym, you have to have at least 50 pounds of extra fat. We cater to people who need to lose more than 50 pounds because that's a pretty difficult amount of weight to lose. Michael Stout is a general manager of the gym and says the reason they restrict membership to those of a similar size is because it helps increase self-confidence. And with 30% of Texans considered to be obese, Stout says as business is booming. Joe Gomez, CBS News, Dallas. WCBS News Time 752. A major figure in the civil rights movement will be honored with a stamp next year. CBS News reporter Lloyd DeVries has exclusive details. Rosa Parks became a symbol of the civil rights movement when she defied bus segregation laws in 1955. A source tells me the stamp will be issued in February. That makes sense. February 4th is the centennial of her birth, and February is Black History Month. Until now, the Postal Service hadn't been able to obtain permission from her estate. The source also says there will be a stamp next year for either the I Have a Dream speech or the March on Washington, of which it was a part. Lloyd DeVries, CBS News. WCBS News Time 7. 53. Well, just hours after reality TV star Kim Kardashian gushed about her impressions of Bahrain, riot police fired tear gas to disperse more than 50 hardline Islamic protesters denouncing her presence in the Gulf Kingdom. The clashes took place just before she opened the Bahrain branch of her Millions of Milkshakes shop. An Associated Press journalist saw protesters chanting, God is great, near the shopping complex in Rifa, some 20 kilometers south of the capital. The demonstrators were cleared before Kardashian appeared late yesterday. Earlier, she posted glowing remarks about the country on her Twitter account, calling it the prettiest place on earth. It was retweeted by Bahrain's foreign minister. Kardashian was in Kuwait earlier this week to open another branch of her shop. WCBS News Time 754. I'm Paul Murnane with Dish and Digital, sponsored by B&H Photo and Video, New York's ultimate camera authority. It's Christmas time. It's a whole new season for laptops. If you want to get wild with a laptop and try some some funky new things, Windows 8 has sparked this explosion of form factor innovation. That's Neelai Patel, managing editor at The Verge, as our Dish and Digital Guide to the Holidays continues. So you can get something like the Dell XPS 12, which literally flips around. The screen flips around and you close it. Turning a laptop into a tablet. CNET senior editor Dan Ackerman. Acer uh, has one called the Aspire S7, which is not a particularly descriptive name, but it's a super thin, super light 13 inch laptop, kind of like a MacBook Air, but it's really got one of the sharpest Windows PC designs I've seen. In fact, the whole back of the lid is a sheet of Gorilla Glass. More laptops next time as our Dish and Digital Guide to the Holidays continues. Dish and Digital, I'm Paul Murnane. For more, visit cbsnewyork.com slash Dish and Digital. WCBS News Time 755 will have an update on business next. Geico says, let's make life simpler. It's a fact of modern life. Switching isn't easy. Your bank, your cable company, your girlfriend comes with a certain degree of difficulty. But switching to Geico, now that couldn't be easier. First of all, it only takes 15 minutes. And just like that, you could be saving hundreds on car insurance. No muss, no fuss. No irate, vengeful, significant others. GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. WCBS News Time 755. Business News. At some companies, workers really do count. I'm Tim Middleton with a report from this week's Cranes New York Business. Like Squarespace, a web development company in Soho. When the head of customer care hit her fifth anniversary with the firm, it paid for her, her husband, and their four children to sky to Southern California to visit family. RF Binder, a PR firm headquartered in Midtown, showers cash bonuses on employees tied to the firm's performance, plus incentives like an annual $1,000 innovation award. This is not corporate altruism. It's called employee retention. Top firms get there because they've got top talent. Employees are the only real difference between employers. So the best companies shower the most attention on their workers. So if your company doesn't, maybe your company isn't. For Cranes New York Business, I'm Tim Middleton, WCBS News Radio 880.
Friday on Wall Street, the Dow closed up three points at 13,025. S&P 500 was up fractionally. NASDAQ closed down two points. WCBS News Time, 757. Hey, dog, where's your owner? Watching Netflix. Yeah? He can instantly watch as many TV episodes and movies as he wants online. Well, I know what you did on my lawn, and it's not funny. It is the kids. Well, what are their parents supposed to laugh at? Those sophisticated jokes. You know, like, that dog chasing his tail reminds me of politicians. (laughs) Instantly watch as many TV episodes and movies as your family wants on all kinds of devices for only 8 bucks a month with Netflix. Start your free trial today. See terms of use. I'm a good gift giver. No, a fantastic gift giver. What do I get in return? An unnecessary cheek pinch. I deserve more. So this year, I'm giving Buffalo Wild Wings gift cards. For every $25 I spend, I can get a blazing bonus worth up to $100. So the next time I hear, oh, that's so sweet, it better be referring to honey barbecue sauce. Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings. Beer. Sports. No purchase necessary. Must be 18 or older. Valid in restaurant at participating locations. Only in Boyd and Florida, New York, Rhode Island, and we're prohibited by law. It's 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time on December 31st, 2012. See official rules at buffalowildwings.com for restrictions and details. WCBS News Time 758. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the 8th. Ken Daniels is in the traffic center. Well, the toll increases went into effect at 3 a.m. for the George Washington Bridge, the Lincoln Tunnel, and the Holland Tunnel. Also at the Bayonne Bridge, Gothels Bridge, and the Outer Bridge crossing. Those last three, a lot of fog, a lot of fog throughout the tri state, but those last three crossings, a 35 mile per hour speed restriction because of the foggy conditions. Later on in northern New Jersey, watch for slowdowns on Route 3, Route 17, 120 in the New Jersey Turnpike. It'll be the Jets and the Arizona Cardinals just after 1 o'clock at the Meadowlands. Now, here's the latest from the WCBS Weather Center. It's a foggy, drizzly start to your Sunday, and later today will warm up despite clouds hanging on a high of 55. It'll be a shower or two this evening, otherwise mostly cloudy tonight as well, low 48. But the sun's back out tomorrow, we're up to 60. I'm meteorologist Bill Dagger in the WCBS Weather Center. Right now, cloudy skies, very foggy. It's up to 42 degrees. News, traffic, and weather on air, online. We are News Radio, WCBS, New York. Minute to eight on the second day of December. I'm Alex Silverman. Here's the latest from the WCBS newsroom. Drivers facing the latest toll hikes at Hudson River crossings are telling the Port Authority enough is enough. Eventually we might be going out of business. I'm Monica Miller on the New Jersey Turnpike. Looks like a bad signal that made a train derail and spew hazardous gas in South Jersey. As many as nine suicide bombers attack a U.S. base in Afghanistan. New York's hiring 1,000 counselors to go door-to-door in places hard hit by the hurricane. And at 810, we'll introduce you to a family facing both homelessness and cancer after Sandy. My husband, myself, and my three children are sharing a queen-size air mattress. Sports heat beat the Nets, Jets, and Cardinals today at MetLife at 1 o'clock. WCBS News Time, 8 o'clock. CBS News, I'm Heather Bosch. A Taliban attack on a joint U.S.-Afghan base leads to a bloody two-hour battle today. Major Barton Crichton. The attack involved, you know, three vehicle-borne improvised explosive devices, and then uh, ground forces on the base w- were engaged in return fire with uh, insurgents that were were on the ground. Nine insurgents died, but CBS News military analyst Mike Lyons points out. This is an enemy that wins by not losing. They they will tell you that uh, they were successful in upsetting um, the, the normal routine of, uh, of the Americans and the Afghan government during that time. Four Afghan special forces and five civilians died. NATO says international troops were wounded, but they're not specific. They say the attackers did not get into the base. Rescuers are searching for survivors and bodies inside a tunnel that collapsed in Japan. Engineers say Japan has never experienced a tunnel collapse like the massive cave-in at the Sasako Tunnel west of Tokyo. The structure was built more than 30 years ago and uses outdated technology. Some experts speculate metal fittings supporting the tunnel's one-ton concrete wall planks may have rusted. But the tunnel passed inspection just a few months ago. CBS's Lucy Kraft reports at least three people are are dead. North Korea says it's going to try again within the next few weeks to test launch a new long-range rocket. The North says it's an observation space satellite, but South Korea and the White House aren't buying it. If this missile test is successful, it 
can be the most proximate security threat uh, for the Obama administration as they begin their second term. Asia expert Victor Cha. Another big storm is set to hit Northern California tonight, the third major storm in days. CBS's Carter Evans is in the Napa Valley. They feel that there won't be any significant flooding or damages to businesses. Other areas, just south of St. Helena, that is a big turn. They feel that there might be some flooding there. But in Napa, they feel like they've got a pretty good handle on it right now. A flood warning's been issued for both the Napa and Russian rivers north of San Francisco. Could a type of jellyfish hold the secret to immortality? Study of the species Turritopsis found it ages in reverse to its earliest stage of development, a polyp, and then begins a new life cycle. Nathaniel Rich writes about it in the New York Times Magazine. We know that it's stimulated by a physical assault. You know, if you poke it a bunch of times, that will begin the process of rejuvenation. The organism likened to a chicken that transforms itself into an egg and gives birth to a new chicken. Pam Coulter, CBS News. An orangutan that received cancer treatment and her twin sister are celebrating their ninth birthday today. Miami's Jungle Island is hosting a party for park visitors. The admission price will benefit a local cancer center. This is CBS News. Dad, now that I've got my license, can we go look at cars? What's wrong with the one we have? I can't be seen driving that. Wait Besides, a, a newer car would save money and actually be a lot more fuel efficient. What's a lot more? Remember that car commercial we just saw? Oh, that blue sedan? Yeah, it would save a ton. How? 31 miles per gallon average, 27 city, 38 highway. It uses 3.2 gallons of gas for every 100 miles driven. 3.2 gallons? And it would only cost about 1700 in gas a year. That's almost half of what you're paying for your car, Dad. How do you know all this stuff? Mike and I swung by the dealership after school yesterday. I got the info off the new fuel economy label. Fuel economy label? Saw it on the car. It has a lot of information, like how much gas we'd save over five years. I even used my smartphone QR code reader to get more info on the web. You know, that actually sounds like a good deal to me. It does? Let's go check it out. A new label for a new generation of cars. For more information on EPA's fuel economy and environment label, visit fueleconomy.gov. From Studio 11A at the CBS Hudson Square Broadcast Center, we are News Radio, WCBS HD and WCBS FM HD3, New York. From the 11th floor here at the Hudson Square Broadcast Center, it is a white world out there. We are encapsulated in fog here in New York. 42 degrees right now. Dense fog drizzle this morning, otherwise mainly cloudy and mild. 55 will be our high today. WCBS News Time 804. This is a story we'll repeat once a year. Tolls at the Hudson River crossings have gone up yet again as of about five hours ago. WCBS reporter Monica Miller is taking driver's temperature along the Jersey Turnpike. Monica? Yikes. Yeah, you can almost hear drivers groan while they switch gears and stop to pay the tolls, which are now higher at the Port Authority's Hudson River crossings. That means off-peak and peak easy pass drivers face a 75-cent increase for cars. Truck drivers, however, are now paying $60 for easy pass subscribers, up to 75 for big rig drivers paying cash. And I spoke to one truck driver this morning, and he explained to me that not only is his business in jeopardy, but consumers will feel the pinch since moving merchandise can be, has become so expensive. Now, the transit agency says that there's a couple of reasons for the toll increases. One includes offsetting the cost of increased security due to the 9-11 attacks. At the Vince Lombardi rest stop on the New Jersey Turnpike, Monica Miller, WCBS 880 News. Well, Staten Islanders seem to like the temporary ferry service that started up between Great Kills and Manhattan this past week, and officials have said there's a good chance it will stay. Starting on Monday, a few changes, though. Last two boats leaving Great Kills in the morning and the last two leaving Manhattan at night will shove off about 10 minutes later. That ferry costs 2 bucks, and FEMA's subsidizing the initial eight-week run. It may have been trouble with a signal that made a train go off the rails in Gloucester County, New Jersey. That is what the NTSB is telling us. Meanwhile, a hundred people are still out of their homes as crews try to clear a dangerous gas from the air. Reporter Chris Jimenez is from our sister station KYW in Philadelphia. U.S. Coast Guard Captain Kathy Moore says first is making sure the accident site is as safe as possible. Teams continue to apply a mist, a water mist, over the derailed train cars to limit the spread of the vinyl chloride cargo into the surrounding areas. She, along with Larry Haina with the State Department of Environmental Protection, says they're constantly monitoring levels of vinyl chloride. Most of the results have been in the non-detect range or slightly elevated range that we would not believe would have any acute health impacts on people. Tim Jimenez, CBS News, Clarksboro, New Jersey. 
If you live in a neighborhood that's had it rough the past month, you could get a visit soon from a crisis counselor. FEMA's giving New York money to hire about a 1,000 of them. They'll go into communities and try to find people who could be vulnerable to PTSD, depression, or substance abuse. Those are real concerns with so many still without the necessities of a civilized world. New York City estimates at least 12,000 people are trying to survive in unheated homes ravaged by Sandy. The city's health commissioner, Dr. Thomas Farley, says that can be dangerous, especially for the elderly. The health department already says emergency room visits related to cold weather doubled in November compared to previous years. And it's not just chilly temperatures posing a threat. Some homes may be contaminated with mold and dust. That can aggravate allergies and asthma. Jim Smith, WCBS 880 News. 807 at WCBS 880. Mercy College is the one to watch. Rated A by Standard & Poor's. Nationally recognized programs in some of the hottest professional fields around. Come to Mercy Mondays this fall and find out how easy it is to get your master's degree and re-energize your career. Mercy Mondays, more than 25 graduate degree programs, all designed for working people, nights, weekends, and online. Come to Mercy Mondays for graduate days at our campuses in Dobbs Ferry, the Bronx, and Manhattan. And find out about the quality, affordable graduate education at Mercy College. The one to watch at mercy.edu. Life in the modern world isn't always easy. Sometimes your DVR records a non-HD show. Or you're on the couch getting a car insurance quote, and you have to get up and find your car's VIN. Well, not with Insurance Express Lane. It looks up your car info for you, so you can stay on your couch. Maybe never get up again. Infinite Couchdom. That's insurance for the modern world. Insurance Now back by Allstate. Click or call. Visit insurance.com or call 1-800-ESURANCE for a quote. Not available in all states. Savings may vary. WCBS News Time 808. Traffic and weather together is sponsored by B&H Photo and Video, and it starts off on this foggy morning with Ken Daniels. Fog is still an issue, so we have that to deal with, of course. Uh, some speed restrictions because of it. Uh, the Goffles Bridge, the Bayonne Bridge, the Outer Bridge Crossing, all at 35 miles per hour uh, because of the fog. You know what else is going on at those? Higher tolls. That started at 3 a.m., so all three of those, and also the Holland, the Lincoln, and the George Washington Bridge with the toll increases in effect now. We've got normal Sunday parking rules in effect too. Uh, we got Central New Jersey with some construction. Route 18, northbound there, Ticey's Lane. Looks like we're down to two lanes there because of some road work. And then we go to northern New Jersey. And overall, not too bad right now. Route 17, southbound Route 46, there's a right lane closure there with some construction. It's off on the shoulder too. And uh, we'll have Route 17 traffic as well as Route 3, 120 in the New Jersey Turnpike as we get closer to 1 p.m. for the Jets and the Arizona Cardinals at the Meadowlands. 1 o'clock kickoff time. Rockland and Westchester County are moving along all right on the New York State Thruway and at the Tappan Zee Bridge. 45 mile per hour speed restriction at the Tappan Zee to keep in mind. And northbound on the Deegan uh, New York State Thruway combination, right? It's the area of uh, Route 100. Looks like we have an accident now blocking one lane. Our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. Live to the Weather Center now, meteorologist Bill Dager. How long is this fog going to be upon us here? Well, it looks like a couple more hours we'll have to deal with the fog. It should start to uh, lift in about an hour or so. But right now, many areas dealing with visibility is less than a quarter of a mile. That's going to severely impact travel out there. So take it easy this morning. Later today, we're cloudy. We'll turn milder this afternoon with a high of 55. A passing shower or two through the evening. Mostly cloudy overnight tonight, a low of 48. And partly sunny, a warm start to the work week tomorrow a high of 60 won't feel like december on tuesday either a high of 64 with some sunshine returning and wednesday a shower in the morning otherwise some sun in the afternoon a high of 52 with a cold front moving through back to reality thursday sunshine but chilly a high of 42 still foggy in midtown 42 temperatures across the tri-state area range from 35 at maybrook to 45 in southampton will reach a high of 55 in midtown i'm meteorologist bill dagger in the wcbs weather center WCBS News Time 811. How far would you go to help save someone's life? How about to your garage? If you have an unneeded vehicle, donate it to the Salvation Army. They'll pick it up for free, and the proceeds from its sale will help someone in the grip of addiction reclaim his life. To donate your vehicle, call 1 800 SA Truck or visit satruck.org. You will be doing the most good.
Need a great place to watch your favorite teams in New Jersey? Join Miller Lite at Water Street, located at 4 Robbins Parkway in Toms River, for great Miller Draft and Bottle Specials. Water Street has been completely renovated with 21 new flat-screen TVs located all over, so you never miss any of the action or the view of the Toms River located right off their back deck. So visit Water Street in Toms River or check them out at bakerswaterstreet.com for more info. All for Miller Lite and Water Street. Miller Lite reminds you to enjoy responsibly. WCBS. Hey, ladies, this radio have the best traffic on the 8th. Good news, too, in the sports. Because it matters where you get your news. WCBS News Time 812. It has not been an easy year for the Heckman family on Long Island. Their son has cancer, and the storm did not spare their home. Here's Sophia Hall. Because of the cost of caring for their six-year-old son, Stephen, who was diagnosed last year with leukemia and is undergoing chemotherapy treatments, the Heckmans had to move into a relative's house in Amity Harbor, Long Island. Then Sandy hit their home furniture, clothing, children's toys destroyed. Now Danielle, her husband, and their three children, including little Stephen, are all living in a friend's apartment. My husband, myself, and my three children are sharing a queen-size air mattress. But even though Danielle is going through so much and needs to rebuild her home, she is also thinking about others and urges people to get registered with DKMS Bone Marrow Registry Center. We can send them the cheek swabs to their house. Said Alina Supernova from DKMS. So Sophia Hall, WCBS 880 News. A few hundred people turned out in East Harlem to say goodbye to Hector Macho Camacho. Former boxing champ was shot dead last month in Puerto Rico. CBS 2's Amy Dardashian was at the funeral. I spoke with his son, and it was too painful for his son to even attend the funeral service, so he ended up standing outside the entire time with the scores of fans who were waving their Puerto Rican flags. But he said, you know, that in the end... It wasn't important, all of the money that his father made or the, the legacy. None of that mattered. He said what really mattered was that his father had a heart of gold. Police in the area outside San Juan are looking into that shooting. Camacho's friend, also killed, reportedly has several bags of cocaine on him. WCBS News Time 813. Inhabitants of Earth, you can run, but you cannot. What are you doing? i watch watching Netflix on my smartphone, dude. What? I can instantly watch as many TV episodes and movies as I want. You don't fear for your life? Yeah, not really. Our atmosphere is eventually going to kill you anyway. Nonsense. Our anatomy is... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Faster than I thought. Instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on all kinds of devices for only 8 bucks a month with Netflix. Start your free trial today. See terms of use. Newsies is the Tony Award winning hit Broadway musical that gets you out of your seat and on your feet. Bloomberg News calls it a triumph, and the New York Times says Newsies is a musical worth singing about. It's the hit show that's making headlines, the number one critic's pick in New York Magazine, Time Out New York, and in Entertainment Weekly, which cheers Catch Newsies Fever. One for all and all for one. So get your tickets today. Newsies on Broadway, eight times a week. Visit NewsiesTheMusical.com. Visibility a half mile in Central Park. It is foggy out there. It's 42. Some drizzle this morning. Mostly cloudy, mild the rest of the day. 55 is our high. At 880 on your AM dial and live on your computer and smartphone at cbsnewyork.com. When you need to know, we've got you covered. Five days out in three minutes. Coming up on WCBS, we told you this week about a lawsuit over the controversial practice of gay conversion therapy. They gave me a tennis racket and they made me beat up the pillow um, yelling mom. Mom. An update ahead in about five minutes. Business news in 10. Sports right now, 815, sponsored by Online Trading Academy. It's Gary Stanley. Alex, it's right back at it for the Jets this afternoon. They take to the field for the first time since their infamous Thanksgiving night loss to the Patriots. It's a long time to wait with the booze still ringing in their ears. Obviously, there's frustrations in the fact that, you know, we never accomplished what we wanted to do in that game. And, and, uh, and the fans, you know, let us have it, and they got every right to. Yeah, Rex Ryan hoping for a better reaction this afternoon against a team with actually more problems than the Jets, the Arizona Cardinals. They win their first four games of the season, but they have dropped their last seven. The Giants off today. They're in the Monday night game tomorrow night in Washington. A college football, a thriller in Atlanta last night, and in the end, it was number 2 Alabama advancing to the national championship game against Notre Dame as they beat Georgia in the SEC 
title game, 32-28, to the game literally coming down to the final seconds. The Nets had their five-game winning streak come to a screeching halt. They blew an early 14-point lead and lose to the Heat in Miami, 102-89. Dwayne Wade, 34 for the Heat. LeBron James, 21. Andre Blotch had 20 points, 8 rebounds for the Nets, who played once again without the injured Brooke Lopez. This afternoon, 12 noon tip-off at the Garden. Knicks take on the Phoenix Suns. College basketball yesterday, St. John's rallied from 12 down at the half to beat New Jersey Tech, 57-49. Rutgers lost their game in Mississippi, 80-67. Fordham falling to Harvard, 73-64. And this afternoon, locally, Manhattan visiting George Washington. Sports at 15-45. and 45, Gary Stanley, WCBS News Radio, 880. WCBS News Time, 817. Tis the season for giving, which means you have to find some awesome gifts for the sports fans in your life. With CBS Local's Fan Shop, not only can you find great team gear, but you can also save money. Visit CBSLocalFanshop.com today through the end of the year and enter the promo code HOLIDAY10 to get an additional 10% off. Get tremendous gifts for the sports fan on your shopping list at CBSLocalFanshop.com today and use the promo code HOLIDAY10 to save even more. If you have bad credit, you're not alone. Did you know that as much as 79% of all credit reports contain errors and incorrect information? Having great credit is more important than ever. Let nationally recognized credit expert Jason M. Kaplan help. Jason and his team of FICO experts will give you a free consultation and discuss how they can get your credit life back on track. Call 877-731-0082 for your free credit consultation and analysis. There's no upfront fees and you only pay for results. Call the credit pros now at 877-731-0082. It's traffic and weather on WCBS, sponsored by Pound Ridge Nurseries. Ken Daniels is in the traffic center. All right, let's start with your ride in the five boroughs. Of course, the poor visibility continues. We've had some very difficult conditions with the fog. So a uh, good idea to sit this out until the fog lifts. We have a brand new accident across the East River, 59th Street Bridge, inbound upstairs. You've got at least the one lane blocked and some stop and go traffic from the Queen side as they work on clearing this accident. Cross Island Parkway, we've had some heavy conditions. South on side between the Throgs Neck Bridge and Bell Boulevard, we've had some extra traffic. Now across the Hudson River, Holland, Lincoln, George Washington Bridge, minor delays. However, remember, you got the toll increase in effect as of 3 a.m. So the higher tolls at the Holland, Lincoln, George Washington Bridge, also the Outer Bridge crossing the Gotham. Bridge and the Bayonne Bridge. Those last three with a 35 mile per hour speed restriction because of the foggy conditions. Central New Jersey on Route 18, northbound at Ticey's Lane, uh, roadway uh, down to a couple of lanes with some ongoing construction. Northern New Jersey, not all that bad right now, uh, but the Jets and the Arizona, Arizona Cardinals coming up at the Metal Edge just after 1 o'clock for kickoff time as we get closer. Watch for slowdowns on Route 3, Route 17, 120, and the New Jersey Turnpike. Our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. Five days out on this foggy Sunday morning. Morning, it's Bill Dagger. Areas of dense fog across the Tri-State area this morning. We could see visibilities below a quarter mile for a time, so please take it easy if you're out driving. And later today, we'll stay cloudy. It will turn milder, though, a high of 55. Then a few showers can move through this evening. Mostly cloudy later tonight, low 48. Rather warm to start your work week tomorrow and Tuesday with partial sunshine. Up to 60 tomorrow. How about 64 for a high on Tuesday? Then a little cooler on Wednesday with a shower or two in the morning as the front moves through. Then some sunshine, a high of 52. Sunshine and chilly for Thursday, a high of 42. I'm meteorologist Bill Dagger in the WCBS Weather Center. Now both JFK and Newark now reporting visibilities of less than a quarter mile. It's a half mile in Central Park. Still foggy, though, 42 degrees right now. Now this, with the holidays here, we're all reflecting on what we've been through with Sandy. WCBS will be giving away $1,000 every weekday. It's money we know will come in handy for storm repair, holiday gifts, or just to pay some bills. Listen every weekday morning at 820 now through Friday to hear how you can win $1,000 each day from WCBS 880. It's 820. Uh, As your HR rep, it's my duty to alert everyone to the newest pandemic spreading across our nation called desk dining. It's caused by repeatedly eating lunch at one's desk. Its symptoms include a rotten attitude and constant blank staring out of the window. My official recommendation is to start eating lunch at Buffalo Wild Wings, the cure-all to lameness caused by desk dining. Except for you, Phil. You'd be lame no matter where you ate. With tons of big screens and more delicious menu items for less cash, we're the perfect place for lunch. Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings, beer, sports. 
Here's reality, guys. If you're over 30, your testosterone levels may have already begun to decline. It's a medical fact that testosterone levels decrease with age. Here's the good news. ProGene, the only all-natural dual-action testosterone supplement, is giving away a free month supply to every guy that calls today at 800-659-8316. Kick your drive back into high gear and be the man you want to be again. Try it for a month for free. There's nothing to lose. Feel younger again and be the man you want to be. Call 800-659-8316 for details. That's 800-659-8316. WCBS News Time 821. We first told you this past week about a lawsuit. It's the first to challenge the practice of conversion therapy, efforts to turn gay people straight. Now we've heard not just from those who say they're victims of a great fraud, but also the people they're accusing. In the Orthodox Jewish community in Crown Heights, to grow up was to grow ashamed. I thought that admitting my homosexuality would mean a lifetime of alienation. Chaim Levin's rabbi pointed him to an organization called Jonah, Jews offering new alternatives for healing in Jersey City. Vulnerable young people trusted them. And paid them thousands for, as the website promises, a journey out of homosexuality. He instructed me to remove all of my clothes in a room alone with him. I told him that I was uncomfortable with this, but he said to me that if I really wanted to change, that this is what I had to do. I just believed it. They told Ben Unger it was his mother's fault. They gave me a tennis racket and they made me beat up the pillow, um, yelling mom, mom, to the point where my hands were cut. Those and other practices by defendants are unconscionable. They are not legitimate business practices. Sam Wolf is a lawyer with the Southern Poverty Law Center. The first of its kind suit claims what Jonah does is consumer fraud. We are here to hold them accountable. When we visited Jonah's offices in an unmarked brownstone. Nobody's available to comment. We were turned away, but in a statement that came two days later, Jonah's founder, Arthur Goldberg, insists that thousands have, quote, shed their unwanted same-sex attractions. Goldberg, who served time in prison once for Wall Street fraud, says the lawsuit's designed to create a chilling effect. Wolf may not disagree. It fundamentally denies who we are and by extension our equal dignity and rights. The American Psychological Association concurs in its official position that efforts to change sexual orientation not only don't work, but can cause serious harm. I was depressed and hopeless, says customer turned plaintiff Chaim Levin. They had recreated psychological abuse that I suffered as a child. Michael Ferguson, another former client from Utah, says he did learn one thing from Jonah. That you cannot repair something that was never broken. We asked Arthur Goldberg to sit down with us for an interview. Through a spokesman, he declined to do that. WCBS News Time 823. Fixing those jowls. I'm Pat Farnack with the WCBS Health and Wellbeing Report, sponsored by the Valley Hospital in Ridgewood, New Jersey. There's a new non-invasive rejuvenation technique for getting rid of wrinkles and saggy skin called all therapy. I asked Manhattan doctor Scott Wells if the ultrasound it uses is like the ultrasound we already know. It's exactly that type of ultrasound. And the way it works, kind of the same way we all as children took magnifying glasses and were able to magnify the sun to a tiny little hot spot. This machine is able to do that with ultrasound and create a tiny spot weld, if you will, underneath the skin, tightening it up. Does it hurt? I had it done myself very shortly after I acquired the machine because I wanted to know exactly what a patient felt like. I took four Advil and it was a little bit of a tingling sensation, but very easily endurable. The entire interview at cbsnewyork.com slash health and wellbeing. I'm Pat Farnack, WCBS 880. Getting gifts for the sports fan in your life has never been easier this holiday season thanks to CBS Locals Fan Shop. We've got the jerseys and gear for almost every team in any sport. And if you visit CBS Locals Fan Shop today through the end of the year and enter the promo code HOLIDAY10, you'll get an additional 10% off your purchase. Visit CBSLocalFanshop.com today and use the promo code HOLIDAY10 to save even more from CBS Locals Fan Shop. WCBS News Time 825 Business Now. Talk about the fiscal cliff negotiations in Washington was kind of all over the place this week, so investors didn't really know what to do on Friday. Markets were mixed. Dow up just four. S&P up a fraction. NASDAQ down two points. I'm Scott Cohn, CNBC Radio. The Internet, cell phones, elaborate electronics. These are some of the ways cheating has gone high tech. To put a stop to these modern-day schemes, schools are also turning to technology to fight back. Scott Schober of Berkeley Veritronic Systems has an array of gadgets to help. It's a cell phone detector. 
A teacher can simply tuck it away in their pocket. Now they could walk around as the proctoring an exam and find the students that are cheating and get close to them and catch them in the act. But where do these students learn their cheating ways? David Callahan, author of The Cheating Culture, thinks we don't have to look far to find out. They get that idea from watching the news, seeing what's going on on Wall Street, seeing what's going on in uh, Major League Baseball and sports. In any sector of society where the adults are in charge, there seems to be a lot of cheating. Are we encouraging our kids to chase success at any price? Scott Cohn, CNBC Radio. WCBS News Time, 827. Do you suffer from pain like joint pain, muscle pain, back pain, or painful arthritis? Then you must listen to this important message. Nearly half of all Americans suffer from some kind of pain due to chronic inflammation. Anatoblock is a breakthrough supplement scientifically proven to quickly and effectively reduce inflammation and get rid of pain. Anatoblock is so effective in preventing excessive inflammation and reducing the pain, we guarantee you'll feel a significant difference in just a few days. Best of all, Anatoblock is now available to try for free. That's right. Call 800 591 5693 now and get out of pain absolutely free. Anatoblock is now looking for real life testimonials for anyone who has back pain, muscle pain, or painful arthritis. Call 800 591 5693 to get your free supply and get out of pain today. Just call 800 591 5693 for details. Call today 800 591 5693. That's 800 591 5693. Again, 800 591 5693. A man from Staten Island is stable in the hospital this morning after a horrifying cooking accident. 60-year-old Louis Gloria was engulfed by a grease fire. The Post says neighbors tried to put it out with blankets on the front lawn. They were not successful. He burned until firefighters got there. Police say it was a record deal gone awry. Two aspiring rappers trying to shake the guy down for $50,000. Ryan Mixon and Andres Lozano are accused of pulling a gun, forcing the 27-year-old man into a taxi, driving him to an Apple store, making him buy thousands worth of stuff, then threatening to kill him if he didn't then pay the 50000 The two were arrested yesterday, charged with extortion and with kidnapping. <laughs> WCBS News Time 828. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the 8th. It is foggy out there. It is hard to see right in front of your face, Ken Daniels. Yeah, that's the situation. It has been for a few hours now, so uh, waiting for this to lift. It's been causing some issues. We've had some speed restrictions. Uh, 45 miles per hour at the Tappazee Bridge. It's been 35 at the Gothels, the Bayonne, and the Ida Bridge Crossing. At those three, we've also had a, a toll increase that went into effect at 3 a.m. Also the toll increase across the Hudson at the Holland, Lincoln, and the George. Washington Bridge. Now, uh, keep an eye on an accident in Yonkers at the Deegan uh, Thruway combination uh, northbound uh, right into the area of Central Park Avenue. We've got some stop and go conditions. Still the one lane blocked as they work on clearing this crash. And then in Connecticut on the Connecticut Turnpike and Merritt Parkway, we're okay. On Long Island, not bad. On the LIE or Southern State. Northern State, westbound into Deer Park Avenue. Accident blocks one lane. And then traveling in the five boroughs, the 59th Street Bridge. You're inbound upstairs with an accident blocking at least one lane stop and go traffic from the Queens side across the Hudson. Uh, the minor delays and you've got the toll increase, remember, but the minor delays there. Your normal Sunday parking rules are in effect. Jets in the Arizona Cardinals at the Meadowlands just after one o'clock. As we get closer, watch for slowdowns on Route 3, Route 17, 120 and the New Jersey Turnpike. Here's the latest from the WCBS Weather Center. We'll see some dense fog for a time this morning, so take it easy if you're out driving. Otherwise, some drizzle as well. Later today, the clouds remain, but we turn milder, a high of 55. It'll be a shower or two this evening. Otherwise, staying cloudy tonight, low 48, but the sun is back out tomorrow. We'll be warm, a high of 60. Won't feel like December on Tuesday either, with clouds breaking for some sun, a high of 64. I'm meteorologist Bill Dagger in the WCBS Weather Center. The fog has not lifted yet. Bill says it will not for another couple of hours, 42 degrees in Central Park. WCBS News Time on a Sunday morning, 8.30. News, traffic, and weather. On air, online. We are News Radio. WCBS 880. Good to have you with us on the second day of December. I'm Alex Silverman. Here's the latest from the WCBS Newsroom. Tolls across the Hudson yet again have gone up. Live report coming up. Friends and family on Long Island remember the Kansas City Chiefs player who killed his girlfriend, then himself. Everyone was always like, 
He's the greatest linebacker that ever is here. A tunnel collapses, crushing cars in Japan. They have now found, or at least seen, some charred bodies inside this tunnel. And what the storms in Northern California mean for your next bottle of wine. Vineyard after vineyard was underwater. Sports Heat beat the Nets 102-89. to Today, Jets and Cardinals at MetLife. They play at 1 o'clock. WCBS News Time 831. Kansas City Chiefs player who killed his girlfriend then shot himself in the head in front of his coach was from West Babylon. A group of Jovan Belcher's relatives gathered at his mother's house, and CBS 2's Drew Levinson spoke with one student from his high school. People thought it was it was sad, and a lot of people looked up to him, too, as like a football player because he made it out of West Babylon. It was a big deal that he was an NFL player and came out of here? Yeah, it was. Everyone was always like, he's the greatest linebacker that ever was here. Everyone, like, every linebacker always looked up to him here. As night came at Belcher's boyhood home, a party atmosphere emerged. There was loud hip-hop music. His family turned the front yard into a shrine with a large poster of the linebacker trophies, jerseys from teams he's played for. Feels like just yesterday we were talking about the tolls going up at the Hudson River crossings. Well, now it has happened again. And WCBS reporter Monica Miller has been hanging out along the Jersey Turnpike this morning, uh, hearing from probably not a lot of happy people. No, no, the day is early yet, but for some drivers here at the Vincent Party Service Area, they're telling me they're already having a bad day now that the second of five toll hikes are in place, which means off-peak and peak easy pass drivers in cars are facing a 75-cent increase. Truck drivers, however, are paying $60. That's a $10 increase for easy pass subscribers and up to $75 for big grid drivers paying cash to use Port Authority's Hudson River crossings. One driver I spoke to this morning says that basically this is bringing his business to a halt. He can't figure out how he's going to be paying the additional cost, which will eventually for trucks go up to $105. Uh, you know, the transit agency says the reason for this is because it's to offset costs on security projects due to the 9-11 attacks and the sour economy and even some of the costs uh, that come with the World Trade Center complex. However, drivers here just don't want to hear it this morning. Reporting live on the New Jersey Turnpike, Monica Miller, WCBS 880 News. A lot of listeners probably don't don't want to hear it either. Well, they're worried about landslides and floods in Northern California with another huge storm dumping rain on the area. CBS's Carter Evans says they're also worried about wine. Vineyard after vineyard was underwater. It's really hard to assess how much damage there is right now because when I was making that trip, that was before this third round of the storm had really started in earnest. Now it's underway, and I don't think we'll know how bad it really is until first light. And then this rain is going to continue for some time after that. It's the third in a string of powerful weather systems to hit wine country since this past Wednesday. Rescuers cannot get into a car tunnel that has collapsed in Japan, about 50 miles west of Tokyo, but they think people are dead inside. They have now found or at least seen some charred bodies inside this tunnel. They're having difficulty accessing the section of the tunnel that's collapsed, but they've got access to CCTV cameras, and we think that it's through these cameras that they've managed to ascertain that there are bodies in there. Sky News reporter Mark Stone says it looks like cement roof panels fell on several cars. Well, North Korea says it will try again. President Kim Jong-un said his country will test another long-range rocket this month. North Korea describes it as an observation space satellite similar to one launched in April. But South Korean and Washington officials said it is anything but. South Korea charged it's really a long-range missile in disguise. CBS's Anna Werner reporting from Washington. As some local leaders in New Jersey got on a bus to see how short towns have been doing, our Levon Putney spoke with some business owners they met along the way. As the bus tour rolled through Lavalette, yet another hard-hit shore community with people's lives sitting in curbside piles in front of what used to be their homes, some businessmen were flagging us down as we passed. We followed the bus, it stopped here, and then we got out. And why? Why? Why chase us down? Because we have a lot of questions that need to be answered. James Short co-owns Lavalette Pizza in the oven with Manny Ioso, who says the Small Business Administration told them Barrier Island businesses cannot qualify for federal aid. Voting a uh, Coastal Barrier Resource Act. Well, he says they can't afford to stay open without government help. Once I'm done gutting the store and removing the mud, I'm done right there. It says they'll pay the bills and try to reopen in 2014. I believe most of the small businesses are in that predicament. In Normandy Beach, Levon Putney, WCBS 880 News. WCBS News Time 835. Why a senator from our area took a leap into a freezing lake. Next. Geico says, let's make life simpler. It's ironic. Sometimes technology makes life more complicated. Take your TV, for example. How many remote control devices does it take to change a channel? 
Geico, on the other hand, makes technology work for you. Your laptop, smartphone, tablet, no matter what device you have, no matter where you are, you're never more than a click or call away from Geico. It really is as simple as that. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Liz. Todd? I want you back. You're just saying that because I got a makeover to make me look hot. Even though I was hot to begin with. No, no, no. I miss those nights instantly watching TV episodes and movies online with Netflix. We watched as much as we wanted. Whenever and wherever we wanted. So, you love me? Even if I put these glasses back on? Wow, those are thick. Instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on all kinds of devices for only 8 bucks a month with Netflix. Start your free trial today. See terms of use. 8.36 at WCBS. Richard Blumenthal, senator from Connecticut, has jumped into a freezing lake. What better way to endure a few cold or frigid moments for a great cause? That cause, the Special Olympics. The Coventry Penguin Plunge is one of several events like this around the state that benefit the Games. So how did it feel? It was cold, cold air, cold water, but very warm hearts, a lot of high-spirited and warm enthusiasm. One thing the senator is not so enthusiastic about energy drinks. Energy drinks are marketed as dietary supplements, so they aren't bound by FDA guidelines. But now the agency is taking a look. Connecticut Senator Richard Blumenthal is concerned about excessive levels of caffeine. Especially when combined with the supplements and additives and other ingredients that may exacerbate the caffeine. There are options short of an outright ban. Limiting age levels, providing better warnings. Most consumers of these products are teenagers. In Bridgeport, Peter Haskell, WCBS ADD News. WCBS News Time 837. What do you got for me, Doc? The victim is male, mid-30s, cause of death, sudden shock. Yeah, well, he was last seen browsing thousands of TV episodes and movies online with Netflix. Hmm, explains the traces of disbelief in the brain, but this astonishment residue... He was watching them all instantly. Instantly? That's incredible! Doctor? Doctor! Instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on all kinds of devices for only 8 bucks a month with Netflix. Start your free trial today. See terms of use. Getting gifts for the sports fan in your life has never been easier this holiday season thanks to CBS Locals Fan Shop. We've got the jerseys and gear for almost every team in any sport. And if you visit CBS Locals Fan Shop today through the end of the year and enter the promo code HOLIDAY10, you'll get an additional 10% off your purchase. Visit CBSLocalFanshop.com today and use the promo code HOLIDAY10 to save even more from CBS Locals Fan Shop. CBS News Time 838. Traffic and weather together on the 8s. Hard to get very far very quickly when you can't see a quarter mile in front of you. And that's the situation we have in a lot of places, Ken Daniels. That's the case. It's fog. Fog all around. 45 mile per hour speed restriction at the Tabot Z Bridge. We had an accident there earlier. We've also got some slowdowns on the New York State Thruway North Point to Central Park Avenue. In Yonkers accident there. That is blocking at least one lane. So hard to see. Wait this one out. See if that fog lifts anytime soon. We go to Connecticut on the Connecticut Turnpike and Merritt Parkway. So far, so good. And the same thing goes on Long Island. Well, in most areas, LIE and Southern State, fine. We do have a Northern State accident westbound into Deer Park Avenue. We go to the five boroughs and uh, the poor visibility uh, throughout. Uh, we've got an accident at the 59th Street Bridge across the East River. You're inbound upstairs. You've got at least the one lane uh, down and slow traffic uh, from the Queen's side. And uh, then uh, we've got across the Hudson. Well, the toll increase uh, this morning. Uh, so minor delays at the Hudson's, but you'll pay more at the Lincoln, the Holland, and the George Washington Bridge. Also paying more at the Outer Bridge crossing the Bayonne and the Gothels, and at those last three, a 35-mile-per-hour speed restriction because of the foggy conditions. In northern New Jersey, we're going to have extra traffic soon. Route 17, 120, Route 3, and the New Jersey Turnpike. It'll be the Jets and the Arizona Cardinals at the Meadowlands just after 1 o'clock is kickoff time. Our next traffic update in less than 10 minutes on WCBS. Here's Bill Dagger in the Weather Center. We'll see some dense fog for a time this morning, so take it easy if you're out driving. Otherwise, some drizzle as well. Later today, the clouds remain, but we turn milder, a high of 55. It'll be a shower or two this evening. Otherwise, staying cloudy tonight, low 48, but the sun is back out tomorrow. We'll be warm, a high of 60. Won't feel like December on Tuesday either, with clouds breaking for some sun, a high of 64. I'm meteorologist Bill Dagger in the WCBS Weather Center. Temperatures pretty consistent across the area, 41 or 42 just about everywhere it's 42 right now foggy in central park 
an alternative for loved ones who say no to a nursing home. She put the cottage in the yard, right outside the kitchen window. It's next in the Osgood file. Mercy College is the one to watch. Rated A by Standard & Poor's. Nationally recognized programs in some of the hottest professional fields around. Come to Mercy Mondays this fall and find out how easy it is to...